Sailing, Full Level Lightning Dragon Slayer, Build the Fairy Tale Emperor, Author, Pirates. Chapter 76 The Transparent Person Dies. Demon Mirajan's Debut. Urza Fights Yoma. Question mark subscribe. Fairy Tale, Guild Cabin. Brooke looked at the reports on the news. The skull's mouth opened wide, and it couldn't be closed no matter what. This moment, he finally knows why when I heard the name of Shikai Bukai earlier. The reason why the girls on board did not panic at all, they were relaxed and indifferent. Because they are Fairy Tale, the fifth largest imperial group in this sea. Chairman Suyui even offered a reward of 1.5 billion buried to the fifth emperor of the sea. Shikai Bukai or something, they've beaten one already. Even not long ago, Fairy Tale clashed with the marine fleet led by Admiral and retreated unscathed. Such a strong team is naturally qualified to say it's just Shikai Bukai. Can do it, as long as Moria's ship can be found. This time, I will definitely be able to regain the shadow. Brooke is convinced of that. Just when Brooke was shocked, bang, the hull of the fairy tale seemed to have touched something and ran aground. President, President, we seem to have come to an island. Wendy reported. No. Probably not an island. Wendy, look over there. Robin pointed to the back, and a mouth like portal slowly closed. Are we being eaten? Vivi was taken aback. Make no mistake, this is Shikai Bukai Moria's thriller bark, and we've come to Moria's territory. Brooke, who walked out of the guild cabin spoke solemnly. Hey, have we met so soon? It seems that our luck today is really good. So you grinned. Next second, he frowned, keenly smelling the smell of the beast. Are there unseen beasts approaching? No. So you reacted instantly. It is not a beast that is quietly approaching at the moment. Rather, eccentrics stitched together with the features of a beast. Absalom, the transparent man who ate the ability of Paramecia's transparent fruit. There are many interesting people and things in this world. Of course, there are also many disgusting 430. If there is a must-die leaderboard for the characters in this world, the head of the four yellows, Momos Yuk the pervert is undoubtedly the first. Others such as Spandam, Spandane and his son are also on the list. In Suyu's view, the transparent man Absalom also has a reason to be on the list. In the Moria chapter of the original storyline, Absalom does whatever he wants with his transparent fruit ability. If he can honestly hide and not show up, that's all. However, now Absalom still wants to rely on his transparent ability to sneak into fairy tale and act recklessly. Of course, so you couldn't let it go in the slightest. Today, transparent people must die. Gara, so many trop quality, who should I choose to be my bride? The greedy eyes of the transparent man Absalom swept over Nami and the others. However, the next second, the beautiful fantasy picture in his mind was replaced by Senyu Ohel. The instinct of the beast told him, he is being targeted. Being targeted by a terrifying beast. No, it's a big monster. A dragon level monster. No. No, no, no. How could such a thing happen? I am a transparent person. No one can see me. Absalom shook his head again and again. Next second, so you came in front of him. The pupils of Absalom's wide eyes constricted. Under the huge panic, even the ability of transparency can't be maintained, showing the original shape. You dot dot dot. How did you find out? Not waiting for Absalom's horrified words to fall. Suyu's fist trapped in thunder and flames landed on him. Just for a moment, Absalom's body freezes. The defensive power of the beast is useless at this moment. The power of thunder and flame instantly turned his internal organs into coke. A moment of stagnation. The huge force pushed Absalom's body to fly backwards. Across the gloomy and dim forest, it smashed towards the mansion in the distance, making a loud bang. All this happened in a blink of an eye. The maidens of fairy tale didn't even notice. So you had finished hunting and returned to the boat. Wendy, What's wrong with you? Xialulu asked. I seem to smell the beast before. But now it's gone, as a dragon slayer. Wendy's nose is also very good. There seems to be a loud voice over there. Could it be Moria? Nami pointed in the direction of the mansion. That was the sound of Absalom falling. Since it's confirmed, let's make a quick decision. Urza is gearing up. Get back Mr. Brook's shadow early, and then meet Laboon. Juvia is also very motivated. Everyone, thank you very much. Brook bowed deeply again. Thanks for your hard work, Nami. Vivian others have already landed first, walking towards the forest. Miller, Marion, don't you go to play together? Suyu asked. No, no, no. Marianne shook her head again and again. Even she, who is always laid back, has things to fear. Her intuition told her that there was something scary about this island. Resolutely not to go. Then I will stay with Marion and watch the guild. Myra smiled. Oh well. Suyu nodded. Mirajan was in charge of the house. Suyu needn't worry at all. After all, Mirajan, who looks gentle and weak was once an S-class demon star with the title of Devil. Thriller Bark, Main Mansion. Ah, 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 ah. The zombies screamed in horror one after another. Master Absalom. It's Lord Absalom. Lord Moria, Lord Absalom is dead. My lord died so badly, on the walls of the mansion. Absalom is like a puddle of mud. The eyeballs of his eyes popped out of their sockets under the pressure. The tough body was scorched black and deformed, and the internal organs were scattered all over the ground. Blood was splashed all over the entire wall. 
and the state of death could not be described as miserable. Absalom, seeing the miserable death of his subordinates, Sheikh Ibukai Moria let out a cry of pain. Painful memories from twenty years ago come to life. It was the same at New World when Okuni that day, facing the terrifying Kaido of the beasts, his partners died tragically one by one in front of him, and he can only escape in embarrassment by relying on the time gained by his partners. Since then, Moria has started to develop her zombie army in a big way, because he knew that only the undead zombies would not let him bear the pain of that day again. But now, he once again tasted the pain of losing his partner. How could this not make Moria distraught? Anger surged in Moria's heart. Damn, damn, damn. Shikai Bukai Moria's shrill roar echoed in the dim sky. You dot 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 you dared to kill Absalom and my important subordinates. You will never be spared. Outside the homestead, forest cemetery. Nami, did you hear something? Vivi shuddered, hugging herself not without fear. Sound? What sound? Nami doesn't understand. There seems to be something here. Urza's expression changed slightly. Next second. Boo. A skinny hand broke through the ground. I hate it so much. Humans. Why disturb our slumber? Do you also want to sleep together in the grave? More and more zombies broke out of the ground. At the same time, there were countless whispers. Ah. Ah, ah, ah. The screams of the girls resounded through the sky. Out dot 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 appeared. Zombie. Seeing the scene of demons dancing in front of them, Nami and Vivi were scared to cry and hugged each other. What? What's going on here? Xia Lulu supported Wendy who had fainted from fright, and asked nervously. President, I'm so scared. Juvia took the opportunity to hang on Suyu's body, acting like a baby to her heart's content, and making friends in the world. Human. I. A scary zombie broke out from the ground in front of Suyu. Did not wait to start scary. When meeting Suyu's eyes, the scary zombie was frightened immediately. Excuse me. He quickly dug a hole and buried himself on the spot. The other side. Change. Armor of the sky wheel. Seeing the appearance of the zombies, instead of panicking, Urza was in high spirits. The Tanlun dazzling sword rushed from the crowd of zombies, and the broken limbs flew in an instant. It's still alive like this. It's really an immortal zombie. Robin launched flower flower fruit and wood magic to twist the bodies of the zombies into twists. Put out all kinds of strange shapes, like handicrafts. Everyone, be careful, if you accidentally get bitten by a zombie, you will be assimilated by the zombie virus. Urza said solemnly. Heard the words. Nami and Vivi's expressions changed. Don't come here. The wave of the earth and the shot of the stars erupted together. It was only a short time before and after. All the scary zombies are finished. By the way. Brooke, what were you trying to say earlier? Urza looked at Brooke who was stunned. I dot 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 what I want to say is that these zombies are created by Moria's abilities, and salt is their nemesis. As long as you use salt, you can purify them. Brooke spoke in a daze. I see. Urza nodded. What? So it's not a real zombie? Nami suddenly became angry. Then if you get bitten, won't you be assimilated? Vivi asked weakly. This. Probably not, Brooke said uncertainly. He was just a skeleton after all. There is no flesh and blood that can be bitten. Vivi immediately began to tremble again. Miss Juvia, how long will you be satisfied with me? Suyu asked with a smile. I will never be satisfied for a lifetime. Juvia didn't hesitate. Okay, let's go on. Everyone, it always feels quite interesting. Urza was in high spirits. Wendy, it's really embarrassing. Wake up soon. Xialulu collapsed. Between noisy, a group of people walked out of the forest area, the open space in front of the mansion. Great army, display dot dot zero. Hundreds of zombie generals and zombie soldiers line up. At the forefront of the army stands the red-eyed Shikai Bukai Gecko Moria. Fairy tale. Did you do it? Killed my subordinate Absalom. Moria gasped and asked sharply. Absalom, who? The girls looked at each other. Shikai Bukai Gecko Moria, I am here this time because I was entrusted by others to retrieve the shadows that you took away, but it is a little troublesome to find them one by one so I will solve them all at once. So you said lightly. Also, I killed your next Absalom. Good good good. Moria smirked furiously. My zombie soldiers, rip them all to shreds. With Moria's order, their zombie army suddenly rioted, heading towards Fairy Tail. I can only go up. Nami gripped the whip tightly in his hand. Everyone, be careful not to get bitten, I will support you remotely. Vivi opened her mouth solemnly, and set her bow and arrow. Those zombies seem to be different from ordinary ones, so I should be able to enjoy them. Urza set her sights on the zombie general and leapt out of her figure. That's my zombie. Brooke's eyes fell on a mummy in a kimono, and his emotions suddenly became intense. Juvia. Suyu smiled and looked at Juvia in his arms. Yes. Juvia reluctantly let go of Suyu and joined the battle. Suyu's gaze then fell on Wendy who fainted from fright. Next second. Yeah yeah yeah. Wendy wakes up. The strongest agent is online. Sky Dragon Slayer magic and high level additional magic go into battle together. Not only can kill the enemy, but also add buffs to one's own side. It's here. Reliable Captain Wendy. Nami and Vivi exclaimed in surprise. President, Wendy, what the hell is she now? Xialulu, the little white cat, frowned. She who is inseparable from Wendy can vaguely sense some situations. Don't worry, Xialulu, Wendy is fine. So you casually picked up Xialulu and raised her up, with the buff blessing of the strongest agent Irene. Although there are only a few girls on Fairy Tail's side, 
but he played with the momentum of thousands of troops. Moria's zombie army is losing ground. Even a powerful zombie general is not an enemy of the girls. When the crisp sound of gold and iron clashing exploded, Urza stopped the black knife that was cutting towards Brooke with Yandy's sword. Ahem, thank you, Miss Urza. Brooke thanked weakly, feeling frustrated. He lost to his own zombie two years ago. Two years later, it is still the same. Don't worry, you are our important client. Urza said. Be careful, Miss Urza. This guy seems to be a famous swordsman when he was alive, even if he is dead, it is no small matter. Brooke solemnly reminded, as expected of a great swordsman. Urza raised an eyebrow at the moment of fighting. She has already noticed it. Compared with ordinary zombies, zombie Yoma is indeed extraordinary. And the black knife in his hand 0.1. Dress up. Urza removes Yandi's armor. Respond to the enemy in the most common form. She wants to check it out. Since the battle with Dasbornis until now, how much have you grown? The zombie swordsman Yoma right now is a good opponent. The mansion battlefield is in full swing. At the same time, a palace not far from the mansion. This is the bedroom of Perona, one of the three weirdos. It's over, it's over, it's over, it's really over. The cute girl dressed in Lolita was anxious like ants on a hot pot, wandering back and forth. Absalom is dead, Lord Moria probably won't be able to hold on anymore, so I said earlier. The opponent is the Emperor of the Sea, it is impossible to win. No. I can't just sit and wait like this. Lord Moria, I'm sorry, I will come back after the limelight passes. Perona makes a decision. Fairy tale. Watch as animal zombies continued to carry treasure onto the ship. Mirajan couldn't help being a little dazed, and didn't understand what was going on for a while. As for Marianne, the moment she saw the zombie, she pouted like Wendy, not knowing anything. What? There are still people guarding the boat, but it's okay, negative ghost. Perona waved her slender hand. Two negative ghosts pass through Mirajan's body. Snapped. Under the influence of the negative ghost, even Myra knelt down. It's really vulnerable. Don't stand still, just keep working. Perona yelled command. However, next second, the shadow of terror hangs over. Perona turned her head mechanically, with an expression on her pretty face as if she saw the most terrifying thing in the world. Whole body receives soul of Satan. Demon Mirajan, now. Yes dot 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 sorry. Chapter 77 Defeating a Thousand Shadows Moria. Join Perona. Bring Brooke to meet Laboon. Question mark subscribe. Faith cut. Urza took a deep breath. Haki is one with magic. Wrapped around the magic sword in his hand, a blow of faith to the zombie Yoma. Clang. In an instant, Urza and Yoma zombie crossed each other. The moment the black sword fell into the sheath, Kaka, Urza's armor was torn open. Zombie Yoma turned around and staggered suddenly. An amazing sword, such a strong belief, is something I have never seen in my life. Zombie Yoma said in a deep voice. You are also an amazing swordsman. If it was you, I'm afraid I will use all means. Urza nodded solemnly. I'll leave this black knife Kashui to you for safekeeping. Zombie Yoma threw Kashui to Urza with the last of his strength, and then fell down. This is your knife, just keep it. Urza wants to keep this sword as Yoma's funeral. But before he finished speaking, Japan pressed her slender hand with his big hand. Since everyone gave it to you, don't let him down. Black knife Kashui is a good thing. Count the entire pirate world. The number of black knives is also very few. Since Urza intends to learn the path of Haki, then having a black knife in hand can provide a little help. If that's the case, then I'll accept it. Urza didn't refuse again. With a backhand, Haidao Kashui was brought into the weapon space. Suyu nodded and continued to move forward. Between raising his hand, Thund rumbled. Click. Blinding lightning fell from the sky. Accurately hit the remaining zombie soldiers. Thunder and lightning are the most rigid and yang things in the world. Natural restraint for creatures such as zombies. Although Moria doesn't make real zombies, but the power of lightning is also enough to destroy their muscle tissue. In an instant. The remaining hundreds of zombies all perished under the thunder. In the huge open field battlefield, Moria is the only one left. Damn it, you dot 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 you actually. Seeing that the undead zombie army that he was proud of was defeated so easily. Unprecedented shock and horror occupied his whole body and mind. Moria, now you have two choices. Suyu looked at Moria and held out two fingers. Twenty. The first one, release all the shadows now, that's all for today. The second one. What are you kidding? Shikai Bukai Moria snapped and interrupted Suyu's words. Do you think you have one? Do you think these zombie soldiers are all I have? Just one sentence wants to make my years of hard work go to waste. Who do you think you are? Moria's eyes were wide open, and she screamed hysterically, completely insane. What five emperors? I won't admit that a brat like you is the emperor of the sea. Let me show you the power of a real emperor. Ying, Zi, Ji, He, Di. Gecko Moria slammed his big hand to the ground. Paramisha Shadow Fruit's strongest ultimate move is activated. Black's shadows come from all directions, converging towards Moria like a stream of water. That was all the shadows he had collected over the years. At this time, all of them gathered on him as a capable person. President, the situation seems to be a bit wrong. Do you want to go to the field first? Urza spoke. No, what's the harm in giving him a chance? Suyu waved his hand nonchalantly. One hundred people. 200 people. As the shadows continued to gather, Moria's demonic size swelled against the wind. At the same time, 
The aura around him is getting stronger and stronger. 500. 800. 1000. Finally, all shadows on the thriller bark are absorbed by Moria. Under the blessing of the power of the shadow of a thousand people, Moria turned into a 100 meter titan, standing upright. Once, just the nightmare Luffy form that gathers a hundred shadow powers makes it have overwhelming power. Quantitative change leads to qualitative change which is fully interpreted by Moria's move. A thousand common pirates can't match the four emperors no matter how they unite, but if their strengths were concentrated on one person, the situation would be quite different. Of course, there is one more important premise here. That is, the people who are the gathering places for shadows must be strong enough. The spirit is even more extraordinary than ordinary people, enough to suppress all restless shadows. If Moria can really master the power of a thousand people, perfect mastery. So he does have the qualifications worthy of Zuyu's seriousness. It's a pity that Moria, who has been in the house for ten years, is too blindly confident in her own strength, and can't see the upper limit of her own endurance. The consciousness of a thousand people is constantly impacting his mind, almost making him feel dizzy. If it wasn't for the fact that he was a capable person, he would have been blasted if he had been someone else. All to Lozi, be honest obediently become Lozi's strength. Moria roared. The heavy punch that gathered the strength of a thousand people to achieve a qualitative change fell to the ground. Boom. Huge island ship, cracked open. One blow, split the island. Just talk about this power. Chaikaj Moria has indeed touched the threshold of the imperial class. The island that was hit with one punch split open. What a terrifying power. A look of surprise appeared on Nami's pretty face. I thought this guy was mage, and he could only create zombie legions but I didn't expect that he still has this kind of trick. Xilulu shook her head in shock. This is the same Shikai Bukai as Clock Dar, and sure enough, none of the Shikai Bukai is simple. Vivi looked solemn. But to the president, it's still a pediatric department, so there's nothing to be afraid of, said Juvia. The fairy tale girls all that nodded, their expressions returning to their usual relaxed and indifferent expressions. Hey he he, that's good, let's try it out. Will I be crushed by the consciousness of a thousand people first? or you will be crushed by me first. Moria let out a maniacal laugh. None of what you say will happen. Suyu shook his head calmly. Because I'll crush you before you're crushed. Suyu smiled slightly. It's just a fake emperor, don't get carried away. Moria was furious. The heavy punch that could split the island apart with one blow hit Suyu mercilessly, facing the fist as huge as a hill. Suyu didn't dodge or dodge, fist to fist, boom, rumble. The island ship and the earth are torn apart. Kaka, crackling. The tearing sound of bones and muscles was overwhelmed. Shikai Bukai Moria's titan arm gradually twists and deforms. Nani, Moria's eyes were bulging, her expression pained. The huge body suddenly fell backwards. While opening his mouth, Black's shadow escaped. Don't try to escape, come back to me. Moria covered her mouth with her good left hand, trying to keep the shadow from escaping. You are so weak, Moria. Suyu shook his head boringly. The next blow will end everything. He jumped lightly. Under the light gravity, the figure went straight up to hundreds of meters in the air. Next second, Suyu applied super gravity to himself. Under the blessing of super gravity, his figure is like a meteor falling from the sky. In the blink of an eye, Suyu climbed over Moria. One foot, stepped down. Moria's belly instantly rippled like water waves. Ripples of power visible to the naked eye spread along the void, and the cold sky and sea rolled up thousands of waves. Well, under the impact of terrifying force, Moria's mouth popped open. Black's shadow slipped through his fingers. At first it was just three or two kittens and puppies. But soon, like a flash flood, like a dam bursting, black torrent gushes from Moria's mouth. The shadows of thousands of strong pirates, big and small, who were sucked into his body by his shadow ability, were freed at this moment, galloping away in all directions, returning to their respective bodies. Without the support of the shadow, Moria's huge castle-like body was like a deflated ball, shrinking at the speed of light, and the whole person fell into the ruins like a dead dog, motionless. Shikai Bukai Gecko Moria, defeated. It's over. There is no suspense. Robin spoke calmly, not at all surprised by this result. Sure enough, the president is the strongest. Juvia's face was full of pride and joy. MMMMMM. Nami, Vivi, and Wendy all nodded repeatedly. Erza opened her mouth, but before she could speak, she frowned, then suddenly turned her head and looked deep into the dense forest. Juvia, Robin, Nami and the others also noticed the strangeness in the forest, and cast their gazes one after another. Not long. There are many people in the forest. The sound of chaotic footsteps accompanied by excited shouts came. Knocked down. Really knocked down. Moria. Shikai Bukai Moria is down. It's true that Moria was defeated, that's why our shadows are back. The ragged people cheered and jumped for joy. Who are you? Moria's men? Urza cut off her sword. No. No no no. Lola, the captain of the rolling pirates and the representative of the shadowless came out and waved his hands again and again. We are not Moria's subordinates. On the contrary, we are all the victims of Moria's shadow. Thanks to everyone's help, 
We can get back the shadow. Thank you very much. Lola solemnly knelt down and thanked her. Grateful. The other victims who retrieved their shadows also knelt down to thank them. So it is. The fairy tale girls put away their hostility. Nami rolled his eyes, immediately approached with a smile, and began to rip off. However, to Nami's disappointment. Captured by Moria, they searched all over their pockets but could not find two steel shops. No problem, Nami. We know where Moria's treasure is, Lola said quickly. Real? Nami suddenly regained her spirits. President and President. Vivi is also excited and ready to call Suyu to open the treasure house together. You geese go. I have another place to go. Suyu said. Say it. He took a step forward, and his figure disappeared from the spot. Not long. He came to a relatively beautiful courtyard. This is the dormitory of Perona, Princess Mononoke, one of Moria's three monsters. This time Suyu comes to Thriller Bark and Princess Mononoke Perona is also one of the targets. So you as a time traveler, for Perona's bug ghost, fruit power is impressive. In the plot line, if there is no Lali Nemesis you soap, Perona can wipe out the straw hats alone. It can be seen that the domineering of the ghost fruit. It would be great if he could be recruited into the guild. In the future, if anyone dares to play tricks in front of fairy tale, let alone a negative ghost. That picture is also very interesting to think about. Only, have you escaped yet? Suyu frowned. There was no sound in the huge courtyard. Suyu searched inside and out, but couldn't find Princess Mononoke. Although it is a little regrettable, there is no way. Suyu shook his head, ready to go back to the boat. The other side. <laughs>Nami wants to cry but has no tears. How much I expected from the treasure house before. What a pity now. Result, I have been busy for a long time. All she got was a small piece of paper. It was Lola's mother's life card distributed to Nami to make up for the embarrassment of not finding the treasure. And told Nami to go to New World in the future. If you encounter any troubles that cannot be solved, you can ask her mother for help. Although I don't know who Lola's mother is, but don't let it go. In case it can be used in the future, or can be exchanged for treasure. No. The guild has been attacked. Urza saw the fallen animal zombies next to the guild, and couldn't help but tremble. Heard the words. The fairy tale girls all looked solemn and returned to the fairy tale immediately. Ah, everyone, are you back so soon? Mila greeted with a smile. Myra, is something happening on board? Urza asked. Oh, it's true that there's something wrong, but it's all right now. Myra nodded. Uh oh oh. On the side, Nami suddenly let out a strange cry of excitement, and swooped down on the pile of treasures on the deck. Miss Myra, what's going on here? Vivi. Wendy and the others couldn't help but widen their eyes in amazement. Actually, shortly after you left, Perona saw specially moved these treasures here to show her sincerity, and she wants to join our guild. Myra smiled and slightly adapted the previous story. Joke. The embarrassing thing about being hit by a negative ghost must never be mentioned. Hey, so it's here. There was a flash of lightning. Sue returned to the boat and looked at Perona, the princess Mononoke who was honestly following Myra. A smile could not help but appear on his face. That's it, President. Do you agree with Perona's membership application? Perona's power will definitely come in handy. Mirajan asked. Okay, Suyu nodded. There is absolutely no reason to refuse. That's what he was supposed to do. Now Myra is completing it instead of him. Suyu couldn't help but want to reward Myra for being so capable. Great, Perona, you will be a member of our fairy tale from now on. Mirajan smiled and took Perona's little hand. Suyu noticed that Perona's body trembled unconsciously. TSK TSK. What did Myra do to scare such an extroverted child like this? So you couldn't help being amazed. But, as long as the result is okay it's fine. Myra, take Perona to get the guild logo and the room. So you said. Yes. Mirajan walks into the guild with Perona. That. Suddenly, Perona turned to look at Suyu. Mo dot 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 Master Moria, how is it? Perona said nervously. Died. So you said casually. The expression on Perona's face was visible to the naked eye. She was raised by Moria anyway. Although she did have the idea of leaving the idiot father and running away. But now she heard the news of Moria's death, she couldn't help but feel sad. The one who lied to you, let's save his life for the time being. So you smiled slightly. It was precisely because he wanted to recruit Perona that he gave Moria a chance. Only, he had indeed shown mercy. But what the victims of Moria's oppression for years would do, so you had no idea. It's not something he needs to care about either. Fairy tale, set sail again. The goal is, twin point. The next task is to bring Brooke to meet Laboon. Not long after fairy tale left, Captain Lola, I know who they are, they dot 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 they are fairy tale. Nanny, sue you of the five emperors and fairy tale of the five emperors. What a great man we have met. Fairy tale, long live. The shadowless people cheered excitedly. Everyone, when you leave this ghostly place, you must spread the word about fairy tale to the world, said Captain Lola. Oh, chapter 78 new partner time sorcerer. Bring Brooke to meet Laboon. Question mark subscribe. Three days after thriller bark time. Spread by invisible victims like Lola. Fairy tales defeat of Shikai Bukai Gekko Moria and the recapture of the shadow for the masses gradually became known, sparking a new wave of shock. My shadow is back. 
thanks to fairy tale. Fairy tale yides, whoever said fairy tale is bad, who am I to worry about? I'll blow up fairy tale forever. It won't work when Jesus comes. My life is finally complete, thank you very much, fairy tale. All over the world, the people whose shadows have been taken by Moria and can only live in darkness all year round without seeing the sun, are all excited at this moment. Ha 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 ha, another Shikai Bukai has been pulled off by Fairy Tail. I don't know who will be the next Shikai Bukai to be pulled down. It's really exciting. One Piece, Tyrant Bear, Hawkeye Hook, Hexia Jinbai, or Heavenly Yak Shored or Flamingo. After Shikai Bukai, will Fairy Tail officially challenge the four emperors? I have a hunch that the brightest new star of this era will reach the top of the world with unprecedented momentum. Let us wait and see. People are looking forward to the fun of all parties in the sea. Climbing to the top of the world, just relying on a mere false emperor. Don't wishful thinking. New world derised Rosa. Shikai Bukai do Flamingo sneered again and again. Shoot the bird that stands out. Muxi Yilin Feng will be destroyed, and the guy who doesn't know how to hide his edge is doomed to be overturned by the waves of the sea. Now, fairy tale has been watched by the world. There is no one person, a team able to make an enemy of the world. Fura Furfa, the island of ghosts in Wanokini. The base camp of the hundred beasts. Shikai Bukai Gecko Moria, it's just rotten fish and shrimp. Plague Quince neared. Twenty years ago, Wanokini was easily defeated by Mr. Kaido, and the group was wiped out by Moria's gang. But it's just defeating Moria, it's not worth mentioning at all. Yan Calamity Ember also didn't care. Red Force. Red Hair Pirates. Yoxie, for my friend to get back my shadow. Cheers. Redhead Shanks of the Four Emperors raised his glass happily. They were either cheering or on their way. Naval Headquarters, Marinford Headquarters Building, Marshal's Office. Marshal Sengoku is still frowning today. And it was accompanied by severe migraines. Just a few months, two seven warlords of the sea were rooted. Unpredictable changes are about to take place in the world pattern. Equally unpredictable is what fairy tale will do next. No one knows what feat they will do next. Sengoku. Chief Staff Officer Vice Admiral Crane walked into the Marshal's office with a solemn expression on his face. What's the matter, Xio? Is it confirmed about Moria? Marshal Sengoku asked. It's not Moria, something happened to South Blue. Vice Admiral Crane said in a deep voice. South Blue, fairy tale going to South Blue. Sengoku's expression tightened. Already suffering from fairy tale PTSD. Once there is news, I think it is something to do with fairy tale. It's not fairy tale, it's the lab. The one Vegapunk set up in South Blue. Vice Admiral Crane rode. Cool. Marshal Sengoku breathed a sigh of relief. What happened to the research? A few days ago. The institute suffered an unknown attack, and the child was taken away. Nanny. Marshal Sengoku was shocked again, his eyes widened and he broke out in a cold sweat. Because, that kid at South Blue Institute means a lot. Not only can she restrain a Shikai Bukai, but her ability is also valued by the government and genius scientist Vegapunk. Okay, how did this happen? Who did it? Didn't someone entrust Fairy Tail to do it? Sengoku asked nervously. Probably not. Chief Staff Officer Vice Admiral Crane shook his head. About the special abilities of all members of Fairy Tail. Except for that Mirror Jane, we basically already know the others, and it doesn't match the ability of the woman who attacked the South Blue Research Institute this time. According to the reports of the sea soldiers who witnessed the scene, the attackers this time may be time-capable users, who can accelerate the decay of things, and even intact buildings can collapse quickly. This ability seems to be the same as that of Zephyr's subordinates. Sengoku frowned. That's right, it's exactly opposite to Little Ain's regression fruit ability, so I made the inference of a time type ability. Vice Admiral Crane nodded. As long as it's not fairy tale, let the branch of South Blue move, and strive to find that child as soon as possible, and Marshal Sengoku seemed to have thought of something. Speaking of which, the office seems to be quite quiet these two days. Where's Gup? Why hasn't he shown up for several days? Gup would have left the headquarters a few days ago. Vice Admiral Crane rode. Nanny. Why didn't anyone tell me? Marshal Sengoku was taken aback. I thought you knew. Blue 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 tilde. The phone bug connects. Gup, you bastard. Where are you now? Don't do unnecessary things. Marshal Sengoku stopped drinking. What is a superfluous thing? Can I go out to catch pirates? On the other end of the phone bug, Gup, the hero in Legendary picked his nostrils nonchalantly. Don't think I don't know what you want to do. Come back quickly. Don't continue to complicate things. Sengoku said in a low voice. Pfft ha 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 ha. Go back. That's impossible. My number one disciple was beaten up like that. As a teacher, how can I keep silent? Gaga tilde. Fairy tale. The melodious sound of golden bells echoed continuously with the sound of violins. That was Brooke practicing constantly in order to be able to give Laboon the most perfect performance. I'm sorry. South Blue's unknown partner, I can only keep you waiting for a while. The current priority of Fairy Tail is to complete the commission of the Whale Laboon. Send Brooke, the sole survivor of the Rumba Pirates, back to Twin Point. To this end, just let South Blue's new partner wait. Yes, after completing the Thriller Bark quest, as expected, the guild level will be plus one again. The level up reward at level 14 is the call of a new companion. 
The identity of the new partner remains a mystery, but the location is clear, in South Balu. When you're done with what you're doing, take a trip to South Balu. This is the itinerary set by Suyu. Because South Blue is not on the way, we can't drop by. But, for the entrustment on the way, Suyu didn't mind taking a ride, so as not to cause trouble in the future. One day ago, the news bird from the World Economic News came to the fairy tale and brought some new entrustment letters. Among them was a tracing request, which happened to be close to the place where Suyu and his party were going. After a half-day detour, fairy tale comes to the famous food town of Puke on the Grand Line. Yes, it's the Titan who sent the commission. Hey, those two titans seem to be the gatekeepers of Renai's lobby. Nami spoke in surprise. The May town of Pucky, as the name suggests. This is an island famous for its food. There are food carnivals in the town for 366 days out of 365 days a year. At the same time, because of the opening of the sea train, there is an endless stream of tourists coming from places such as the water capital and the Queen of Spring Town, making this May town prosperous. A few days ago, the May town of Pucky welcomes two special guests. Those are two titans. They are the home gods of Renai's lobby. The two silly titan Cassie and Oimo who have guarded the gate for 50 years because of being cheated. The big event at Renai's lobby half a month ago. They were knocked down with one punch from Suyu before going into a coma. Hearing Suyu mention the captain of the giant core they were looking for. The two titans, who have worked hard at Renai's lobby for 50 years, immediately had some ideas. When they woke up, they immediately arrested several world government officials who were fleeing in a hurry and pressed them about the real whereabouts of their captain. The final result made them angry. From the mouth of the world government personnel, they learned that they were cheated. They didn't catch Blue Ogadori and Red Ghost Broji at all. Everything was a lie made up to deceive them about their work. After knowing the truth, no matter how naive the two titans are, it's also impossible to keep Goli for Anaya's lobby. Immediately, the two slipped away, hide in the freight car of sea train, going around all the way. I finally came to the May town of Pucky for the arrival of Titan. The residents of the town were all extremely panicked, but, after Titan Cassie and Oimo helped solve the Sea Kings in the recent troubled sea area and send the Sea Kings as ingredients to the town, their existence was gradually recognized. After this, Titan Casey and Oimo have made an important decision. They decided to initiate a commission to Fairy Tail. If it's Fairy Tail, maybe it can really help them find the captain, that's all. Titan Cassie and Oimo sent their entrustment letters through the intermediary World Economic News. After several twists and turns, I finally came to Fairy Tail and was seen by Nami. After seeing Titan's entrustment letter, Nami immediately thought of one thing that was on the way from Whiskey Peak to Alabaster. While chatting with Vivi, a care, Nami learned from them. If you take the normal route, the next destination island is Little Garden, the island of Primordial. There are two Titans on that island, and it is said that they are the captains of giant soldiers a hundred years ago. Later, Robin also confirmed Nami's conjecture. Such a coincidence. Nami immediately decided to accept this drop-in commission. The other side, so you summed it up, it is rare to go back to Twin Point to witness the 50-year agreement between Laboon and Brook. Naturally, wine and food are indispensable. This trip also happened to be able to collect supplies in the May town of Pucky. So, fairy tale turned slightly. At the cost of spending half a day more, I came to the May town of Pucky. Dot. I remember you, you are the titans of Renai's lobby, and you have blocked the president. Nami pursed her mouth and looked angrily at the two stiff titans in front of her. Real. I'm extremely sorry, but we were also lied to. The two titans knelt down and apologized honestly. It's all because of the world government. They lied to us, said they let us guard the Anai's lobby for a hundred years, and let the captains go. But, it wasn't until Chairman Suyu came and reminded us that we didn't know that we were deceived by the world government. We guarded the door for them for fifty years and offended Chairman Suyu. Titan Casey and Titan Momo regret it. Okay, okay. Let's forget about the past, our family has a lot of elders, and we won't care about it with you. But if you want us to help find someone, how much are you prepared to pay? Commission Nami rubs her hands together. He stubbornly believed that since the titan was so big, the gold he took out must also be big. However, the two titans looked at each other and looked at each other. What? No money? You dare to entrust without money? Nami went crazy. Although we don't have any money at the moment, we will have, Zhao's, when we return to Albuff. If it doesn't work, we can work. Because Fairy Tail has worked 50 years to pay off the debt, the two titans said seriously. He has worked for the government for 50 years for no reason, but in the end he didn't get any money. If Fairy Tail can really help them find the captain, even 50 years of work will be worth it. 5. Dot 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 50 years. Hearing that the two titans opened their mouths to say that they have been working part time for 50 years, the Fairy Tail girls couldn't help being stunned. 
these two are really chosen workers. Fifty years of vagrant labor is not enough. Now he still wants to fight for another fifty years. Finally, after some wrangling, Nami officially accepted the commission from the Titans. But, although it is also a part-time job, Titan Cassie and Oimo did not get the official fairy tale organization like Nami Vivi. Without the fairy tale coat of arms, naturally there would be no awakening of magic. If it was the time when he had just traveled to this world, Suyu probably doesn't mind recruiting two Titan boys. But, fairy tale has evolved to this day, under all kinds of mistakes. Lead 2 is also an all-female group member. Now Suyu also gave up the idea of recruiting other male partners. At least until the system summons the first male partner, there will be no idea of adding someone. But even if you don't join the guild, you can be a vassal to run errands or something. For example, the procurement of materials in the Maytown can be completely handed over to the two titans. Department in two hours. Procurement completed. Fairy tale sales again. Evening after a day. Twin point. Here we come. Span 50 years. Rumba pirates and the whale laboon. Pong. Chapter 79 Brook Laboon touched reunion. Suyu shakes Hakaku. Question mark subscribe. At dusk. The sun was setting. Burning clouds hung all over the sky. The afterglow shines on the earth and the sea. The flower-like old man sat motionless on the back of the whale, as if he had fallen asleep, fishing quietly. This scene has the meaning of a lonely whale and a cat man fishing alone in the sea, full of artistic conception. Some moment. The old man on the back of the whale paused, woke up, and finished the day of the Air Force. No, for fishermen. The Air Force is impossible, if you can't catch it, then go to the market. Laboon, get some fish for dinner. Crocus yelped. Jiao. Laboon, a huge whale like an island, should drink. The tail flicked violently. Instantly, dozens of hundreds of large and small fish were shot into the sky and landed on the back of the whale. Crocus picked a few fat fish and was ready to go home happily. At this time, Crocus frowned, turning his head abruptly. In the direction of the open sea, a small black spot gradually clears the sky. Been in twin point for so many years. He witnessed countless pirates running towards the Grand Line. But, it is not the first time to reverse the car like this and return to the starting point from the Grand Line. Just when Crocus was suspicious, the small black dots in the far sea gradually became clear. Crocus's old yellow eyes popped open. Extreme shock and disbelief appeared on his face involuntarily, because, he already recognized it. Recognized the ship, and the flag. That's, fairy tale. Came to Grand Line from East Blue five months ago. And in just five months. The incredible guild that became the fifth emperor who became famous in the sea. Crocus won't forget. Something that I once entrusted to Fairy Tail. Fairy Tail made a promise with him and Laboon to bring the Rumba Pirates back. Now, Fairy Tail is back. The Rumba Pirates are coming back. Crocus had a strong premonition in his heart. Not long, the Fairy Tail dragged a large titan bamboo raft into Twin Point. Yo, old man, we meet again. At the bow of Fairy Tail, so you grinned. Laboon, Grandpa Crocus, we are back. Juvia waved happily. Wow. Is this the whale laboon? It's so big. It's really like an island. Wendy, Xilulu, Vivian and other girls couldn't help being amazed. Ha 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 ha. On the back of the whale, Crocus suddenly burst out laughing. Jiao, Jiao, Jiao. Whale laboon also cheered happily. Laboon, we have fulfilled the agreement and returned, and you have also fulfilled the agreement, so there is no pointless collision with the red clay O2O 2 mainland. Nami smiled brightly. Jiao, laboon responded saying that he also kept the agreement well. President Suyu, you dot 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 you. After laughing, Crocus couldn't help rubbing his hands nervously. His eyes kept sweeping Fairy Tail County. Immediately afterwards, he looked at the huge bamboo raft pulled behind the Fairy Tail. Hey hey hey, hello. Titan Cassie and Oimo greeted each other with a smile. Crocus nodded politely. However, the expression on the old face became more and more tense, because, he didn't see the old man on the boat. If the members of the Rumba Pirates survive to this day, they should all be old people in their 70s and 80s. Could it be that, Crocus thought of a possibility? That is, the Rumba Pirates, as he had expected at first, had already been wiped out. What Fairy Tale found this time is the evidence that they were all wiped out. Well, don't jump to conclusions, the result will definitely exceed your expectations. So you smiled mysteriously. Clap, aside. Mirajan clapped her hands. When Tilda, when Tilda, when Tilda, on the bell tower. Urs rang the golden bell three times. Next second, a tightly wrapped figure walked out facing the setting sun. A long and narrow shadow was drawn on the deck, and Black's explosive head focused on it. Yo ho 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 Yo ho 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 Put Bink's wine. The magnetic a cappella accompanied by the beautiful sound of the violin reverberates over Kate Twins. Fifty years of waiting, fifty years of staying together, fifty years of agreement. All in this song song of pirates. Listening to the beautiful singing after fifty years. One person and one way la all immersed in this long lost beautiful song. The long memory of fifty years ago involuntarily appeared in my mind. Laboon, we will definitely be back. After traveling around the world for a week, I will definitely pick you up, somewhere. Those familiar voices sounded in the ears of one person and one whale. Came back, are back. However, 
At this time, the style of music changed suddenly. Brooks' violin solo came to an end. Nami puts a sound shell on the mast and presses the broadcast button. Everyone, let's finally sing together. Okay, this should be our last. Brooke, there is hope for us. But there is hope for you. If, if you can really be resurrected, then take this sound shell back to Gate Twins. Bring our last chorus to Laboon. Then, let's begin. Yo ho 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 ho. Yo ho 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 ho. Yo ho 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 ho. Yo ho 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 ho. A messy but joyful ensemble came out of the sound shell. But, gradually, the sound of the ensemble becomes less. The sound of falling to the ground sounded one after another. The accompanying violin and cello also disappeared one after another. The only thing left is the piano solo and the sound of tears pattering down to the end. Even the piano solo completely disappeared and everything returned to dead silence. Listen to this series of changes in the tone. Crocus on the back of the whale was completely stunned. How could he not understand what happened? This audio is the last dance of the Rumba Pirates 50 years ago. They had a terrible turn of events on the Grand Line. Everyone is at the end of their lives, but, at the last moment of life, they still haven't forgotten their little friends who stayed at Gemini Point. For this partner left their last ensemble. Yo ho ho ho, yo ho ho. Brooke played the violin and walked to the bow of the fairy tale and came face to face with the whale Laboon. He wanted to keep singing because Laboon sang. However, the voice kept choking. Tears kept falling from under the mask. Jiao. Whale Laboon's big eyes are also full of tears. Knowing human nature, it also knows what happened. And, it also recognized Brooke's afro. That is the afro that people use to say is very similar to it. You. Are you Brooke? Crocus asked. A slight trill in his voice. Yes. Dot 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 crow dot 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 Mr. Crocus. I'm Brooke from the Rumba Pirates. Brooke nodded choked up. It's really you, Brooke, you. You're finally back, it's been 50 years, and Laboon has been waiting for you for 50 years. At this moment, Crocus couldn't help crying. I'm sorry, Laboon, I'm really sorry for keeping you waiting for us for 50 years. Brooke let out a hoarse cry. Jiao Jiao. Tick, tick. Huge teardrops rolled from Laboon's eyes. Brooke, show your face, Laboon wants to see you. Crocus understood what Laboon said and conveyed it to Brooke. No. I can't let Laboon see me now. It will scare Laboon. Brooke refuses. Jiao. Laboon is in a hurry. Really, hasn't it been decided a long time ago? Believe in the bond between you and Laboon. No matter what you become, Laboon will never dislike you. Nami spoke. Robin do it. Um. Robin nodded slightly. The flower flower fruit ability was activated, ripping off all of Brooke's disguises. Show him the skeleton before Laboon and Crocus. Brooke, your body. Don't look at me. The only thing left of me now is this afro. Brooke covered his face and yelled. Jiao Jiao Jiao. Laboon happened again and again. Laboon is very happy. The leisurely girl Marianne said. Mr. Brooke, Laboon is saying welcome back to you. Wendy said seriously. Uck. Oh 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 oh. Brooke, who was dead with only a handful of bones left, cried bitterly at this moment. That night, the perennially deserted Gemini Cape is very lively with singing and dancing. Caddy. Yo ho 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 tilde, yo ho 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 tilde. The melodious pirate song echoed under the sky. Crocus also no longer needs to prepare crude fish dishes. All kinds of special delicacies from the May town of Pucky were put on the table, which made Crocus a feast for his palate. Ha ha ha, today is simply the best, fairy tale, you are the best guild. Crocus laughed out loud. This is the happiest day for him since Roger's regiment disbanded more than twenty years ago. No, it can even be said to be the happiest day of my life. Fairy tale, if it's you. Maybe it can make some changes in this hopeless world. Crocus spoke drunkenly. Let's avoid it. Don't say such great things. What we want is to be free to do what we want on the sea. So you smiled lightly. In order to achieve this purpose, anything that stands in their way, be it four emperors or world government, they all have to be broken with one punch. The raucous celebratory banquet lasted until the next morning. Then, Mr. Crocus, here is the receipt of the entrustment so that the entrustment between you and Laboon is indeed completed. Mirajan makes final commission negotiations with Crocus. The other side. Really 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 dot 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 thank you so much. Brooke throws himself to the ground, to sue you. Kneel down and thank you. I've said it all. Fairy tail doesn't like this stuff. It's all Laboon's commission. So you said lightly. Brooke, you and Mr. Crocus will accompany Laboon from now on. Laboon has been waiting for you for 50 years. You have to pay it back. At least sing to it every day. Nami, Vivian others laughed and said. Yes, I will. Brooke nodded solemnly, goodbye, then, watched by Crocus, Brooke and Laboon, fairy tale drifts away, you can imagine, in the near future, Grand Line Twin Point except for the whale legendary, a singing skeleton, legendary, will be added, the mission to find the Rumba Pirates was successfully completed, but, however, the guild level has not increased, the progress bar just got stuck at 99%, it's almost obsessive compulsive disorder, fortunately, 
so you doesn't have OCD, and that last 1% will soon be filled, at the high speeds of the upgraded fairy tale. This time it only took less than a day. Suyu and his party arrived at Whiskey Peak. Activation by magnetic field. The direction to the next island is also indicated. Another day, an ancient island full of wild atmosphere appeared in the eyes of Suyu and his party. Little Garden, Primordial Island, has arrived. Felt it. I feel it too. The two silly titans stood up together. Captain dot 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 the captain is there. I love Primordial. I smell adventure. Vivi's eyes lit up. Then, without further ado, let's start exploring. Nami is also in high spirits. Oh. Wendy echoed her support. Oh? Where's the president? Juvia suddenly gave a sound of surprise, looked around, and suddenly disappeared. Rumble rumble tilde. Ancient island. The central volcano roared continuously. Fiery red magma erupted. Boom 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 tilde. Earth-shaping footsteps sounded from both sides of the island. The ancient dinosaur predators on the island were so shocked that they fled in panic. The overlords of this primordial island are not dinosaurs, but two people, two titans. Gaga gaga gaga, Proji, the volcano erupted again. It's time for us to duel, you still don't get up. Do you want to admit defeat? Dory, a titan stomach ghost with long beard and waist length beard in old warrior armor and a helmet, laughed a lot. Gabababa, Dory, what are you talking about in your sleep? I have been waiting for a long time. This is our 68,324th duel. The winner will definitely be me. In the other direction, a sturdy titan that is not inferior to Blue Ogre Dory in terms of body size the red ghost Brody walked with a big smile. The two giants strode towards the center of the island. There are calm and confident smiles on their faces. It's like old friends getting together. There is no sign of a duel at all. However, next second, as the distance approached, a powerful momentum rushed up. The invisible fighting intent was rising and stirring, making the ancient Tyrannosaurus and other creatures on the island tremble. Goo, gubba baba. Blue Ogadori and Red Broji laughed and rushed towards each other. They raised their fists at the same time and struck towards the opponent's body. Boom 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 tilde. Just then. Another heavy footstep sounded. The leader of the largest Brachiosaurus on Primordial Island. At this moment, he mustered up his energy and ran like a madman. Whether it is a big tree or a Tyrannosaurus Rex blocking the way, they all flew up under the hoof of the Brachiosaurus leader. Dory and Broji turned their heads instinctively, looking at the Brachiosaurus leader who was in a state of running wild, with astonishment on their faces. Obviously, in the past hundred years, whenever they dueled, these ancient creatures on the island avoided far away. Could it be that this Brachiosaurus had a convulsion today? Regardless of whether the Brachiosaurus leader is convulsed or not, Dory and Broji would not take back the fists they swung. They still swung unswervingly. At this time, a blurry shadow flashed over the Brachiosaurus leader's head. The speed was extremely fast. Boom, boom. Two dull collision sound sounded. The complexions of Titan Dory and Titan Broji changed drastically. Their fists didn't fall on each other. Halfway through the journey, they were stopped by a powerful force between the two. Before the two giants went to find out what happened, the terrifying giant power escalated. The solid ground beneath the feet of the two giants cracked and collapsed. Immediately afterwards, under that unparalleled mighty force, the two titans flew upside down at the same time, crushing a piece of primeval forest. The strongest warrior of the titans in legendary, is this the only captain of the giant pirates? It's really disappointing. So you grinned. Take out your strongest moves. Chapter 80 Myra's Field Rewards. Surprise new magic. Question mark subscribe. Boom tilde. Boom tilde. A dull crash exploded over primordial island. Shock waves of terrifying power spread in all directions. The atmosphere rippled like water waves. The towering trees are crumbling under the impact of the wind. Then it was completely crushed by the huge body of the inverted titan. Between heaven and earth, wind and sand filled the sky. The captains of the two giant soldiers unanimously straightened their cup and stood upright. The big eyes of the two pairs of copper bells did not blink. They locked on the same place firmly. There was extreme shock, horror and disbelief on the rough face. They couldn't believe that someone could block the heavy punches of the two of them with one person's strength and knock them back. What made them even more unbelievable was that it was only mere human beings who did all this. Who are they? They are titans. In terms of strength alone, common titans are inherently stronger than common humans by many times. Not to mention they are also the two captains of the giant soldier pirates. A hundred years ago, it could almost be said to be the strongest titan in Albaf. Even the ferocious ancient Tyrannosaurus did not dare to make the slightest mistake in front of them. But now, their punches, which were powerful enough to blow up warships, were blocked by mere human beings on their own. Just when the captains of the giant soldiers were shocked, Suyu's next words completely angered the two of them. That's the only level of troll captains in Legendary. What a disappointment. Gugia, Cumin, although I don't know who you are, I can't pretend I didn't hear this sentence. Blue Ogadori is watching. Gubbubububa. The proud warrior of the Titan race is never afraid of challenges, since you want to see it, then let you see it. Albaf's strongest stunt on the island of Titan. The captains of the two giant soldiers looked at each other, comprehending each other's meaning. 
they each took a step and stood together. In the past hundred years, they are for the question of who is stronger, year after year, day after day of fighting. But, this is just a discussion between the warriors, and it doesn't mean that the relationship between them is bad. Rather, in the distant past, they were the most compatible comrades in arms. Internally, they can kill for a hundred years. Externally, they can also fight side by side in an instant. In the short confrontation before, the two titans certainly couldn't fail to see Suyu's terror. Although they are human beings, they are qualified to let the two of them join forces. Hey, after so many years, folk art should not be unfamiliar. Blue Ogadori held up the great sword in his hand. Gubba this should be my line. Red Ghost Broji wields a giant axe. Next second, Dori and Broji took a sharp step forward at the same time. Drink, drink, accompanied by a big drink, when the momentum of the two titans, the terrifying oppression cracked the ground under the feet of the two of them. In the dark, an invisible aura formed between the two titans, feeling the steadily rising momentum. The expression on Suyu's face remained unchanged, but in his eyes, there is a raging fighting spirit burning. This battle, Suyu's purpose was to test his current physical strength. After activating the Dragon King seed and turning on the Thunder Dragon King mode, Suyu could feel that his body was getting stronger every second. His current physical strength can no longer be regarded as a human being, but is evolving towards a giant dragon. An eyes lobby incident, Suyu wants to try the power of Albuff's gun. However, Titan Cassie and Doimo are too weak, and their skills are not at home. The shockwaves that were fired didn't even take shape at all, and the calendaria was scattered. Being overwhelmed and countered by Suyu's casual punch. Commissioned by Thriller Bark, Suyu intends to use Kianiang Moria as the benchmark. However, Moria is too weak, far from pushing Suyu's current physical limit. But, after feeling the situation of the captains of the two giant soldiers at the moment, Suyu knew that this trip was coming. A single captain of giant soldiers, Suyu can easily defeat him. But, when two captains of giant soldiers unite to launch the strongest combined attack of the titans, Hakuku, the gun of Albuff, the power will change qualitatively. Humans, as you wish. This is Albuff's strongest stunt, Hakuku. Blue Ogadori and Red Ghost Broji shouted in unison. The last word fell. The two captains swung their swords and axes at the same time. Boom, rumble. There was a deafening air explosion. A bright white light broke through everything powerfully. Wherever it passed, both trees and rocks were smashed. This is the gun of Albuff that is powerful enough to pierce the island eater. Facing the terrifying shockwave from the captains of the two giant soldiers, Suyu didn't panic at all, but the corners of his mouth curled up instead. He didn't dodge or dodge. His right fist drew an arc in midair and closed at his waist. The dragon power hidden in the depths of the body has fully recovered. Vaguely, the roar of a giant dragon seemed to come from within his body. No fancy tricks. Just a common punch. Suyu's fist touched the Hakuku blaster of the two captains. Ding tilde. A light brighter than the sun blooms. The shockwave of ultimate terror spreads to the world centered on Suyu. Between heaven and earth, flying sand and rolling stones, thousands of boulders weighing tens of thousands of catties thrust into the sky. The towering ancient books in the primitive forest continued to rise from the ground. Under the terrifying shockwave, the big trees and boulders were all shattered. The aftermath of the battle even affected the waters off the island. The sea fluctuated violently and the waves were one after another. In the end what happened? Feeling the violent and terrifying power, Nami and Vivi couldn't help turning pale. Make no mistake, that's the master skill of the captains, Albuff's gun Hukaku. Titan Cassie and Doimo shouted in shock. Then against that Hukaku, there is only the president. Juvia and Mira Jane looked at each other. The president is really, always encouraging himself to enjoy. Ayaza clenched the sword in her hand tightly, and couldn't help pitching. She also wants to have a hearty battle. Overseas people marvel at the Kung Fu. In the center of the battlefield, the fierce stalemate was broken. 50. The dragon roared, vaguely. It was as if there was a phantom of a golden dragon rushing from behind Suyu. The giant dragon opened its bloody mouth, forcefully devouring the shockwaves of the captains of the giant soldiers. Ah, ah. The two titans screamed at the same time. The body was hit by the wings of the golden dragon's fist. The old armor on his body exploded. The huge body flew upside down like a kite with a broken string. When he opened his mouth, blood gushed out like a fountain. The victory and defeat have been divided. For a long time, all shockwaves converge. The world returned to peace. Blue Ogadori and Red Ghost Broji fell to the ground, looked at each other and smiled wryly. Although Suyu knew from previous collisions that it was not easy. But, they never imagined. Hakuku, who combined the strength of the two of them, was defeated so easily. We lost. Blue Ogadori and Red Ghost Broji struggled to their feet. Kneel down on one knee in front of Suyu to show respect for the winner. I wonder if I can tell you your name and purpose, asked Blue Ogadori. Fairy tale will grow. F. Suyu said calmly. Fairy tale? The red ghost Brody looked suspicious, as if he had seen it somewhere before. As for me, I don't have any special purpose here. I'm just entrusted by someone. Suyu said. Whose commission? 
The captains of the two giant soldiers looked a little more solemn. They did make countless enemies when they were roaming the seas. But a hundred years have passed. Few of the former enemies should have survived. Who is it? To be able to invite such a strong person to chase them here to kill them. So you didn't speak, but turned to look in the direction behind the two of them. Blue Ogadori and Red Ghost Broji also followed Suyu's line of sight. Boom boom boom. Earth shaping footsteps sounded. Captain Dori. Titan Cassie yelled. Captain Broji. Titan Omoi cheered. Finally found you, captains. The two silly titans shouted happily. Blue Ogadori and Red Ghost Broji exchanged glances. Immediately, he stood up tacitly, facing the two subordinates who came running. His brains collapsed. Cassie and Omoi, who were in pain on the spot, squatted down and hugged their heads. What are you doing? Captain Dori. Captain Broji. It hurts. It turns out that you two bastards are looking for someone to FK us. Red Ghost Broji snapped. Let me tell you, we had a good time on this island. Why did someone suddenly come to our door? It turns out that you two little devils are causing trouble. Blue Ogadori cursed. Wrong, captains. We just asked President Suyu to bring us to you. There is no other meaning. Titan Cassie yelled for being wronged. Captains, you have been missing for a whole hundred years. Without you, the giant pirates are on the verge of disbanding. In order to find you, we were even fooled by the government. Titan Omoi said aggrievedly. Dory, Broji, they really just entrusted me to bring them to meet you. As for the previous battle, I just want to try how strong Albuff's gun in Legendary is. Suyu said lightly. The captains of the two giant soldiers looked at each other. Knowing that he made a mistake, he blamed his conscientious subordinates. It was a little embarrassing for a while. Hey, this can be regarded as a stranger, so let's celebrate and celebrate. Blue Ogadori eased the embarrassment with a laugh. You too. The Red Ghost Broji patted the back of the head of the two titans again. Hurry up and go to the island to grab some ingredients and entertain Chairman Suyu. Yes. Titan Cassie and Omoi responded quickly. If you need to prepare ingredients, let us help. On the fairy tale with flight mode turned on, Nami rolled up her sleeves and was eager to dry. Then everyone will team up in two groups, and compare who can catch the prey better. On a whim, Mirajan clapped her hands and proposed. Okay. Not bad. Urs responded immediately. Then I'll be with Nami. Vivi took Nami's arm. The laid-back combination Robin and Marianne stand together naturally. Dot 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 asking for flowers. Wendy and Xilulu. Match made in heaven. Then I want to talk to the president. No matter how far Juvia ran. Urza reached up and grabbed her back collar. It's coming, Juvia, and it's time to win. The effort between speaking. The four pairs of girls were already heading in all directions. President Suyu, this primordial island is very dangerous for humans. The Red Ghost Broji solemnly reminded. Don't underestimate my girls, Suyu said lightly. See, the captains of the two giant soldiers didn't say anything more. Immediately began to prepare to build a campfire platform. Then, Perona, let's prepare the other side dishes first. Myra looked at the new member Perona with a smile. Yes, Perona nodded weakly. Even if it's been over a week, still afraid of Myra's death. He dared not disobey in the slightest. To this, Suyu wasn't worried either. As long as you stay longer, you will always blend into the atmosphere of fairy tale. By contrast, now Suyu cares more about the upgrade rewards. Open the system panel, as expected. After completing the Titan commission, the progress bar breaks through 100%. The guild level has risen again. The 15th level reward of the guild is the new magic. Suyu swiped to the magic bar. In addition to Milong, you are Milong and Gravity Magic. A fourth type of magic has already appeared in this column. Watching the newly acquired power of magic, Suyu frowned. I couldn't help being a little surprised in my heart. Magic, enormization. This is the signature magic of fairy tale third generation chairman Mark Harleff. It can turn itself into a titan and gain unparalleled power. Point zero. For Suyu, the power increase of gigantic is certainly considerable. But what really surprised Suyu was another use for this magic, such as the enlargement of body parts and the like. Although Suyu thinks the scale is enough, but how can a man dislike even more? Two hours later, Titan Cassie, Omoi, and Fairy Tales teams all returned from hunting, all the prey piled up into hills. Look at the prey captured by the various teams. Blue Ogadori and Red Ghost Broji looked at each other again, and they slapped Cassie and Omoi on the head and face again. I thought that the dangerous primeval forest would deflate the fairy tale girls. Never thought about it. In the final prey competition, Titan Cassie with Omoi's prey is the smallest. It's a total embarrassment to Albaf. The captains of the two giant soldiers cursed and led the two grandsons to decompose the ingredients. The girls who had worked hard for two hours decided to go to the foot of the volcano to take a good soak in the hot spring at the suggestion of Urshul. So you also went happily. Originally, I wanted to soak in a hot spring in peace. The result was a series of twists and turns. In the end, it evolved into a state of mixed bathing for all members of the guild. Nami, Vivi, and Elusa, who have already mixed up once, naturally don't mind anymore, and show their figure in front of Suyu indifferently. Myra and Robin leaned on Suyu's side, one on the left and one on the right. As for Juvia, she had already disappeared underwater. Watching this scene, Wendy, Xilulu, Marion and Perona couldn't help but shivering in the corner. However, 
Next second, Wendy and Marion turned their heads at the same time and looked at Perona in the middle. Seeing the thing floating in the hot spring, the two immediately moved away from Perona silently. The wonderful spa time is over. Fairy Tail returns to campfire. The Titans have already prepared everything. As soon as Suyu and his party returned, the lively banquet was held immediately. Fairy Tail, so that's it. You are the fairy tail that has been making a lot of noise recently. Under the reminder of Titan Cassie, the Red Ghost Broji finally remembered. He had occasionally seen reports of fairy tail on the news. President Suyu is actually the fifth emperor of the sea. If it's the emperor of the sea, it's only natural that we can't stop it. The captains of the two giant soldiers were relieved. The joyful banquet continued. Drink three rounds. The dishes are delicious. The slightly tired fairy tail girls went back to the boat to rest. The time came late at night. The Titans also fell asleep soundly. During the day, Suyu's punch caused a lot of trauma to the captains of the giant soldiers. Being able to insist on lying down until now is already out of maintaining the pride and self-esteem of the Titans. President, are you still asleep? Waking up, Myra rubbed her sleepy eyes and walked to Suyu's side. Follow me. Suyu held Myra's slender hand involuntarily. It doesn't take a moment. Suyu took Myra for a walk in the primitive world, and came to a mirror-like lake. The moonlight is shining, quiet and beautiful. President, in this situation, Myra couldn't help being moved, she closed her beautiful eyes, and was already ready. Suyu wrapped his arms around Mila's slender waist. The vacation boat time is Juvia and Robin's time. Now is Myra's time alone. Dot 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 so. Chapter 81 Physical Examination Nami wants rewards too. Question mark subscribe? The next day. Good morning, everyone. Wendy greeted her energetically. Good morning, Wendy. Mirajan responded with a smile and served breakfast. Miss Myra, what's wrong with your foot? Wendy noticed Myra's slightly weird walking posture and couldn't help asking with concern. It's all right, it's just that I sprained it accidentally, it's nothing serious. Myra waved her hand. Miss Myra, you sprained your ankle, this is not acceptable, let me take a look for you. Wendy hurried forward. No, 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 it's really fine, just rest and rest. Myra hastily declined. The sprain is just an excuse. The actual reason is that Myra is really embarrassed to say it. She thought she was good enough to adapt to the little president. However, I never thought about it. The growth rate of the little president is really beyond imagination. Fairy tale deck. Then, Dory, Broji, let's take our leave for now, and see you in New World later. Sue said calmly. Hey, then it's a deal. Blue Ogre Dory laughed. Gababa. The next time we meet, we will be in Albarf, and we will treat you well. The Red Ghost Broji also laughed. Goodbye, Fairy Tail. If you need us in the future, please don't be polite. Titan Cassie waves goodbye to Broji. See Circle Calendar Autumn 1519. Primordial Island. Little Garden. The two captains of the giant soldier pirates teamed up to defeat the five Emperor Suyu. Thus ended the century long feud between them. Giant soldier pirates reorganize and set sail. March 8th, another two hours. The fairy tale girls woke up one after another while eating breakfast. He checked various commissions. Both the commissions of Laboon and Titan were successfully completed. Then it was time to split up the work. Yoxi, it's decided, I'm going to do these sleepovers. Nami took a few fancy commissions from the taskbar. Vivi, this time you also. Allah, Nami just wanted to invite Vivi together. However, the words are not finished. The feeling of dizziness suddenly hit. Nami only felt his head buzzing. Immediately afterwards, the body fell down uncontrollably. Nami, what's wrong with you? Nami, Vivi hurriedly shouted anxiously. It's so hot. Nami's body is so hot. Juvia withdrew her hand. Nami, is this a cold? Marianne asked. A cold shouldn't be the symptom. Where's Wendy? Urza shouted. What happened? Wendy and Myra hurried down from the upstairs room when they heard the noise. Wendy, come and take a look. Nami doesn't know what's wrong, Vivi said anxiously. I'm coming. Wendy hurried forward. Use healing magic on Nami first. However, the sky healing magic, which has always been invincible, is invalid at this moment. How to do how to do? Wendy panicked immediately. Do not worry. So you came after hearing the sound. Watching so you come. The girl's eyes lit up. So you came to Nami and lifted her blouse. Knew it. Looking at the symptoms on Nami's lower abdomen. So you already understood the cause. Casquia disease. Also known as five day sickness. After the attack. If you can't get timely treatment, you will die in five days. This is a virus that became extinct a hundred years ago, but it has not been completely extinct, because it has been isolated from the world and retains the ancient climate. Dinosaurs that were extinct in the outside world existed on Little Garden, the island of Primordial. Same. The tiny mosquitoes in Little Garden also carry some viruses that are extinct in the outside world. In the original plot, Nami was bitten by a mosquito carrying the virus. In the end, it led to the drum country and found the ship Dr. Chopper. Just as Robin still experienced the Anai's lobby incident. Now Nami is a hit as soon as she comes to the island, maybe it's her fate. But, 
as long as you know the cause, there is nothing to worry about. President, what happened to Nami? Vivi's pretty face was full of worry. Nami should have been accidentally bitten by a mosquito carrying the virus when she was in Little Garden. So you told the reason. <laughs> Wendy blamed herself all over her face. It's okay, Wendy, your healing magic is good enough. So you stroked Wendy's little head. Don't worry everyone, Nami will be fine. I'll take her to the Magnetic Drum Country later. The Magnetic Drum Country is a country with advanced medicine. If it is there, Nami will definitely be cured. Vivi said firmly. Hearing this, the girls all heaved a sigh of relief. Also, everyone should check each other to see if there are any traces of mosquito bites. Don't be careless. Suyu reminded. Heard the words. The girls acted immediately, instantly. The scenery is infinitely good. President, come and help Juvia. Juvia just wanted to ask Suyu to do a physical examination for herself. But at some point, Suyu disappeared again. Second floor. Myra's room. President, it's Nami's business that matters now. Mirajan said. Dot. Everyone in the guild is equally important. If I leave with Nami and other patients appear, and I happen to be on the way, it will be bad. Suyu said seriously. Then why am I alone? Suyu didn't speak any more. Straightforward. Compared to others, the possibility of Myra being recruited is much greater. After all, the lake is a gathering place for mosquitoes. Plus last night Myra was completely absent. A comprehensive and detailed inspection is necessary. Wait a minute, President. The dot 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 it's impossible. Myra exclaimed. Five minutes later. Well. It should be fine. Suyu nodded. When Suyu returned to the hall, the inspections of the girls have also been completed. Apart from Nami, no other hapless ones were hit. Suyu didn't delay any longer. Immediately picked up Nami, boarded the magical power boat, and rushed to the magnetic drum country. After only a few hours, Suyu came to a snowy sea. Not far ahead, a snow-covered island appeared in his sight. Drum country, here we come. Nami, hold on a little longer. Will be the soon. Suyu tightened his grip on the girl in his arms. Dot dot dot. The president's embrace is so warm. Nami whispered unconsciously. Without delay, Suyu took Nami straight to Guy Star's direction. Drum Country is the home of Straw Hat Crew Dr. Chopper. Naturally, Suyu is no stranger to this country. This is a country famous for its medical technology. But now it's all in the past. With the series of tyranny of the brutal and despotic King Wapo, doctors in this country were all deported. Eventually, only 20 men remained, known as Doctors 20 dedicated to Wapple's service. The people of the country want to see a doctor if they are sick. They can only plead with Wapple, who has monopolized the doctor industry. But, in this country, there is still a witch. Witch Dr. Cura. Just a quarter of an hour. Hands came to Geistar and found the witch's tree house clinic. Dr. Cura. So you pushed the door straight and walked in. Wah. The cute creature carrying medical equipment in the tree house was startled. The medical equipment in his hand immediately flew into the sky looking like it was about to shatter into pieces. Suyu pointed out. Gravity magic is activated. All the equipment, including potions, float in midair. I'm sorry, Dr. Chopper, but the situation is urgent now. Hurry up and prepare antibodies against the Casquia virus. Suyu said. Well, Chopper was taken aback. Dot 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 doctor. Even if you call me drive, I won't be happy, stupid bastard. Chopper immediately twisted his waist in joy, his face full of joy. Stupid son, why are you so happy? You want to become drive? A hundred years too early. The voice of Kakarot came from the room. At the same time, a sharp sword flew out, and the stab landed beside Chopper, scaring Chopper out of the emoticon pack. The 148-year-old sexy old woman Dr. Kula walked out quickly, took Nami from Suyu's hands, and lifted her shirt. It's really a symptom of Kaskia's disease. This virus should have been extinct long ago. Why? No, now is not the time to think about it. Chopper, hurry up and prepare for antibodies. Dr. Kula resolutely stopped drinking. Yes, Chopper woke up like a dream and moved quickly. Not long. Antibody preparation is complete. You guys are lucky. I happen to have the raw materials for making antibodies here. If you go to other places, you may not be sure. Dr. Kura finished the antibody injection while talking. Okay, as long as you rest for a few days, you'll be fine, but judging from the symptoms, the girl's illness shouldn't be too long. It's been a long time, and it's been almost six hours since the onset of illness. So you said seriously. Dr. Kura, wrong. Know about Kaskia's disease. And she was found just six hours after the onset of a disease. This is obviously coming prepared. Dr. Kula suddenly raised his head and locked his eyes on Sue's hand. She didn't pay much attention to it because of the urgency of Kaskia's disease. Until now, she just found out. This time the man who came to seek medical treatment was astonishingly. You are the five emperors Sue. Dr. Kula's eyes widened and shock appeared on his face involuntarily. I prefer to be called fairy tale president. Sue smiled. Dr. Kula, this time is really helpful. For a long time, which cura suppressed the shock in her heart? Gudong Gudong Tilda. Take two sips of spirits. 
Dr. Kuro wiped the corner of his mouth. I didn't expect that the famous five fairy tale president would come to my small place. It really makes me shine. Dr. Kula's medical skills are well known far and wide. I have heard about them for a long time. When I saw them today, they are really extraordinary! Exclamation mark. Suyu laughed. A business exchange. Ha ha ha. The two laughed at the same time. I've seen a lot about you fairy tale in the news, and you've helped a lot of people, so this time I'm making an exception and won't charge any medical fees. Dr. Kula waved his hand and said in a huffy voice. Since this is the case, then I will make an exception and complete one of your commissions for free. Is there anything you want to do? Suyu asked. Consignment. Can I do anything? Dr. Kura raised his eyebrows. Ah, anything is fine. Suyu nodded. What if I were to overthrow this hopeless country? Can. Suyu complied without hesitation. Ha ha ha. Let's forget about 4.0. I don't have anything to do right now, so let's leave this commission for now. Dr. Kura got up. I'll go get some more medicine, so I can get better sooner. Half an hour later, Suyu came to the single ward on the second floor of the treehouse with the medicine in hand. President. Thank you I'm much better now. On the sick bed, Nami blinked her big eyes. Her face was rosy and energetic. Because of the magical support, Nami recovered faster than Dr. Kuro imagined. It's time to take medicine. So you brought the spoon to Nami's mouth. Nami, who was very resistant to taking medicine when urinating, cooperated very well this time. One sip after another, it was finished in no time. Because this is Suyu feeding her. President, I have taken my medicine well. Nami looked at Suyu with sparkling eyes. Suyu was taken aback. Immediately stretched out his big hand. Touched Nami's head. Amazing. Amazing. I'm not a kid anymore. Nami puffed up her mouth a little angrily. President, when I was on the boat, I won the Mahjong Championship. Miss Myra said that there is a chance to make a wish to the president, but I have been useless. Nami said. Suyu was taken aback, as if there was such a thing. So, Nami. What do you want? Suyu asked. Um. Nami nodded slightly. I dot 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 I also want to be like Miss Myra, Juvia and Robin. Nami's small face involuntarily flew up into the red clouds. I dot 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 I also want the chairman's reward. Chapter 82 Khalifa joins. Jewelry Bonnie's mum? Question mark subscribe. The magnetic drum country of ice and snow. Guy start rehouse clinic. Miss Doriel, the second dose of medicine is ready, I'll send it over now. Chopper stepped on his short legs and was about to go upstairs. However, in the next second. He was dragged back by Dr. Kula. Wait, Chopper, you can't go now, you're too young. Dr. Kura said seriously. Huh? Chopper tilted his head in confusion. He just wanted to deliver a medicine. What does age have to do with it? Anyway, it doesn't work now. You continue to do the homework I ordered. Dr. Kula pushed Chopper back into the research room involuntarily, and immediately raised his head to look towards the direction of the second floor. Really? The young people these days really don't know how to be restrained at all. The little girl is just recovering from a serious illness. If something happens later, I don't care. Two hours later, it's time to rest now. Suyu looked at Nami helplessly. Nami gasped lightly, with a happy smile on her face. The wish of so many days finally came true. She finally became an adult too. Since joining Fairy Tale, Nami has been playing with Vivi, Wendy and other ignorant girls. Innocent on the surface. But in fact Nami is different from Vivi and Wendy. She is not a novice Kshibai who knows nothing. She knows everything about Suyu, Juvia, Robin, and Myra. Including last time Robin received a small gift from Myra 22. She didn't react at the time, but after thinking about it carefully, she knew it. Since that day, in the center of her mind is little red flower. Until today, everyone is away, just her and Suyu. Nami finally plucked up the courage to reveal her heart, and, finally got what I wanted. She also has a little red flower handkerchief, but, not enough. Nami knows, because I'm a patient now. Suyu had been taking care of her carefully before. Wait till you recover from your illness. Just when Nami was thinking of finding a reason to stay here with Suyu for two more days, at dusk, Fairy Tail followed Suyu's lifeguard and came to Guy Star's treehouse. Nami. How are you Nami? Are you feeling better? The fever has subsided. Great. The fairy tale girls rushed into the ward all at once, asking about their health with concern. Thank you dot 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 thank you for your concern. I'm fine now, but why are you all here? What about work? Nami was dumbfounded. My partner is seriously ill, how can we still sit still? Vivi said seriously. Work will wait until Nami gets well, and we will be together again. Feeling the firm gaze of my best friend, Nami was moved to the point of crying. Have to. The reason I thought about it for so long was completely useless. Sniffed Hilda. Wendy twitched her nose. What's wrong? Wendy. Xialulu asked. It seems dot 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 it seems a little familiar. Wendy asked suspiciously. The smell in the room made her feel familiar. That was back in Sky Island. She had smelled it on her own white hiss. Even after washing, there are still some residues. Only Wendy, who has the sense of smell of a dragon, can detect it. But for this smell, Wendy didn't hate it. Rather, I like it a little bit. So now I want to pursue it. Wow. It's getting hot when there are more people. Let's open a window. Nami hurriedly opened the window. Biting cold wind blows in. Further dilutes the lingering smell in the air. Okay, everyone, don't crowd here. Nami is recovering from a serious illness. Let her rest well, 
I'll just stay and take care of her alone, Mirajan said. Yes. The girls went out one after another. Only Mirajan and Nami are left in the ward. Miss Myra, what's the matter? Nami's eyes dodged slightly. He hid the little red flower handkerchief under the pillow. Don't hide it, I've seen it all. Nami, you and the president. The other side. There is no need to worry about Nami's illness. The girls turned to start preparing for the banquet. Come and celebrate Nami's recovery. Secondly, I would also like to thank Dr. Kula for his help. Period. The talking raccoon cat chopper caught the attention of the girls. As expected. He was chased and jumped for a while. Chopper who ran to the snow was almost regarded as prey by Urza. Fortunately, in the end nothing major happened. For Chopper, it's been a frightening day. The next day, Nami basically recovered. Naturally, there is no reason to continue to stay. Before leaving, Suyu once asked Chopper if he had plans to go to see. Wendy's healing magic is certainly useful, but it is for trauma. If it is a viral infection, or some other intractable diseases, you still need a professional doctor. As a traveler with speed. He is of course confident in Chopper's medical skills, and Chopper is also a member of the protagonist group, if he joins, it will surely bring a lot of upgrade points. Unfortunately, Chopper didn't even hear Suyu's invitation clearly, but was scared away by the girls who were yelling and clawing. As for the invitation, I had no choice but to give up. After a simple greeting, Suyu bids farewell to Dr. Kula. The fairy tale sets sail, leaving the drum country. Another two days. Nami fully recovered. The guild has entered into a normal business state. Urza's team and Wendy's team went out to perform tasks one after another. Myra, entrust South Blue to me, Suyu said. South Blue, President, what are you doing at South Blue? Mirajan asked puzzled. Go pick someone up, Suyu said. Mirajan understands. Immediately, the commission from South Blue was sorted out and handed over to Suyu. Then, I'll go out. Jingle bell tilde. Without waiting for Suyu to go out. Next second, the guild's service bell rang. Has a client come to the door on his own initiative? Anyway, I have been waiting for so long, and this is not bad. Sue is in no hurry to go to South Blue. Quickly, lifts transport guests to the deck, waiting to see the blonde beauty with a gold ponytail, gold-rimmed glasses, and an air of sophistication all over her body. Sue couldn't help but raise her eyebrows, and at the same time, she felt a little interest in her heart. There is no other reason. It was because he recognized the sister in front of him. The only flower in the world government could nine Khalifa. On the premise of knowing her identity. For the purpose of her coming here. So you could probably guess it too. As expected. Welcome. Do you have any questions? Myra stepped forward with a smile. No, no, I'm not here to interest. Said Khalifa, the blonde girl with glasses. Then what are you doing here? Perona took over. My name is Khalifa, and I'm an idle bounty hunter on the Grand Line. And I read on the news that what you fairy tale are doing is exactly what I want. So, the blonde Khalifa took a deep breath. Please, let me join fairy tale and work with you. It will definitely come in handy. You want to join us? Myra was taken aback for a moment, and then looked at Suyu. No problem at all. Suyu responded with a smile without hesitation. Really? The corners of Mirajan's mouth curved slightly. The beautiful girl took the initiative to deliver it to her door. How could the president of his family refuse? Is it really possible? Khalifa's eyes lit up his face full of surprise. But he couldn't help but sneer again and again. I thought to myself that the so-called fairy tale and the so-called five emperors were nothing more than that, and it was so easy for her to succeed as an undercover agent. Just when Khalifa thought so. Of course you want to join, there is no problem. But if you want to officially become a member of fairy tale, you still need to pass some assessments. So you said. Myra Jane, there was no test before? Although she has doubts in her heart. Mirajan trusts Suyu unconditionally. She knew that Suyu must have his reasons for doing so. No problem. Guaranteed to pass. Khalifa responded confidently. Excuse me, Chairman Suyu, what is the specific assessment? I haven't figured out the specific assessment content for 927 yet. I have to go out next time. Let's talk about it when I come back, Suyu said. Before I come back, you can temporarily do some miscellaneous work with Perona, Myra. You are in charge of supervision and investigation. Suyu gave Mirajan a look. Mirajan nodded knowingly. Then, I'm leaving. The voice fell. Suyu left. Whether it's doing odd jobs or what? I will definitely work hard, Khalifa said seriously. Work as a professional undercover agent. Whether it's secretarial work or odd jobs, she can do it all. Then Perona, Khalifa will be your partner temporarily, and you will teach her, Mirajan said. I will handle it. Perona's eyes lit up, and she responded with a full mouth. With Khalifa here, she is no longer a low-level figure in the guild. Three days later, South Blue, Pizza Island. The pizza thief is here again. Everyone cheer up. A pizzeria owner let out a groan. Clutching the spatula, he looked around ferociously, but he completely ignored the little girl she Shiren who was walking by while eating pizza, because in the shopkeeper's impression, the pizza thief is a grown woman. Children are not within the scope of his search at all, just when the little girl was secretly proud that she succeeded again this time. Next second, a big hand grabbed her back collar and lifted her up from the ground. Let go of me quickly, come here, bully children, cried the little girl. However, the opponent remained unmoved. Let me go quickly, 
My mother is very powerful, the little girl said seriously. So you became interested. Even he had no idea. The identity of the mother of Jewelry Bonnie, a woman with a big stomach. Mother, Bonnie suddenly exclaimed in surprise. Sunning turned around and looked at the young girl behind her. President, the young girl also exclaimed in surprise. Bonnie, huh? So you? Chapter 83 New Partner Arushia Bonnie joins Fairy Tale Question mark Subscribe At the first sight of the young girl behind, Suyu has already recognized her identity. Arushia Full name Arushia Milkovic. Daughter of Uru, the great ice major fairy tale world. Wields a powerful lost magic, the arc of time. When Arushia was young, she was sent to the research institute for treatment by her mother Alu because she couldn't bear the too powerful magic power in her body. In the end, Brian. The general of the six devils, took a fancy to him and lied that Arushia died during the treatment. Afterwards, the young Arushia joins the devil's heart after destroying the institute, and obtains the Ark of Time. In the Tower of Paradise incident, she brainwashed Gerald and controlled everything with one hand. After the Sirius Island incident, Arushia was defeated by Grey and fell into the sea. Arushia, who felt the lingering thoughts of her mother Alu, finally repented. Seven years later, in the great demon fighting martial arts, he helped Elusa and others to open the second source of magic. In the event of the Dragon King Festival, in order to save the world, Arushia launched the ultimate profound meaning of the Arc of Time the End of Time. It set the whole world back for a minute, changed the fate of death for many wizards, and finally reversed the battle situation. But she herself has exhausted her lifespan due to the side effects of the end of life, and has become an old man. In the final Alba Rice Kingdom event, Arushia, who existed in the time gap, helped Shiraya open the third magic source and defeat twelve shield Temeria. Like fairy tale, Arushia is almost a character that runs through the entire fairy tale plot. And now, after being summoned, Arushia came to the world of pirates and became a member of fairy tale. Suyu, who has already had the experience of summoning the twelve shield dragon mother Irene, will not be too surprised to be summoned to Arushia. I was even a little surprised. After all, Arushia, who possesses the arc magic of time, is enough to become a major force in fairy tale further enhancing the guild's vitality. Only, Sue is now puzzled, how did Arushia become the mother of Jewelry Bonnie, a woman with a big stomach? Minutes ago, following the coordinates of the partner in his mind, Sue came to the island of South Blue. I can't help but start to look forward to meeting my new partner. However, before Sue found a mysterious new partner, he heard the pizzeria owner shouting. Immediately after, Suyu noticed the Lilai who was eating pizza and swaggering past the owner. A momentary stupefaction. Suyu remembered Lilai's identity. One year later, see Circle Calendar 1520, one of the Supernova Eleven of the same period. A straw hat, jewelry bonnie with a big stomach. She is the daughter of the Shikibukite tyrant Bartholomew Bear and the princess of the Kingdom of Sobel. At the same time, it is in existence that the world government and marine value. Her run once made Akei Ainu, who is Admiral, break into a cold sweat. Like Hyarushia, Bonnie has special abilities related to time. She is able to punch the age of anyone she touches into jewels, thus turning them into children. It can also accelerate the decay and aging of things. Certainly, for one's own age, one can also freely manipulate it. From an 80-year-old old woman to an 80-year-old legal ally, all of them can change freely. Perhaps the only flaw of this ability is that it can only be used in close combat. If you can't even touch the opponent's body, it doesn't make much sense. A lot of information about Bonnie flashed through his mind, so you couldn't help laughing. I didn't expect that this trip to South Blue would have unexpected surprises. Before Bonnie fled swaggeringly, so you made a move and picked him up. And then, he was astonished to hear Bonnie pretending to be a lily and calling for his mother. For the identity of Bonnie's father, so you is well aware of the identity, just to mother. Then comes now. So you looked at Bonnie then at Arushia, and couldn't help but lament the coincidence of fate. Bonnie looked at Arushia, then at Suyu, as if he had sensed something. His beautiful big eyes like jewels suddenly widened. Arushia's gaze shifted from the little Bonnie to Suyu, with uncontrollable joy and excitement on his face. Since coming to this strange world, she felt hesitant and uneasy in her heart. The only consolation in her heart is the president who doesn't know where she is, and fairy tale, which she misses so much. Once, Grey also invited her to join fairy tale. But she refused, because she knows that she has committed a lot of crimes, and she can only live in darkness all her life, and she is not qualified to have beauty. However, in fact, she also yearned for the light, and for fairy tale. President, I. Am I really qualified? To be a member of fairy tale? Arushia looked at Suyu and asked nervously. Up to now, what are you still talking about? Arushia, you are already a member of fairy tale. Suyu's big hand had gently landed on top of Arushia's head. President, Arushia stepped forward, opened his arms and hugged Suyu tightly. Under the power of the embrace, the justice in front of her was also squeezed and deformed. Suyu can clearly feel the whole process of transformation and the front end. After a while, Arushia seemed to be aware of it, and quickly let go of her hand with a blushing face. President, I have one thing to apologize to you about Ellie. 
about this child. Arushia pursed her lips, and looked at Bonnie, who was honest and honest. Ellie, Suyu was taken aback. Ali, jewelry, not much difference actually. Just hearing the name, Suyu couldn't help but think of a famous. Immediately, Arushia has no reservations. Tell everything about your encounter with Bonnie. Suyu finally found out. The place where Arushia was summoned happened to be the institute where the government imprisoned Bonnie. Arriving in New World for the first time, Arushia, who was at a loss, happened to meet Bonnie who had turned into a lily. After learning that Bonnie was also locked up here for research, Arushia saw the shadow of his past from her. In order not to allow Bonnie to follow in his footsteps, Arushia immediately assumed the role of mother, break through the research institute of the world government forcefully, and run away with Bonnie. After going back and forth several times, I finally stayed on this island temporarily. Sorry, President, I caused trouble for the President as soon as I came. Arushia lowered her head and grabbed the hem of her clothes with her slender hands like a child who did something wrong. Woo-oo-oo, it's all because of Ellie, it has nothing to do with mum. Bonnie put on a pitiful look to gain sympathy. No one who can become a supernova with a reward of more than 100 million is a fuel-efficient lamp. It's okay, you don't need to worry about such a small matter at all. So you said indifferently. Then President, can Ellie also join Fairy Tale? Arushia asked nervously. The encounter with Bonnie helped her overcome the confusion period when she came to New World. It is precisely because there are people who want to protect that she can always be firm. Ellie doesn't want to be separated from Mom either. Bonnie looked at Suyu tearfully. Sure. Suyu grinned. Very good. Bonnie cheered excitedly. These days, Bonnie heard Arushia mention the matter of waiting for more than once. It's just that no matter how hard she thinks, she can't imagine that what Arushia is waiting for is the president of Fairy Tale. When she was picked up by Suyu before, she didn't notice it immediately. It wasn't until Arushia arrived that she suddenly discovered that the person in front of her was actually the five emperors, the fifth sea emperor of this sea. If you can take shelter from fairy tale, then there is no need to worry about the pursuit of Marine and the government. The only thing Bonnie felt sorry for was Arushia. Obviously Arushia regarded her as his own daughter, and he had indeed deceived her and concealed a lot. Just as Bonnie cheered excitedly, Suyu changed the topic before officially joining fairy tale. Ellie Chan. Do you have something to confess to me? Suyu looked at Bonnie with a smile. Feel the gaze of Suyu. Bonnie only felt that everything about him was being seen through, and there was nothing to hide. Confession. Confession of what? Bonnie blinked his eyes wide, cutely empty-headed. Although she was flustered in her heart, she already planned to play lorry to the end. Since you don't want to say it, forget it. Suyu waved his hand. Bonnie breathed a sigh of relief. Let's go. Suyu directly took Arushia's little hand, and was about to turn around and leave. President, Ellie. She, Arushia turned her head worriedly. I know what you want to say, but Tia, as a partner of fairy tale, the most important thing is to trust each other. There must be no deception or concealment between partners. So you said decisively, as for this brat's food, clothing, housing and transportation, don't worry about it. Don't look at her like this. In fact, it's common for people to sneak pizza under people's noses. Sunning joked. Well, Arushia froze. Okay, let's go. First complete a few commissions, and then go back to the guild to celebrate with everyone. As Suyu said that, he took Arushia away without looking back. Watching Suyu and Arushia walking away gradually, Bonnie finally came to his senses and was completely anxious. She knows, if you don't say something yourself, no matter how much he cries and pretends to be pitiful, Suyu will definitely take Arushia away. At that time, he will become alone again. Worst case scenario will once again be censored by the government. Think here. Bonnie shook his head violently, making up his mind. Wait. Wait for me. Bonnie let out a hoarse cry. After all, Arushia couldn't bear to turn her head back. However, when she saw Laurie behind her, she suddenly turned into a 17 or 18 year old girl. Even Arushia couldn't help but froze on the spot. Finally a little more honest. Suyu chuckled. Bonnie trotted anxiously to Arushia. Mommy. No, sister Arushia, I'm sorry I lied to you. I'm not actually an 8 year old child. I'm an adult, and my name is not Ellie. Jewelry Bonnie, this is my original name. And, Bonnie apologized earnestly, dot 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 I'm afraid, afraid of Miss Arushia, sister, you will leave me after you know this, I don't e want to be alone anymore, so dot 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 so. At the end, Bonnie's voice could not help but bring a little cry. Arushia is the second person she has met in her life who is sincerely kind to her besides her father, Xan. Thinking about breaking up, Bonnie couldn't help but reveal his true feelings, so this is our. Arushia nodded slightly, Bonnie. Look up. Bonnie whimpered and looked up. Next second, a warm and wide embrace wrapped her up. Big man, it's okay. Arushia spoke softly. After a while, the two girls ended up embracing each other. Both pairs of big eyes looked at Suyu eagerly. Before that, Bonnie, you need to do one more thing. Suyu smiled. Three minutes later, Suyu led Bonnie to the pizzeria. Took the pizza without permission. I am really sorry. Bonnie sincerely apologized to the owner. However, this moment, the pizza shop owner, however, was unheard of from the beginning to the end. His eyes were on Suyu. There was extreme shock and disbelief on his face, 
followed by infinite joy. You dot 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 you are the president of fairy tale, Master Suyu, the pizza owner said in a trembling voice. But it's not because of fear, but because of excitement. In the minds of the people at the bottom of the world, fairy tale has received rave reviews. Even after the Anais lobby incident, Suyu's bounty increased to 1.5 billion and he became the five emperors. Many civilians at the bottom are still not driven by the government's public opinion, so they are afraid. The reason for this situation is due to Morgans. In addition to covering big events such as Alabaster, Sky Island, etc. Sometimes Morgas would send his reporters to guard the entrusted place where Arusa and the others were about to arrive. Recorded, interviewed and reported the whole process. The accumulation of entrustments made fairy tales tall image deeply rooted in the hearts of the people. Master Suyu. So this girl is also from fairy tale. If she is, then it's totally fine. No matter how much she eats, it's all free. How about this, Wang Wang Zhao? It's my honor. The pizza shop owner said excitedly. Real? Bonnie's eyes lit up, and he said that he wanted to get pizza again. However, as soon as the hand was stretched halfway, there was only a snap. Bonnie's little hand suddenly became red and swollen. Woo woo woo. Bonnie's eyes welled up in pain. This trick is useless to me. So you cast a sideways glance at Bonnie. Immediately withdrew the money and paid everything Bonnie owed so far. After, so you took Bonnie to several stores again. Listen, Bonnie, I lent you the money. You have to learn how to make money by accepting entrustments yourself and pay it back to me later. Sue taught seriously. New. Bonnie nodded honestly. Cemetery. Bonnie's eyes lit up. Well, President, if that's the case, can I borrow a little more now? Hash. Naval Headquarters, Marinford. Clatter. Hasty steps came to the Marshal's office. Sengoku. There's news about the kid who escaped from the Institute. Chief Staff Officer Vice Admiral he said in a deep voice. Really? Then let South Blue take action quickly and try to bring it back as soon as possible. Marshal Sengoku said. No. Vice Admiral Crane shook his head with a solemn expression. My judgment was wrong before. What does it mean? Sengoku was puzzled. It has been confirmed that some time ago. The time user who took that child away from the research institute is also a member of Fairy Tale. Chief Staff Officer Vice Admiral Crane said every word. Nanny, how do you know about this kind of thing, Xio? Marshal Sengoku was startled, his eyes widened unconsciously. Because Fairy Tale President Suyu is in South Blue right now, right here with them. Vice Admiral Crane Road, Sengoku. Chapter 84 5 Emperor Suyu descends on nine snakes. Shocking daughter country. Question mark subscribe. Half a month later, Suyu's trip to South Blue came to a successful conclusion. Not only exceeded the commissioned indicators, he even managed to gain two new partners. After purchasing the necessary daily necessities and South Blue's specialty gifts, Suyu took Arusia and Bonnie, took the magical power boat walked the calm belt back to the Grand Line. However, two days later, new problems arise. Suyu so bought a cabin full of food, which bottomed out. Looking at the bottomless warehouse, and then at Bonnie who was wringing his fingers innocently, the corners of Suyu's mouth couldn't help twitching slightly. Good guy. Although I know that Bonnie, who has the title of a girl with a big stomach, can eat very well, and he can compete with a straw hat boy in terms of food intake. But, Suyu didn't know that this girl was so good at eating. During the two days of wandering at sea, my mouth never stopped. It seems that when we return to the guild, we must equip the ship with a large refrigerator with a lock, so you thought so. I'm sorry, but I've read on the news that you're fast, President, so I thought we'd be able to go back to the guild headquarters soon. Bonnie said weakly. Hey, President, when can we meet up with everyone for a banquet? Hash. Good guy. It's just oily and salty. Are you still thinking about the banquet? He he he. I'm afraid I'm going to disappoint you, Bonnie Chan. We have to stay here for a while, a few days at the shortest. Dozens of days at the longest, Suyu said. Alas Tilda. Bonnie's beautiful eyes widened immediately, and she exclaimed in surprise. How many days dot 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 dozens of days? Why? What about our food? Suyu didn't explain. It's okay, Bonnie, this is the sea. Even if the food is gone, there will still be fish. Arushia said seriously. Unfortunately, Arushia, we are Fang Yuan for a kilometer, and there is not a single fish. Suyu spread out his hands. How so? Bonnie marveled again. Look around. The sea is eerily calm. There is no wind and no waves. This is also a matter of course, because this is the calm belt. But, no fish. That's a bit of a joke. How can there be no fish in such a large sea area? Bonnie seriously suspected that it was Suyu trying to scare her. However, the truth is. 273. The name of a person. The shadow of a tree. Just like Suyu, who now holds the title of five emperors, is awe-inspiring to the sea. The ever-increasing power of the Dragon King also gave Suyu the power of a dragon invisibly. In a state of restraint, people may not be aware of it, but the aura of the top predator at the top of the food chain naturally exuded in the dark. For other creatures, it is deadly. The Calm Belt claims to be the lair of the Sea Kings. Attacks from the Sea Kings are the biggest obstacle to the passage of the common people. But, 
been in the calm belt for two days now. Suyu and his party have never seen even one Sea Kings, all because of the coercion of the giant dragon emanating from somewhere. Fang Yuan kilometers, no creature dares to approach. No fish is true. Scaring Bonnie is also true. If Suyu really wants to catch Sea Kings, the kilometer distance is only an instant. You even need to put your hand into the sea and release the electricity to turn over another piece at will. In a blink of an eye, it was another three days. Even though Bonnie had greatly restrained his food intake compared to the previous two days, the food storage on the ship was inevitably completely emptied. I'm so hungry. Gutilda. Bonnie's stomach growled uncontrollably. No, it's all because of me. The president and sister Tia won't be able to eat anymore. I have to keep my spirits up and I will definitely be able to catch fish. Bonnie held the fishing rod and whispered firmly. With Suyu around, however, Bonnie is destined to have a day in the Air Force. The sun was setting. Night fell. Bonnie, who couldn't catch any fish, lay on the bow of the boat, closed his eyes and giggled, drooling all over the floor. President Arusha looked helplessly at Suyu where the old god was present. Don't wait to say anything. Next second, Bonnie, who was lying on his stomach dreaming and feasting, suddenly stood up, sniffed Tilda. Her nose sucked sharply. Meat. It's the smell of meat. Roasted meat. Broth, fried meat, Bonnie said excitedly. Arusha looked at Bonnie distressed. I thought the child might be hungry and confused. It's true, Sister Tia, there must be a lot of food over there. Bonnie pointed southeast, far away. In the darkness, there is a bright dot. It seems that, CCCD, is the brightest star in the night sky. It's getting closer. Arusha was finally convinced that Bonnie wasn't starving and confused. Because of this light, it is indeed an island, and it is not an uninhabited island. And, this moment, the island was brightly lit and bustling as if some kind of celebratory banquet was in progress. Let's go, I'll take you to Sengfen. So you smiled slightly. So much for Bonnie's small punishment and big punishment. In a blink of an eye, gravity magic, activated. The magic power boat broke away from the sea, soared into the sky amidst Bonnie's exclamation, and went straight to the blue sky. Then it slowly approached the brightly lit Nine Snakes daughter country. Even the Nine Snake Guardian Warriors of Grandmaster Observation Haki, also unaware of the boat approaching from a high altitude. This moment, all over Nine Snakes daughter island, every household is decorated with lanterns and streamers, which is very festive. Just because today is a special day. Today is the day when the Nine Snake Pirate Emperor Pirate Empress Boa Hancock returns from the expedition. Every time, the Nine Snake Pirates returned from an expedition, the whole country would celebrate it. In such a festive and lively day, no one will notice a strange ship suddenly appearing in the corner of the port. No, although no one noticed, the Mount of the Nine Snakes, the highly poisonous snake that even the Sea Kings were afraid of three points, noticed. However, under Suyu's invisible dragon prestige, even the highly poisonous snake bowed its head, not daring to make any noise. Hey, sister, can the food here really be unlimited Buffy? Can I get more? Eight-year-old Lolita Bonnie looked at the table full of delicious food, his eyes lit up. Sure. Margaret, the guardian warrior with short orange hair, smiled kindly. Today is the day when Lord Snake Jira returns from an expedition. Everyone can eat and drink as much as they want, but there is one principle that must be followed, that is, don't waste it. Margaret emphasized. Yeah, don't waste, don't waste, absolutely don't waste. Bonnie began to scan the goods while talking. Finally, under Margaret's stunned eyes, he packed a sack full of food and ran away. When Margaret came back to her senses, Bonnie had already disappeared. Margaret shook her head, not paying too much attention. It's just that Bonnie took so much to share with his friends. However, just ten minutes later, Bonnie came to the buffet again, throwing millions of berry onto the empty table. Then it started to eat and pack like no one else was there. Her abnormal behavior inevitably attracted the attention of the nine snake warriors. Then whose child can eat better than me? The broad and fat National Guard warrior Stubby said in surprise. I don't know, it seems like I haven't seen it much. Yifalandora, the tall national protector shook her head. That kid has been here once before, and I said it was free, but she brought money this time. Margaret frowned puzzled. Something's wrong, there's something wrong with that kid. The discreet warrior Kikyo's complexion changed, and he stepped forward with his long legs, stopping in front of Bonnie who was about to leave after packing. Sister, what's the matter with you? Bonnie blinked innocently at Kikyo. What's your name? Whose child is it? Yifalandra stepped forward. You're amazing, you can eat better than me, and you will definitely be an outstanding warrior in the future. Stoby said, little friend, my sister said earlier that you should take what you can eat, and don't cause waste. Margaret said seriously. Sister, I also said that I can eat better. Bonnie also answered seriously. People don't believe it. She performed a three bites and one pig on the spot. All the warriors who defended the country were dumbfounded by the carcadazzle like a reincarnation of a starving ghost. Taking advantage of the warriors' stupefied efforts, Bonnie carried a sack larger than a person on his back and ran away in a hurry. Ah, the kid is gone. Stubby exclaimed. It doesn't matter. Just follow up and take a look. Protecting the country warrior Platycodon Grandiflorum has a plan in mind. Magic power boat. President, Sister Tia, I am getting fat, 
and the mission has been successfully completed. This food should be enough to support our lives for several days. Bonnie spoke complacently. Have you paid the money? You shouldn't have hidden it. So you cast a sideways glance at Bonnie. No, of course not. I have already paid for it. If the president doesn't believe it, you can check it. Bonnie, who had been wronged, was immediately aggrieved. I'm sorry, sorry, I'm not good. Thank you. So you grinned and apologized for his gaffe. Then forgive the president. Bonnie smiled and sat down beside Suyu. President, it seems that someone is coming. Arushia's complexion suddenly changed. Next second, chirp, boom. Gorgeous fireworks bloom in the night sky. That's the signal of the Kyushu's enemy attack. It was discovered. Sorry, president, I screwed up. Let's run. The smile on Bonnie's face suddenly disappeared, and his expression was tense. It's okay, let's eat first. Suyu didn't care. Drifting to Nine Snake Island today. It was purely a coincidence to meet them at their celebration banquet. It is not good to break into other people's territory without authorization to eat and take. That's why Suyu asked Bonnie to bring money to pay the bill, and it was far beyond the price of the food. Originally, Suyu planned to come and leave quietly, trying not to cause commotion and unhappiness. But, now that it has been discovered, if you don't say hello a little, you will leave. It also doesn't get a good reputation for fairy tale. At this moment, Nine Snake Port, the four warriors who protect the country gather together, all of them looked dignified. It really is an intruder from outside. Kikyo looked dignified. Intruders? How come? This is the Nine Snakes located in Calm Belt. If there are intruders, it is impossible that there will be no abnormal reports on the border, and the sea gate has been closed. It should be impossible for anyone to invade. The fat girl warrior Stubby exclaimed. Although I don't know what's going on, but that ship and that little girl are definitely not from China. Female Titan Warrior Philandra frowned. Don't act trashly for now. Everything will be discussed when the warriors of our regiment arrive. Margaret said, not long. Swish swish swish. The warriors of the Kuja pirates gathered from all directions. Margaret, Kikio, what happened? An emergency signal was sent. The tall woman with long wavy green hair arrived first. Lord Sanderson here? Yeah? I'm really sorry, everything is our negligence, which caused invaders to appear in the country. Kikio said, nanny. Intruder? Just kidding. How could someone invade our nine snakes? Who doesn't know? This is the place of Shikibukai Sama Snake Lady. The warriors of the Nine Snakes were all taken aback. However, when following the line of sight of Margaret and others, they saw the strange boat at the corner of the port. The impossible voices of the warriors stopped abruptly, and were replaced by shock, horror and disbelief. Next second, Lan, a short-haired girl wearing suspenders and silk, stared suddenly, with the light of the moonlight, she noticed the sign on the magic power boat. That's the symbol of fairy tale. Lan exclaimed, fairy tale? What is that? Margaret and others who stayed in the country couldn't help being taken aback. The other warriors of the Nine Snakes changed expressions when they heard this name. Fairy tale, that is the fifth emperor of the sea. The emperor's marriage led by President Sushi who rewarded Xia with 1.5 billion berry. Boya's younger sister, Sanderson yeah, spoke solemnly. Nanny, the warriors who protect the country were all shocked. Their Nine Snake Emperor is the famous Shikibukai Pirate Emperor's. But, Shikibukai is powerful. But the emperor who dominates the sea in legendary is even more terrifying. It's fake. It's fairy tale. Why did fairy tale's ship appear here? The two major Shikai Bukai, Clock Hida and Moria, have been defeated successively. Could it be that? Could it be that the next target of fairy tale is Lord Snake? Why? We have never provoked them. All the warriors of the Nine Snake Pirates were throbbing. However, what made them even more horrified and terrified was yet to come. Pat. The hatch of the magic power boat opened, holding a glass of wine. So you walked out slowly. That that dot 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 that is dot 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 yeah oh yeah oh dot 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 the head of fairy tale five emperors Suyu. Chapter eighty five. Bloodbath nine snake daughter country is buried with Arushia. Question mark subscribe. Calm belt nine snake island daughter country five emperors Suyu. The fifth sea emperor. It happened to be this man. Why is Suyu the five emperors here? Did he really come here for Lord Snake Princess? What the hell is this guy trying to do? Exclamation mark tilde. The nine snake warriors who recognized Suyu couldn't help but scream in horror. Girls of nine snakes, don't be nervous, I have no malicious intentions, I just passed by on this trip by chance, and I happened to see you guys having a banquet, so, I didn't invite you. Suyu waved his hand to signal the nine snakes not to be afraid. However, speaking of the terrifying man who defeated two Shikibukai indirectly in just half a year, how could they simply believe? Still tense. However, he did not take the initiative to attack. The name of a person, the shadow of a tree. Even if the outside world has doubts about Suyu's title of five emperors, and many people call him a false emperor, but the nine snakes don't think so. Even if the man offering a reward of 1.5 billion is not the emperor. He is also the number one person under the emperor, and they are not something they can provoke casually. Don't worry, I'm really not here to find trouble. If I insist, I'm just here for a meal. But as for the meal fee, I have already ordered someone to pay you. Suyu shook his head helplessly. Margaret regained her senses and quickly sent the money that Bonnie had left on the table to Sanderson ear and the others. Master Sonia, 
This is indeed left by the previous girl, maybe what he said is true. Margaret said, after all, if someone is really malicious, why would he pay money on purpose? The current situation is no longer something we can handle, only my sis can decide. Sanderson ear said in a deep voice. Margaret. Guardian Kikio winked at Margaret. Go and find your mother-in-law right now. I see. Margaret understood and retreated quietly. The standoff at the port lasted ten minutes. Some moment. The tense nine snakes suddenly burst into joy. Master Serpent. Lord Hancock. Master Snake Princess is here. A group of nine snake warriors automatically parted ways. Noble. Glamorous and a beautiful woman with an iceberg-like aura all over her body stepped forward. She is the emperor of this nine snake daughter country. Also one of the seven warlords of the sea. One Piece Boa Hancock. Nine years ago, 18-year-old Boa Hancock's first expedition as the emperor of nine snakes caused shock in the world, and he was given a trop tier reward of 8,000 square meters for the first time by the world government. But compared to this reward, she is more famous for her peerless appearance. No matter who sees it, they will be fascinated by it. It can be called killing men women and children. Beauty is also the strongest weapon of Empress Hancock. With the power of sweet fruit, she can petrify anyone who is attracted by her beauty. It is precisely because of this ability that she has created her extremely arrogant and distorted character. Sister. Boya Sanderson ear hurried forward to inform the current situation. Nanny. It turned out to be that man. Boya's third sister, Marigold, was taken aback. Yes, the other party is undoubtedly the five emperors Suyu, and his purpose is not sure yet. Please be careful. It doesn't matter. Empress Hancock interrupted her sister's reminder. The beautiful pretty face is calm and calm from the beginning to the end. Whether it's the four emperors or the five emperors, it's all meaningless, because the concubine is so beautiful. Bauer Hancock said his signature line. Ah, on the magic power boat, so you couldn't help laughing. With a flash, he came to the shore and looked at Boa Hancock calmly. Shikai Bukai's pirate queen, I've heard of you, by the way. Do you want to join our fairy tale? Sue so said casually. As soon as the words came out, immediately everyone was shocked. Nanny. What did the man say? He. He he he. You actually want to invite Master Snake to join fairy tale? Are you kidding? Why did Master Snake join other teams? What five emperors? But everyone is the same. This man must also have taken a fancy to Lady Snake Lady's beauty. The warriors of the nine snakes were all shocked and angry. However, on the face of it, he dared not show the slightest performance. After all, the other party is the five emperors and a mistake in one sentence may lead to terrible wishes. Ordinary nine snake warriors dare not say it, but the proud Empress Hancock has no taboos. I want my concubine to join you. It's wishful thinking. If you kneel down to add my toes now, maybe I can still think about it. Empress Boa Hancock spoke arrogantly. What nonsense are you talking about? If you don't join, you won't join. Our president really wants you to join. Who do you think you are? The center of the world. Everyone revolves around you. What is the number one in the world? A beautiful woman. That's all. Don't be too trustworthy. Before Suyu could speak, the irascible Bonnie took the lead in turning on the hate mode. True. When she saw Boa Hancock for the first time, she was really amazed. But, when she heard Empress Hancock say something like making Suyu add feet, Bonnie couldn't help but speak to her. The other side. Listening to Bonnie angry at Boa Hancock, the nine snake warriors on the field couldn't help being stunned and frightened. This was the first time they had heard anyone dare to speak to Empress Hancock like this. And they knew that their lady Shija would never let it go, as expected. Next second. Facing Bonnie's rage, Empress Hancock did not glare. Instead, she showed a delicate and pitiful expression like a little woman. See, Bonnie on the boat couldn't help but lose his mind for a moment. At this time, Empress Hancock folded her hands in the shape of a heart. Marum Romello, the pink light radiates out. Bonnie saws, watch out. Arushia, who saw the short future, was shocked and quickly pushed Bonnie aside. Instead, Bauer Hancock's petrified light fell on her. Unavoidable. Arushia was hit, turned into a stone statue on a spot. Miss Tia. Bonnie yelped in panic. What to do? What to do? It's all me. Dot 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 dot. Sorry, Sister Tia. Looking at the petrified Arushia, Bonnie burst into tears. On the shore, Empress Hancock raised a proud smile. However, just the next second, the smile on Empress Hancock's beautiful face froze. Silently, a figure appeared behind her. A tall shadow cast down, covering her whole body. Exclamation mark. Watch out behind you, Master Serpentine. Everyone in Nine Snakes screamed in fear. I can ignore your abuse, even if you ask me to touch your toes. I can also ignore it, but too. So you change the topic. Boom. There will be thunder and explosions in the world. The incomparable power of the Dragon King surged out from Suyu's body. Under the pressure of this terrifying momentum, the faces of all the nine snake warriors in the field were extremely shocked beyond restraint. Unprecedented fear invaded their bodies and minds like a tide. Under this coercion, even the situation in the world changed color. If something happens to my partner, not only you, 
but I will bloodbath the entire Nine Snake Daughter country and bury her with her. Suyu's devilish whisper reached the ears of Empress Boa Hancock. Even the proud pirate Empress is no longer arrogant at this moment. Since becoming the Nine Snake Emperor, her life has always been above the clouds. No one has ever disobeyed her ideas. But, an accident happened today. In front of this man, her beauty was useless. Listening to Suyu's whisper, Empress Hancock felt fear again after many years. At this time, Snake dot 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 snake. Stop now. An old and anxious voice came. What mother-in-law? Why is the mother-in-law here? Very good. The warriors of the nine snakes shrouded in despair couldn't help but look happy, as if they had grasped the life-saving straw. Sorry. I'm really sorry. Five Emperor Suyu, Snake is just impulsive and has no malicious intentions. Please don't argue with her. Gloriosa, the former emperor of nine snakes, nodded and bowed again and again to apologize. Suyu remained unmoved in the slightest and the powerful coercion still enveloped the audience. She I'm not joking this time. I'm begging you, my old lady. Even if everyone won't blame you, don't you really have the heart to watch everyone suffer disaster? Gloriosa said earnestly, Sister. Master Serpent, Sister Bo and others also looked at Empress Hancock expectantly, who, after a moment, Nandi Hancock breathed a sigh of relief. The hands overlap again to form a heart shape, and activate the petrification release. Great, Miss Tia, you've recovered. Bonnie Hadarushia, sobbing in fear. Okay. Okay, it's all right, the president is too. This time, we broke in first, so don't make things difficult for them. Arushia comforted, so you still didn't speak. But the invisible long white covering the world retreated quietly. Everyone in Nine Snakes felt light-hearted, and let out a long breath in unison. So you, the president of Fairy Tale, I didn't know you were here before, so I'm sorry to welcome you. If possible, please allow us to treat you well. Gloriosa said solemnly, no need. Suyu refused indifferently. He flicked his fingers lightly. The magic powerboat lifts off under the effect of light gravity. This is the first and last time. Suyu looked at Empress Hancock. Also, I take back what I said earlier. A woman like you is not worthy of joining Fairy Tale. Say it. Suyu raised his right foot and stomped it down heavily. Boom. Dot 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 asking for flowers. Nine Snake Daughter National Drama Shock. Under the horrified eyes of the Nine Snakes, a huge crack runs through the entire port. Kaka. A gap was opened in the city wall of Daughter Country. The terrifying crack continued to spread along the gap. Finally arrived at the mountain outside the city. Rumbling. Exclamation mark. The mountain is cracked. Sizzle. At this moment, the sound of gasping for air conditioning came and went, one after another. Just one kick is enough to cause such terrifying destructive power. If this force erupts in full force, the entire Nine Snake Daughter Kingdom may be wiped out. Fortunately, the worst didn't happen. The president of Fairy Tale, the Five Emperors, Suyu, this man is even scarier than what is reported in the news. He is the real emperor. The expression on Gloriosa's sour plum face was unprecedentedly solemn. Through the previous incident, I also understand that there is a beast hidden under this man's kind appearance. Once his reverse scales are touched, he will show a violent side. The partner is that man's reverse scale. It was like this in the Anais lobby incident last time, and it's the same this time. So snake girl, don't do this kind of thing again in the future. For Gloriosa's preaching, if it is changed to before, Empress Hancock has already passed by. But, at this moment, she seemed to have never heard of it. All she can think about now is Suyu's last words. Not worthy. Did you say she wasn't worthy? That night, nine snakes, who had passed by the crisis of destroying the country, ended the celebration early. Morning hours. Empress Hancock sat up abruptly. That hateful man actually said that I am not worthy of a concubine. The next day, Bower Hancock frowned, biting his thumb tightly, taking a step back and thinking more and more. Damn it, it's nothing but fairy tale. What's wrong with being a concubine? Late night on the third day. The concubine is so beautiful, why does that man say that the concubine is unworthy? The fourth day, because he cared too much about Suyu's last words before he left. Bower Hancock was distraught for a moment. The image of Suyu's face in his mind became more and more profound and clear. For the first time, a man was able to make an impression in her sea. The fourth day after leaving Nine Snakes, Suyu has already returned to normal. Blue 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 tilde. The phone buzzed. President Suyu. The voice of News King Morgans came from the other end of the phone bug. Those lifeless things are about to start moving. Hey. Is it finally about to start? So you grinned. New world. The Rice Rosa. Underground trading port. Ha 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 ha. It's finally about to start. The fairy tale destruction plan. It's not in vain that we have been planning for so long. This time the plan will be unprecedented. Being able to die under this demon slaying action, fairy tale should also be honored. For this monster slaying plan, hundreds of pirate groups have united. The crocodiles of the dark underground world gather again for a video conference. The reason why we were able to gather such a huge force so smoothly this time. Apart from the lure of high rewards, is that fairy tale zone crimes are also a big reason. Yeah, they want to be the heroes of the common people at the bottom, and they have to pay the price to fight the whole sea for them. 
the price of becoming a hero is death. Fairy tale is indeed very strong, except for the four emperors, there is no pirate group that is his opponent. It is precisely because of this that pirates from all over the world will unite. Get rid of them before fairy tale finds them. But, about the final division of interests, shouldn't we also think about it? The golden clock tower is a priceless treasure, and I will not easily hand it over to others. Idiot, don't even think about the golden clock tower, unless you have the confidence to fight against the four emperors, compared to the big clock tower. I prefer the women of fairy tale, they are all first class, the best, that's right, those women can't be wasted, tell the fairy tale women of the hundred regiments alliance that as long as they are alive and well, they can come to me in exchange for 300 million berry, I pay 500 million, 600 million, the leaders of the major dark forces are all relaxed and happy, the first half of the grand line is paradise, by Chen Island, more than 100 pirate groups gathered on this island to form the hundred regiment alliance, and the name of the island comes from this, Ha 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 ha. The monster slaying operation is about to begin. The golden clock tower is Lozy's stuff. Ha ha ha. What is the fifth emperor of the sea? Lozy is going to step on him to take the throne. What five emperors? Sue you. As long as you follow the plan and take their ship and some of their partners as hostages, you can break it. Up to now, the five emperors are probably still hanging around in South Blue, not knowing what will happen next. Little ones, let's go. The big pirate fleet composed of 132 pirate regiments is moving forward. Dot 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 inch. Chapter 86. Demon Mirajan, bursting onto the scene. Exclamation mark. Subscribe. The sun is just right, and the breeze is not dry. Sea breeze, comfortable and pleasant. On the endless sea, the guild ship monster tail is still calm today. On the rear deck, a blonde beauty wearing gold-rimmed glasses expertly dried her clothes. She is Khalifa, the Incredibles of World Government CP9. This time, he was ordered by five elders to perform the task of undercover fairy tale. It has been nearly a month since she came to fairy tale. A month ago because Suyu went out to South Blue's sake. The assessment for her membership has been stranded. Khalifa, who is not yet an official member of Fairy Tale, has been doing odd jobs on the boat for the past month. Do the laundry, sweep the floor, tidy up the house dot 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 everything. The hard-working Khalifa also won unanimous praise from the Fairy Tale girls. Naturally, Khalifa doesn't like doing chores, and everything is for undercover missions. And in the past month, she has not gained nothing, except that the President Suyu only met briefly on the first day. She has already contacted other members during this month. Through secret observation, a lot of information was obtained. For example, the preferences and habits of fairy tale girls, and the working mode of fairy tale guild. She has mastered all these basic information. But about the core issue, it is also the special power of fairy tale that the five elders want her to investigate, but nothing has been found so far. During this period, on the way to the party with the fairy tale girls, Khalifa even directly expressed curiosity about the special abilities of the fairy tale girls, just barely getting the words out of Vivi's mouth. But in the end, it was interrupted by Nami, who said that he would know after he officially joined. Nami's move is not because he is wary of Khalifa. I just want to keep a suspense and let Khalifa discover the surprise by himself. Fairy Tale 330. This so called guild organization still hides countless secrets. It seems that I must be prepared for a protracted war. Khalifa thought firmly. Next second, she frowned and looked up suddenly. Boom. A shell exploded on the sea about several hundred meters away from the fairy tale. Khalifa's pupils shrank suddenly. Looking into the distance, she saw the shadow of a black ship coming from the end of the horizon. That is a super fleet composed of one pirate group after another. The rumors at that time were true, because the pirates on the sea really united. Khalifa turned pale. Reminds me of a rumor from a while ago. That was after Sky Island and before the events of Renai's lobby. Because of the Sky Island Golden Town and the Golden Clock Tower, the pirates on the sea are all eager to move, wanting to unite against Fairy Tale. However, after the Anai's lobby incident happened, Suyu was promoted to be the fifth emperor of the sea. Khalifa originally thought that the title of five emperors was enough to deter those young people. The rumor joint event will never happen again, but never thought about it. The pirates actually acted, and also chose a best time point. Chairman Suyu has been missing for almost a month. Both Urza's team and Wendy's team are also on missions, apart from her. There were only Mirajan and Perona on the ship, two back office personnel. In other words, now she is the most capable one on this ship. If you can perform well, maybe you can directly join Fairy Tale and get in touch with the inner secrets. Khalifa couldn't help thinking. However, just for a moment, she shook her head again, dismissing the idea. If it's just one ship, that's all. She is confident that she can deal with it. But, just a cursory glance. Khalifa saw at least dozens of pirate ships. Although she is a CP9 Superman with more than 600 powers. But it is absolutely no match for the pirate united fleet. Now that all the main players are out, they can only avoid the edge and run away temporarily. Khalifa returned to the guild immediately, found Mirajan and Perona, and briefly explained the situation. Nanny, we are being targeted by the big pirate fleet. Why? Don't they know who the president is? Perona exclaimed again and again startled by the news. By contrast, 
The expression on Mirezen's pretty face was much calmer, long after the events of Sky Island, so you had already mentioned this possibility to them. Miss Myra, doesn't this ship have the function of flying? Hurry up and escape before the siege network of the pirates is formed. The other party may have special abilities that can restrict flying. Khalifa said solemnly, escape, why escape? Myra asked with a smile, dot. Why run away? It's not something obvious. The president said that fairy tale does not cause trouble but it is never afraid of trouble. The enemy takes the initiative to attack the door. Of course, what we have to do is to give them a head-on blow. Mirajan, who has always been gentle and weak, is also full of haki at this moment, and if these villains can be eliminated, this sea will become a little better. That's right, even though the president and everyone else are not here, there is still Sister Myra here. Perona echoed. Dot. Crazy, crazy. The two war scum actually wanted to meet the big fleet of pirates, just in the middle of talking. The distance between the pirate grand fleet and the fairy tale was further shortened. The terrifying shelling was enough to hit the fairy tale. Khalifa gritted her teeth. Turn around and walk out of the hatch. For undercover missions, she can only go all out. At least block enemy shells. Don't let the shells do too much damage to the ship. In this way, when Myra sees clearly the difference in strength between the two sides, she will know that what she said is right, and then she will turn on the flight mode and escape. Just when Khalifa thought so, what happened immediately before her eyes subverted her cognition? The shell damage she had feared about the fairy tale's hull never happened. The fairy tale has indeed appeared within the artillery range of the pirates. But, the overwhelming and dense shells were unable to cause any damage to the fairy tale at all. Outside the fairy tale there is a light green defense net. All shells are intercepted. This. What the hell is this? Just when Khalifa was immersed in the shock of self-defense magic. Next second, something even more shocking happened to him. I saw the bow of the fairy tale deformed. A huge cannon barrel then emerged. Magic cluster cannon. Launch from Jupiter. Whoosh. Boom. Under Mirajan's control. The Jupiter cannon exploded for the first time in One Piece World. A beam of light brighter than the sun shoots out. Straight hit the dozens of pirate ships in front. Boom. A terrifying ball of explosion rose above the surface of the sea. In an instant, more than a dozen pirate groups were evaporated. The whole army was wiped out, including people and boats. Wang Differ. What a terrifying power. Is it the Pluton cannon? Khalifa's eyes widened, and his whole body was in extreme shock unable to extricate himself. Before this task, she had been undercover in the water capital for four years, for the design blueprint of ancient weapon Pluton Pluto in Legendary. But, right now, after watching the magic cluster gun Jupiter launched by the fairy tale, Khalifa felt that even Pluton's shelling should be nothing more than that. Just when Khalifa was shocked to the point of loss of consciousness, the magic cluster cannon Jupiter fired again. After three shots, dozens of pirate groups have completely disappeared from the sea, and the Jupiter cannon has also entered the cooling down stage. Even if the supply of magic power is unlimited, the barrel cannot withstand continuous shooting. But, the deterrence caused by these three Jupiter cannons is already huge. The Hundred Regiments Alliance, who had vowed to win the monster tail with Thunderbolt, was now in chaos. Are you kidding? That is how the matter? What the hell is that exaggerated cannon? One cannon destroyed dot 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 no. More than a dozen pirate ships were evaporated. What kind of cannon is this? Could it be an ancient weapon? And why can't our shells cause damage to that ship? The main force of fairy tale that was promised is not here, so who can take it easily? At this moment, many pirate groups are feeling retreating. Don't be afraid, disperse the fleet now. That's the proof that fairy tale is at its wit's end. That's right, because the main members are no longer there, so I can only use the cannon at the bottom of the box. Look, that cannon is overheated. As I expected, it is not a cannon that can be used infinitely. Fairy tale can no longer fire the cannon. Now is the time. The pirates representing the dark forces are all shouting loudly and firm in their confidence. Paradise is really a gathering place for cowardly garbage. A faint sneer sounded. What did you say? A pirate captain who offered a reward of 30 million just wanted to reprimand him. The word stopped abruptly. That. That's the logo of the Big Mom Pirates. The four Empress Big Mom Pirates are here. Is this the strong reinforcements that the broker said yesterday? You 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 the pirates all shouted excitedly, Come with me if you want a share of the pie, and I'll take you straight to that ship, Snug. The fourth general of the Big Mom Pirates, said loudly, Snug Big Brother, why do you want to do this, isn't it good for us to seize that ship by ourselves? Bree, who looked like an old witch, was puzzled, Idiot, it's the five emperors anyway. You saw the bombardment before, no one can tell if there are other traps in the guild. Let them go to the mine first, and we'll go after it's okay. Charlotte's third son, Daifaku, said in a deep voice, That's it quickly opened the mirror world. Snag said in a low voice, fairy tale. Khalifa returned to the guild cabin in a daze. The whole person is still in a semi-absent state. Awesome. Really amazing. Perona blushed with excitement. Two of the previous three Jupiter cannons were fired by Myra. The final shot was fired under the control of Perona. Those pirates, let's see if they dare to provoke our fairy tale again. Don't be careless. 
Khalifa's previous worry is correct, there may be people with special abilities among the enemies, and we must strictly guard against them, Mirajan said solemnly. The voice just fell. Her pretty face changed. The sound of chaotic footsteps and the rough laughter of the pirates resounded in the guild. Ha 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 ha. As expected of the four emperor's pirates, it sent us to the interior so easily. This time, fairy tale is finished. Oh oh oh. These are really three beautiful little beauties. No matter which one is the best of the best, I like it. Hey, don't think about monopolizing. The people above said that the women in fairy tale are worth 300 million yuan. Pirates flooded into the fairy tale one after another making the guild's cabin a mess. Women or something, I'm not interested in Bigman pirates. But the golden clock tower and Nico Robin, it's something my mother designated, and no one wants to snatch it. General Snag came next. For his words, the pirates all sneered and did not speak. The Bigman pirates are amazing. But if they want to monopolize the golden bell tower, they will not agree. Certainly, the top priority now is to take down the ship first. And took the three of Myra as hostages, set traps and defeated the others one by one. Feeling the malicious eyes of the pirates from all directions, Khalifa's heart sank, his face turned extremely ugly. Princess Mononoke Perona shivered for a while. I thought I had the situation under control. However, the enemy appeared directly in the guild. This was an unexpected turn of events that they had never expected. It is also an unprecedented crisis. Sister Mila, Perona looked at Mirajan in fear. Fine. Mirajan touched Perona's little head and smiled gently. Immediately, her eyes swept over the messy guild. Watching the guild that everyone arranged together was destroyed. Watching important souvenirs and photos being trampled on by pirates wantonly. The gentleness of Mirezan's pretty face was no longer there, and the aura of tyranny and chill emerged from her body uncontrollably. It is absolutely unforgivable for you to take our important guild. All of you, Mirajan said coldly. Ha 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 ha, stop talking big. It should be my uncle who can't spare you. So far, what means do you have? Hurry up and grab it, my uncle will change and love you. The pirates laughed wantonly, as if everything was under control. However, next second. 4.7. An astonishing upheaval occurred. Boom. A storm of pitch black magic surrounds Mirajan, released a strong sense of oppression from Ultimate, which made all the pirates feel tense, with fear for no reason in their hearts. The dark storm gradually escalated. Among them, Mirajan's figure also changed accordingly. Vaguely, it seemed as if a devil could be seen descending. Full body reception. Satan's soul. Mirajan spoke indifferently. Until now, she has always presented herself as a gentle and amiable receptionist. Not to mention other people. Even Nami. Vivian others have never seen Mirajan make a move. Knowing the other side of Mirajan's hidden terror, there is one and only Perona in this pirate world. Certainly, that was before. Now, Perona isn't the only one who knows. M. Dot 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 Miss Myra, what is this? Looking at Mirajan, who looked like the incarnation of Satan, Khalifa was once again so shocked that he couldn't even utter a complete sentence. In fairy tale, Mirajan and Mirajan got along for nearly a month. She has always cherished Myra as the ship steward who is not good at fighting, but never thought about it. Mirajan, who has always been gentle and lovely, has such a terrifying side. You actually made Sister Mara angry, you guys are miserable. Perona excitedly waved her little powder fist. The first time I saw Mirajan in the form of a demon, all Perona had was fear. But now, as teammates, the demon Mirajan couldn't be more reliable. HMPH, Gordy, who the hell are you scaring? General Snag snorted coldly, suppressed the fear in his heart, drew his sword out of its sheath, and launched an attack on the demon Mirajan. Demon Blast, the devil Mirajan said coldly. Chapter 87 Spiritual Dragon Slayer Magic Fairy Tale Fights Back Question mark Subscribe Whole body receives soul of Satan. The devil Mirajan, bursts onto the scene. A terrifying aura like a hell devil spread out. The pirates who are arrogant and arrogant just a second ago are like ducks with their necks stuck. Looking at the demonic figure, the emotion called fear occupied their whole body and mind. This moment, they finally found out. The most terrifying thing on this ship is not the Jupiter Cannon. But the people on board, they will soon experience for themselves how terrifying the fairy tale S class mage Mirajan is. Stop bluffing. Just as the pirates were sinking into the quagmire of despair and fear, a discordant voice exploded. Snag. The fourth general of the Big Mim pirates, suppressed his fear. Clang. Snag drew the long handled to key behind him. Lozy is the star of the Big Mom pirates. Don't think you can scare me. Snag yelled angrily, and the long handled dagger mercilessly cut down on Mirajan in the form of a demon. Facing the offensive of the Cardos of the Four Emperors Regiment, Demon Mirajan was not moved at all, when, it sounded like the collision of gold and iron. Nanny, Star Snag's pupils shrank suddenly, because, this is enough for him to easily cut through a blow of steel. At this moment, it was actually being controlled by the Demon Mirezen with one hand. How can it be? The pirates were all excited, their shocked eyes widened at the same time. They see clearly, facing Snug Slash. The Demon Mirajan just calmly raised her right hand. The devil-like claws lightly blocked Snug's long-handled dagger. Just when the pirates were shocked. Next second, even more terrifying things happened. Demon Blast. 
The demon Mirajan whispered coldly, Kai Kai. A light like lightning lit up between her palms and fingers. General Snag was not given the slightest chance to react. The next moment, as if condensing all the evil and darkness in the world, the tyrannical light beam shone, devouring the body of General Star Snag, and then piercing through the gate of the guild and rushing towards the boundless. His Tilda, sizzle sizzle Tilda. The sound of the pirates gasping for air filled with fear came and went one after another, not waiting for them to wake up from the shock of the defeat of the Cardos of the Four Emperors. Next moment, the shadow of death follows everywhere. The pitch black devil's claws suddenly enveloped all the pirates in the guild hall. Dark rage. The demon Mirajan slowly closed her right hand. Ah, 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 ah. The pitiful screams of the pirates came and went one after another in an instant, just for a moment. The hundreds of pirates in the guild hall were all wiped out on the spot. Perona, Khalifa, the rats inside the guild will be handed over to you. If I make a move, it will cause further damage to the guild. In contrast, leave the outsiders to me. The devil Mirajan said. Yes, wrap it on me, Miss Myra. Perona responded quickly. Okay dot 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 okay. Khalifa nodded blankly, looking at Mirajan who turned into a demon and killed General Snug in one blow. At this moment, she couldn't calm down in her heart, after all. That is Snug. The four generals of the Big Mom Pirates, the real Royal Corps advanced carders, the big pirate with a bounty of 600 million berry. However, it was such a powerful existence that was killed by Mirezn in one blow. This kind of combat performance is no less than Naval Headquarters' highest combat power, Admiral. Except for the President Suyu and the Fairy Queen Erda. Fairy Tail actually hides the third Admiral level combat power. And she was the most inconspicuous receptionist on weekdays. What a mess this is. What are you still doing, Khalifa? Come with me quickly. I have found the enemy's invasion site. Perona greeted. Come. Come. Khalifa pulled himself together and followed Perona. If you can show your talents here and make great contributions, you will definitely be able to join sooner. Just when Khalifa thought so. Next second, she was shocked to find out. It seems that I have no chance to make a move at all, facing the pirates pouring into the narrow aisle. Perona, who she regards as another war scum, has nothing to fear. With a wave of his hand, White's ghost flies out. Because it is the isle, pirates can't avoid it at all. Pervaded by Perona's negative spectre, before and after is just a short breathless time. The pirates who were vicious just a second ago all fell to their knees in frustration at this moment, repenting their evil deeds. What kind of ability is this? Khalifa's eyes widened, and Yi was completely shocked. However, what shocked her even more, and even horrified her, was yet to come. Hey, 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 you bad guys. Taste the resentment of the people you killed. Perona clasped her hands together. I activated my own awakening magic. Spiritual dragon slayer magic. Even more piercing than the cold wind in the winter moon. The icy cold wind blew up without warning, which made Khalifa tremble for no reason and gave goosebumps all over his body. Obviously can't see anything. But Khalifa can feel it. Something terrible seemed to appear in a place invisible to the naked eye. Her conjecture was confirmed by the pirates' reactions. Ah, 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 ah. No dot 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 don't come over. Don't come to me. The pirates who were passive a second ago all seemed to have lost their minds and went crazy at this moment, scraping and chasing away at the empty place. There was extreme fear on every face, as if they had seen the scariest food in the world. This is the magic awakened by Perona, the power of spiritual dragon slayer magic, as the name suggests. This is the power of Ling Long. Ling is a ghost, a ghost. It is most consistent with the attributes of Princess Mononoke Perona. It even combines with Perona's own ghost fruit to undergo some kind of sublimation. However, this still needs further exploration. After all, for the spirit dragon slayer magic, even Suyu doesn't know much about it. This is the dragon slaying magic that appeared on the continent of Kielhina in the century old mission chapter. The owner is Rice, an old member of the original fairy tale who died and only had a soul left. But Rice didn't have much of a role either. The spirit dragon slaying magic only showed part of its superficial power. The only thing that can be determined is that this is the magic of special attack on the soul. After leaving the Devil's Triangle Sea area, Suyu also participated in the development of Perona's spirit slaying dragon magic. Now this trick is one of the results. Through the spirit dragon slayer magic, Perona can summon wraiths invisible to the naked eye, or ghosts. Certainly, ghosts are not born casually. Instead, it is generated from the resentment of the victim left on the enemy. With the power of Ling Mi Long, that bit of resentment can be turned into a ghost, taking revenge on those who killed him. This trick has no effect on kind people. But if the opponent is a vicious pirate, it is a special attack. After all, not every pirate is King Luffy. 99% of the pirates in this sea have ways to kill, and they are stained with countless blood. Perona, what the hell did you do to them? Looking at the completely incomprehensible strange scene in front of him, Khalifa couldn't help being afraid. It's too late to explain now. Let's stop the route cause first. Of course Perona floated in the direction of the large bath. The ghost fruit is combined with the power of Ling's lair dragon. No pirate can hold it. What's the matter with you? Why are you back again? In front of the full-length mirror in the bath. Bree, 
the mirror fruit ability user that connects the real world and the mirror world, yelled in puzzlement. However, the pirates who were haunted by ghosts couldn't answer at all, they just kept running away, trying to escape from the haunting of ghosts. There is no need for Khalifa to make a move, all the pirates escaped. Bree, the mirror fruit ability user, was trampled into a coma by the pirates who turned back and fled into the mirror world. Mirror channel, close. This moment, Captain Daifaku. Hey, Bree, what the hell are you doing? Why are you closing the mirror channel? What the hell is going on over there? What happened to that exaggerated beam cannon earlier? Charlotte's third son Daifaku yelled at the mirror. However, there was no response at all. Master Daifu, something is wrong. Lord Snagsnag was killed killed by the previous beam. One of the big mom pirates yelled in horror to report the horrific news. What did you say? Charlotte Defu's eyes widened, J backslash more than ever. He couldn't believe the facts reported by his subordinates. After all, it was his brother. At the same time, he is also the general officer of their big mom pirates. Even the fourth overall pick, how could he be killed so easily? Who did it? Could it be the man who offered a reward of 1.5 billion? The information was wrong, and the fifth Emperor Sue is here now. Thinking of this, the frightened look on Charlotte's face became even more frightened. At this time, ah, 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 demon. That's a devil. The devil. What kind of ability is that? No. That's not an ability user. That's the devil itself. The terrified screams of the pirates continued one after another. You dare to face our fairy tale blade. You should be ready to go to hell. Above the sky, the devil Mirezen spoke coldly. The profound dark magic power continuously surged out from her body. Dark spark. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Black's energy balls shot out one after another. Accurately hit and sink one pirate ship after another. What are you kidding? Charlotte exclaimed in shock. Lamp demon, cut her off for me. Defu rubbed the magic lamp belt around his waist. Paramisha transpires fruit ability and activates. A huge lamp demon made of clouds and mist appeared out of thin air. Imagine, slash. The lantern demon swung his long-handled sword chopping Mount Tai with force, and slashed at the demon mirrors. Devil for meter. Ra remained unmoved. Raising Satan's hand, he lightly received the onslaught of the lamp demon. How can it be? The expressions of the third Sundafu and the lantern demon all changed. But even more terrifying things are yet to come. Kaka, accompanied by an overwhelmed clicking sound, the lamp demon's long-handled sword was crushed by Myra in the demon form. Soul extinct. The pitch-black beam of dark energy rushed past instantly defeating and annihilating the lamp demon. Then the castration continued unabated, and Charlotte Defu was defeated together with the battleship. This moment, the sea is about several thousand meters away from the battlefield. The two magic power boats were fully powered, and brought up two big waves like white dragons. Hurry up, Vivi anxiously urged. Those damned bastards actually dare to unite and take action against our fairy tale. They will definitely make them pay a terrible price. Nami gritted her teeth. That, that, What's going on? Is that person dot 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 Miss Myra? With the help of the drawn high-powered mirror, the leisurely girl Marion saw the battle situation in the distance, and her eyes widened in shock. Not long, as the distance draws closer, others also saw the fierce fighting situation. Yes, that is indeed Myra. Robin nodded. Is that Myra? Nami and Vivi couldn't help being stunned seeing the terrifying demons that were about to wreak havoc on the pirate fleet. There is no doubt that it is Mademoiselle Myra. Juvia nodded affirmatively. You 467 don't know yet. Miss Myra's title is the Devil. The Devil Mirajan. Xia Lulu said. Miss Myra, like Miss Erda, is an S-rank major fairy tale. Wendy spoke. Imagine Mirajan, same S-rank as Erda. Nami and Vivi were completely stunned, knowing Mirajan for so long. They never know. My amiable older sister Myra on weekdays. There is still such a violent side. Contrast. Huge. Why do you think the president has always dared to let Myra stay in the guild alone? Erda smiled slightly. Okay. Let's stop just watching, let's start, don't let any of these bastards go away. Dress up, Kuroba's armor. Aerza spread her wings behind her, and her figure shot out suddenly, coming over a huge battleship. Dress up purgatory armor. Boom. Rumble. The huge battleship exploded with a bang. Ah, 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 ah. The dot 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 that's Aerza, the fairy queen. The fairy queen is back. Hey, hey, it's not just the fairy queen. Look over there, fairy tale. The main force of fairy tale is back. The terrified screams of the pirates continued one after another. Roar of the dragon. Earth waves. Star shooter. Come out. King Kong. Shinsu. Hundred hands. The fairy tale girls attack together. Strongly destroy one pirate ship after another. Ah ah ah. Why did today become like this? How about holding fairy tale easily? Isn't it enough to gather the power of hundreds of pirates? This time, even the four emperors team participated. How scary is fairy tale? Didn't it be agreed that they are a pseudo-royal group? Why do I feel that they are more terrifying than the real Four Emperor's regiment? The fear of the pirates escalated. Wow ha 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 ha, you really deserve it. Who do you think your opponent is? Above the sky, the news King Morgans laughed again and again. Desperate, the real King Bomb is just beginning now. Morgans looked southeast. The magical powerboat with a fairy tale logo approached at a very fast speed. Arushia, 
freeze this sea, Suyu said calmly. Yes, President. Arushia nodded. The extremely cold air suddenly spread, freezing the rolling sea. In addition to mastering arcs with powerful lost magic time, Arushia is also the daughter of Uru, the great ice sorcerer. Let's start. Suyu walked calmly. With the fall of the footsteps, the figure gradually swelled against the wind. Magic Giantization. Chapter 88 Underworld Scene Bring the boat closer. Fist clash. Question mark subscribe. R R R. The situation is completely different from what the intelligence said. Why are all the main members of Fairy Tale back? I've never heard of such a thing before. Lozy quit. Whoever loves to do it. Go to his golden clock tower. Lozy doesn't want it. Gold is good, but life is more important. Little ones, retreat quickly. Monster. The people in Fairy Tale are monsters at all. Can't win. Absolutely can't win. The hundred regiments of the Pirate Alliance fleet came aggressively and vowedly. At this moment, they are all scattered like trees falling down and monkeys, flying separately when disaster is imminent. The power of the devil Mirajan terrifies the pirates. The return of Urza and Fairy Tail is the last straw that breaks the camel's back, facing the overwhelming power of Fairy Tail. The weak pirates in the first half were terrified. Seeing the pirates running for their lives, Nami, Vivian and the others couldn't help but feel anxious secretly. Until now, they have sunk nearly a hundred pirate ships. But because some pirate groups have more than one ship, there are at least 200 pirate ships here. Compared to that huge quantity, Fairy Tail is going to be too thin in terms of numbers. There are only 10 of them and they can't keep everything anyway. Just when the Fairy Tail girls were secretly unwilling and anxious. Next second, without warning, the cold breath suddenly spread out. Kakaka tilde. The sea freezes at a speed visible to the naked eye. All the pirate ships trying to escape were frozen unable to advance or retreat. Damn it. What exactly is going on? Why is the sea suddenly frozen? Is the Marine Admiral coming? Marine Admiral Okaji. Why is that guy here? The pirates were all yelling in anger and fear. The other side. Watching the sea suddenly freeze. The fairy tale girls couldn't help being taken aback. Is that Okaji again? Hasn't that guy learned his lesson yet? Nami said. No. No. This is ice modeling magic. It's the great ice mage. Urza said firmly. The great ice mage? Vivi was taken aback. From my impression. There is no one in the guild who uses ice magic. Wow, it's the president. The president is back. Wendy suddenly yelled in surprise. Follow her gaze. Others also saw it. Titan gradually coming towards the southeast. Oh Titan. The president has become a titan. Nami exclaimed. And it's a super titan that is several times bigger than the titan in Little Garden. Vivi was amazed. Boom 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 tilde. Heavy footsteps sounded again and again. That's titan sunning taking steps. Each step getting heavier and heavier. His stature also moves with his footsteps getting bigger and bigger step by step. After ten steps down, Suyu turned into a 100-meter titan, standing on top of the sky, overlooking all living beings, just like a god. Giant. Titan. For dot 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 why is the ray? Titan. Such a gigantic titan dot 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 I've never dot 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 never seen it. No. No, it's not just a titan. This guy is. The five emperors. Are the five emperors. Five emperor Suyu dot 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 he is the president of fairy tale dot 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 five emperor Suyu. Titan five emperors dot 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 how can this kind of monster. Looking at the towering titan Suyu. The surviving pirates of the more than 200 pirate ships were all terrified to the point where they couldn't even utter a complete sentence. Suyu was too lazy to talk nonsense with these miscellaneous fish. With one sweep, dozens of pirate ships exploded in the sky. With a slap of the palm. The pirates and their boats were smashed to pieces. In front of the 100-meter Titan Tsuyu, even a large warship is just a bigger toy. It was only a few minutes before and after. None of the remaining 200 pirate ships escaped. So far, the 100 regiments of the monster-slaying pirate alliance have been wiped out. This battle is destined to be recorded in the annals of history. President, President, you are finally back. Welcome back, President. Nami, Vivi, Wendy and other girls trotted forward cheerfully, or hold Tsuyu's arm or hang on Suyu's body. Wow ha 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 ha. The news King Morgans descended from the sky flapping his big wings. This is really the best battle scene. President Suyu and fairy tale ladies, you will definitely shake the world again. Birdman, why are you here again? Nami cast a sideways glance at Morgans. The coverage of the Anais lobby incident still haunts me. In this incident, the information provided by Morgans also played an important role. Urza said. Alas, could it be that the president still has Urza? Did you already know about it? Both Vivian and Wendy were taken aback. Haven't we already talked? Robin asked. Ah, Nami reacted. I thought it was hypothetical, but I didn't expect it to be real. Wahaha. In short, after this incident, no one will dare to underestimate our fairy tale, and the sea in the first half will become calmer than ever. This is all thanks to everyone's activity! Exclamation mark. Morgans laughed. I can't wait to convey this big news to the world. President Suyu, please allow me to retire first. Go. Suyu waved his hand. By the way, 
help me give some words to those guys in the so-called underground dark world. Wow ha ha ha, I promise to bring it. Morgans flapped his wings and flew into the sky. Suyu stepped forward and walked towards the frustrated Mirajan. What's wrong, Myra? Are you injured? Suyu asked. No. Mirajan shook her head and pursed her lips. It's not that I'm hurt, but the guild is hurt. Well? The girls hurried back to the fairy tale. How so? Looking at the messy appearance of the guild hall full of everyone's happy memories, the fairy tale girls were all very angry. President, it's all my fault. Even though I'm here, I still let the enemy invade the guild. Mirajan blamed herself. I was also at fault. I failed to catch the culprit. Perona is also full of self-blame. It's okay. Don't take such small things to heart. You have done enough. Suyu's big hand fell on the small heads of Mirajan and Perona, stroking comfortingly. That's right. The president is right. The guild is broken and can be repaired. It's totally fine. Nami and others spoke one after another. While talking, the girls rolled up their sleeves and got ready to start working. At this time, leave the work of repairing the guild to me. A faint voice sounded. The fairy tale girls turned their heads. Look at the big and small that appeared on the deck. You are. Nami and Vivi tilted their heads at the same time. You are Arushia. Erza recognized her identity. It's Miss Arushia. Xialunu. Wendy said in surprise. It seems that she is the new partner that the president went to South Blue to pick up. Xialulu nodded. Nami, Robin and others all nodded in understanding. President, everyone, please give me the task of repairing the guild. Arushia said seriously. No, Miss Arushia, how can this kind of thing bother you alone, everyone? Not waiting for Vivi to finish speaking. Then leave it to you. Suyu responded with a smile. Repairing things. Arushia, who possesses the arc magic of time is a professional, serious island incident. Fairy Tail was able to defeat Devil's Heart in the end. It was thanks to Arushia that the fallen serious tree was restored. Then please, Arushia. Erza also nodded. With the power of Miss Arushia, it couldn't be more convenient. Wendy was pleasantly surprised. The guild will definitely return to its original state. Xia Lulu spoke, heard the words. Nami, Vivi, Perona and others couldn't help but look at each other, not knowing why. Facing people's curious eyes, Arushia stood in the center of the guild hall. The lost magic the arc of time. Activate. Time begins to turn back for the devastated guild. All the fragments floated up into the air under the traction of some force, returning to their original places. Under the stunned eyes of Nami and others, the time before and after is just a few breaths. The messy guild was restored to its original state, exactly the same as before, as if nothing had happened. Thank you. Arushia, Mirajan said gratefully. Miss Arushia is really amazing. Wendy exclaimed in surprise. Wait a moment. Wait a moment. Nami rubbed her eyes vigorously. What the hell is going on here? In the blink of an eye, the guild was repaired. Miss Arushia, how did you do it? Vivi exclaimed in surprise. This is also the inner confusion of Perona and Khalifa. Is it the power of time? Robin guessed. A. Arushia nodded. It really is the power of time. Khalifa did not know how many times it was hit today. The huge shock made her heart shudder. The President Suyu, the Fairy Queen Erta, the Devil Mirajan, the Weird Perona. Now there is another ability user who can even manipulate time. Fairy Tales lineup just keeps getting scary. If Miss Arushia is time, is it this sister who froze the sea earlier? The laid-back girl looked at the eight-year-old Bonnie beside her. Khalifa was shocked. The line of sight is also locked on Bonnie. Kiaolian's expression became more and more solemn. Those with time ability are fine. Now even such a small child is a powerful ability user. Moreover, she is also a user with the same ice ability as Admiral of Headquarters. No. The one who froze the sea was also my mother. Eight-year-old Bonnie said. Huh? Mum? The fairy tale girls couldn't help being taken aback. Hash. What the hell is this greedy ghost doing? Miss Arushia froze the sea? Vivi is confused. No. That's not the point. The point now. Are you Miss Arushia's daughter? There was tension on Nami's face. Oh. I am Mama and Papa's daughter. Bonnie naturally took Suyu and Arushia one by one. The huge fairy tale couldn't help but froze. Next second, alas, President dot 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 President's daughter. Why have I never heard of it? It's only been a month since we separated, and the President has a daughter, and they're all this old. The exclamations of the girls broke through the sky. No, everyone, don't listen to the waves. Arushia blushed. Tilda Mum, don't talk. Let me handle it. Bonnie interrupted hastily. Getting along along the way. Bonnie knows that Suyu is the most important person in Arushia. But she also knows that fairy tale is full of beautiful girls. In order to help her Arushia gain a firm foothold and gain a place. She just thought of this way. Fortunately, Miss Juvia is not here. Otherwise, Vivi didn't finish her sentence. Boom. There was a loud bang. A huge hole exploded in the ice. A huge water column rushed up suddenly. Bring one after another unconscious bounty pirates and a large number of gold treasures from sunken ships. President, you are back. With a tender cry, Juvia threw herself into Suyu's arms. President, Juvia has completed the task you assigned. 
and those guys with bounties and the treasures of the sunken ship have all been salvaged. When other people were fighting before, Juvia was on another mission. That is the salvage of sunken treasures and bounties. For these pirates who took the initiative to send them to their door, Suyu naturally wanted to drain all their value. Not just the treasure on their ship, but the bounty as well. And the list of rewards was also sorted out by Morgans and sent to Urza through Newsbird. Thanks for your hard work. Suyu smiled and patted Juvia's head as a reward. Also, Nami. Are you sure you don't want to go treasure hunting on other ships? Suyu looked at Nami, pointing to the dilapidated scene on the water. Oh I want it. Nami came back to his senses, and quickly pulled Vivi to start cleaning the battlefield. Urda, Perona, Khalifa, Urushia, Bonnie and others also joined in. Then I'll come too. Wendy rolled up her sleeves to join in. Wait, Wendy, come here a little bit. Suyu waved, President. Is there anything? Wendy stepped forward in confusion. Suyu didn't say anything. He squatted down put his big hands on Vivi's shoulders, and looked at Wendy without blinking. Feeling Suyu's gaze, Wendy blushed, thinking about her birthday for no reason. But the next second, the expression on Wendy's face returned to normal. The strongest proxy hit her, Irene's number one. What can I do for you? Erin folded her arms and asked. Suyu, Wang Wangs, handed Irene a list and a bag of fruit. These people have devil fruit abilities, try to see if you can transfer them to these fruits. Since it is to squeeze out the value. The ability of devil fruit cannot be wasted naturally. Although fairy tale doesn't need devil fruit, it's good to have a few if you can. Two hours later, the battlefield is cleaned up. The treasures looted from the various pirate ships piled up into a mountain. Nami was so excited that she lay down on the golden mountain and forgot everything. President Urza grasped the hilt of the sword at her waist. I know. So you look to the southwest. A huge mammoth ship rides the wind and waves. Beasts pirates, long overdue. G dot 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 Master Jack. Big. Something is wrong. The situation is completely different from the plan. The combined pirate army has been defeated. The main force of Fairy Tail is here. And the five emperors. Dot 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 fairy Tail President Suyu is also here. Are we? Are we going to retreat? The pirates of the hundred beasts all screamed in horror. Fleeing before a fight will ruin the reputation of the beasts pirates. What are you going to do? Jack, the Iron Girl Runty sneered. Idiot, who do you think Closey is? Get me the boat. Jack the Drow, the first Iron King in the pirate world. Sternly stopped drinking. Bang. The large mammoth ship rushed to the ice and charged towards the fairy tale relying on the power of the outer wheels. However, next second, sudden change. Without warning, a tall figure suddenly boarded above the mammoth ship, projecting a huge coercion. That is, that guy is, Marine. Marine hero cards. Chi. Garp. Kai Kai. Thick black and red lightning filled the sky. Fist. Bone. Punch. Punch. Garp. Marine legendary hero. Pumps his fist. Boom. Rumble. Chapter 89. Five Emperors Su Yuff's hero Garp. Subscription. Two hours after the defeat of the Hundred Regiments Alliance, Beasts Pirates, which also refers to Fairy Tail, was late for some reason. For them, this may be a kind of luck. Far away, the lookouts of the Hundred Beasts saw the tragic situation on the ice in the distance through the lookout glasses. Through the analysis, a terrible conclusion was finally drawn. That is, the Hundred Regiments Alliance was defeated. Today is not the Hundred Regiments Alliance hunting goblins. Instead, the goblins surrounded and defeated everything in reverse. Think about the possibility. All the pirates of the Hundred Beasts group changed their expressions in horror. And, when you knows that the Five Emperors sue you and the main force of Yao are behind, even the beast pirates of the Four Emperors group were scared to death. I can't wait to reverse the car and run away on the spot. Only, the ship is not in their hands. For Jack the Drow, the first iron baby in the world of One Piece, nothing can scare him. In the original plot line, even in the face of Marine Admiral, Marine Chief Staff Officer and the former Marine Marshal, he still launched a surprise attack without fear. This time is no exception. Facing Suyu and Fairy Tail's main force, Jack, the King of Births, was fearless and yelled out his own slogan, put the ship in the past. The other side, on Fairy Tail, are the people on that boat a villain? You should be lucky to be late, and now you dare to come here. Nami couldn't help complaining. That sign, unmistakably, is the Four Emperor's Beasts Pirates. Robin looked slightly solemn. Yes, that person on the boat seems to be this. Urza pointed her finger at the list of rewards compiled by Morgans. Beasts Pirates Big Billboard, Jack the Drow. A bounty of one billion baileys. Ten. Billion. Both Vivian Perona widened their eyes in shock. Billions. Nami's eyes lit up and she rubbed her hands excitedly. If it was her from East Blue, she would probably collapse in fright the moment she heard about the billion pirate. But. Now it is different. In Nami's opinion, Jack the Drow is simply the kind of big fat sheep who can burst a lot of gold coins. The bounty of one billion is considered a bit of a level. No wonder you dare to come here. Mirajan nodded. Only when the other party is based on overconfidence in their own strength. Only Suyu knew that that guy Jack was purely iron. Thinking of this guy's deeds, Suyu couldn't help but laugh. He didn't expect that the scene of relying on the name of the ship would happen to him this time. President, let me go. Arushia pleads. In today's incident, 
She just did small things like freezing the sea and repairing the 303 guild, and she hasn't fought for the guild yet. Next second, Siu frowned slightly. He suddenly turned his head and looked in another direction. It seems that there is no need for us to take action. Whoosh, boom boom boom. Harsh sonics booms exploded one after another. A figure continuously stomped on the atmosphere and flew across the sky, leaving behind a trail of dazzling explosion clouds. In an instant, that figure came over the beast's mammoth ship. Thick black and red lightning shines all over the sky, exuding a strong aura. The next moment, the figure above the sky waved a fist the size of a sandbag. Boom. The shockwave of Ultimate's terrifying fist power crushes it. Rumble. The beast's mammoth battleship exploded. Pirates screamed one after another. Marine English. Blood oozed from Iron Maiden Runty's mask. Before she finished speaking, she rolled her eyes and fell into a complete coma. Arsehole. The ship Lord Jack's eyes were wide open with bloodshot eyes. His figure suddenly swelled and the zone elephant fruit ancient mammoth form was launched. Want to use the long blood bar in ancient times to resist marine legendary's fist and bone conflict. However, even the ancient mammoth couldn't bear it at all. Jack the drow just lasted a few seconds longer than Runshy. Immediately afterwards, he also rolled his eyes and rushed to the street. Rumble. After the mammoth battleship, the sea of ice frozen for Arushia also grumbled under the fists of marine heroes. All the girls on fairy tale couldn't help being taken aback by this sudden scene. So strong. Urza looked serious. To kill a billion big pirates with one punch, who the hell is that? Nami pursed her lips. That uniform looks like marine, said Juvia. Marine legendary vice admiral, here Garp. Robin paused word by word, revealing Garp's identity. Nani, here Garp. I've heard that name before. The marine legendary who has driven One Piece to the brink several times. It turned out to be that marine hero. Aboriginal girls such as Vivi, Nami, Marianne, Bonnie, Perona, etc. were completely stunned, and knew the gold content of the four words marine hero. Although Erda, Mirajan, Juvia, and Arushia don't know about Garp's deeds. But judging from the previous blow, they also knew that the person who came was absolutely no small matter. Mr. Garp, Vice Admiral Garp, really? Don't act without authorization. The screams of people's collapse came. Two large marine warships approached side by side. The warship with the sharp A head logo on the bow is the warship to which the hero Garp belongs. The other rabbit head warship is also an old acquaintance. Belongs to Admiral of Headquarters candidate Momao Sugijian. After discovering that Garp sneaked out to make trouble, Marshal Sengoku immediately ordered a recall. Because after the Anais lobby incident, the identity of fairy tale has been different. The fifth emperor of the sea, the fifth largest imperial group in the sea. By now, the marine can no longer shoot fairy tale casually. After all, the price of provoking an emperor is huge. The Anais lobby incident has demonstrated enough of the dire consequences of messing with fairy tale. Also, fairy tale is different from other royals. Strictly speaking, it's not even pirates. There is no need for their marines to find trouble for nothing and make them suffer. This restriction applies to most people in marine, with one exception. That's marine legendary vice admiral here Garp. From the last era, Garp has always been a maverick, doing whatever he wants. Marine's various rules can't control him at all. Garp even turned down marine admiral's appointment countless times in order to act freely. As a senior, the former marshal couldn't control Garp. The current marshal Sengoku, who was Garp's contemporary, couldn't control it even more. For his recall, Garp went in one ear and out the other, and let it go like a fart. Without any choice, Marshal Sengoku had to send someone to pull it back. Ordinary vice admirals, even elite vice admirals like flying squirrels, will never be able to shake Garp, a stubborn bull. The only people who have a chance are Giant, Peacock and others. Because she is a junior, she is still a cute female soldier. If you act like a baby, it really makes Garp crazy. Only, Marshal Sengoku missed the count. Momousagi Giant has long missed Suyu and Fairy Tail. During the Anais lobby incident, I wanted to find the door. This assignment happened to hit the gun. Originally, Jian did carry out Marshal Sengoku's order to persuade Garp to go back. But in the end, Jian was persuaded to act with Garp. Marshal Sengoku, who learned of this a few days ago, couldn't help but feel that one Buddha was born and two Buddhas ascended to heaven. However, he was helpless and could do nothing. Then came today, hours ago. Garp and Jian get news of a large-scale pirate operation. Dang and even both set off and rushed towards the sea area pointed by the intelligence. Compared to fairy tale. Their real target on this trip is the large fleet of pirates. However, wait until you reach your destination. The picture in front of them shocked all the sailors. What? What the hell is going on here? The sea is frozen. Is it Kizan Admiral? No. No, no, no. Kizan Admiral is still recuperating in the hospital. Compared to the freezing of the sea, I am more concerned about. Where are the pirates? Where's the promised pirate fleet? Why didn't you see it? Could it be that the information is wrong? The sailors on the two warships were all screaming. No. No. The information said, is not wrong, the big pirate ship has actually appeared, but I was one step too late, and I have already been defeated. Momousagi giant took a deep breath and spoke solemnly word by word. Nani, 
The huge warship fell silent suddenly. Next second, the sky-shattering noise soared to the sky. It has already been defeated. Is something like this really possible? How long has it been since we got word? I heard that many well-known pirates from the first half of this time joined this operation. That's right. According to the information provided by the Basic Intelligence Department, there are more than 100 pirate groups this time, and there are hundreds of battleships. It's unbelievable, but it's the truth. Look, those are all the wreckage of a pirate ship. Such a terrifying pirate fleet has already surpassed Buster Call. Really dot 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 is it really possible to be defeated in a short time? The shock in the hearts of the sailors gradually escalated. It's possible, if it's that man. Marine Colonel Hina took a deep breath, her beautiful eyes fixed on Suyu on the bow of Fairy Tail. So that's it. It seems that these stupid pirates have been turned into a whole house. The shaking S girl Peacock nodded knowingly. That man deliberately made the pirates think that there was an opportunity to take advantage of, and use the headquarters ship and the golden bell tower as bait to attract the pirates together, and then annihilated them in one fell swoop. After this time, no idiot will underestimate fairy tale again. Hina spoke faintly. Wait a minute, giant vice admiral, everyone, this is not the time to talk about this, Mr. Garp. Vice admiral Garp seems to want to come for real. If President Suyu misunderstands our the soft girl, Skylark, was full of anxiety. PFFT ha 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 ha, a loud laugh echoed in the sky. Is Suyu, the leader of Fairy Tail, here? Is Suyu here? I'm Garp. Aokiji, who was beaten and hospitalized by you not long ago, is my incompetent number one student. Today I'm here to help him find a place. Repeat, I they came to find a place. Garp didn't know when he took out a big horn and directly said to himself, intention of coming. Fairy tale girls, you too. This marine's legendary hero seems a bit unintelligent. Is it so casual and above board to say things like helping disciples find a place? Is this marine or the gang boss who helped the younger brother get ahead? President, what should we do? Erda looked at Suyu. She didn't feel hostility from Garp and Jian and others. Since the other party has already mentioned their names, if you don't respond, it's not the style of fairy tale. Suyu grinned. How strong is the marine hero in Legendary? Suyu was equally interested. Since the other party took the initiative to deliver it to the door. Then have a fight. Kai Kai. Gold flashed. Suyu came to Garp. I'm Suyu. I did fight your disciple. How do you want to find a place? Suyu asked back with a smile. That goes without saying. Of course it's a thousand. Garp dropped the loudspeaker and rolled up his sleeves for a fight. Okay. I don't mind sending you to the hospital too. So you grinned. Listen to Suyu's conversation with Garp. The sailors on the warship were all stupid. It was so sudden. As soon as you come up, you will fight. Garp first. In Garp, the words of dissuasion from the sailors have not yet been spoken. Next second, the turbulent wind blows in the face. Block all their words in their throats. The five emperors Suyu and the hero Garp have started a war. In an instant, the four arms of the two of them smash together heavily, causing a terrifying shock storm. Large pieces of ice flows on the sea exploded one after another and the sea under their feet continued to collapse. The turbulent waves pushed the heavy warship back again and again. Shocks come and go quickly. As soon as Suyu and Garp touched the point, they each retreated tens of meters. However, the next second, the two of them stepped on the sea together again, and collided again. Both sides come and go, not giving in to each other. The world's top gymnastics showdown begins. The heavy fists that were enough to easily blow up the mountain hit each other, making a dull sound, just like the drums of war in the heavens were constantly beating. This dot 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 what terrifying duel is this? Garp Vice Admiral Garp's fist turned out to be that man. Five Emperor Suyu actually took the fist of Vice Admiral Garp. This kind of thing dot 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 Mr. Garp is our Marine's legendary hero. Suyu, the Five Emperors, he is evenly matched with Vice Admiral Garp. The shouts of the two warships and the sailors were so shocked that they broke the sound one after another, forming a series of pieces. To be on a par with Mr. Garp, that man is a real freak. Jian couldn't help but sigh. Is this the battle of the top powerhouse in the sea? It's really amazing. The shaking girl peacock whispered in shock. However, next second, she was even more shocked to the point where nothing more happened. PFFD ha 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 ha, Suyu, that's all for the warm-up. Let me see your true skills next. Garp laughed. Okay, that's exactly what I thought too. Suyu grinned. Peacock and other sailors. Fairy tale girls. You told me that the previous terrifying confrontation was just a warm-up stage. When shocked, click. The sky is full of lightning and thunder. Crash. The situation of the world changed suddenly. Garp raised his punch the size of a sandbag. Kai Kai. Black Red's lightning coil. That's Haki from Conquerors. The other side. So you also clenched his fist. Black Red's thunder surges. This is Thunder Dragon King's mm. fist bone. Greater than. Bang fist. Chapter 90. The hero fights the Dragon King. Marine legendary fell into the deep sea. Question mark subscribe. Between heaven and earth. Black Thunder flashed wildly. Chidian Flurry. That's the scene of Conqueror's Haki's entanglement. At the same time, it is also the king of the Supreme Brontosaurus, raging and roaring. Fistbone. The marine here Garp puts his fists at his side, 
and the Royal Hour is ultimate sublimated. As the marine hero in Legendary, it is against the existence of One Piece Roger. Garp has Conqueror's Haki for granted, and winding is no problem. Previously, Garp punches casually. It is to defeat all the beasts, including people and boats. Among the Marbillionaire pirates like Jack the Drow, and the gold content of the marine hero can be seen as Madara. This is the case with a casual punch, not to mention the current charged blow. Even if separated by thousands of meters, the people watching the battle could feel the horror of Garp's charged attack. If this punch is released, it will definitely be shocking. However, facing the powerful attack of the marine hero, Suyu was unmoved at all. He also just slowly retracted his fist at his waist. Thunder Dragon King's Kai Kai. Dense black and red thunder surrounded its body. This is a very different substance from Conqueror's special effect lightning. It is the real power to destroy thunder, and it belongs to Thunder Dragon King's exclusive black thunder. The big event at Tenai's lobby. With this punch, Suyu once knocked out and exploded Admiral Okiji, who was elementally hiding in the sea of ice. However, at that time, Suyu's fist had not yet reached its peak. Being able to knock Admiral Okiji out of the ice sea depends more on the strength of the Black Thunder. Now it is different. Battle of Little Garden, Primordial Island. Suyu uses the Spear of Elbaf, the captain of the two giant soldiers, to arouse the heart of the Dragon King. When the body and the mind are united, you will be the Dragon King of Consummation Thunder. Now, show. Time lost its meaning at this moment. It may be a few minutes, or it may be just a short moment. The momentum of the Hero Garp and the Dragon King Suyu reached the peak at the same time. Fist bone. Conflict, Thunder Dragon King's bang fist, whoosh, whoosh, rumble. The sound of the sonic boom was deafening. There seemed to be two bright meteors passing between the sky and the earth. In an instant, two fists almost representing the strongest in the world collided in the sky. Exclamation mark. This moment, it was as if the battle drums of the heavens were beating. It seems that the heart of heaven and earth is beating, deafening. The world seemed to stand still at this moment. Immediately afterwards, click. There was an overwhelmed rattle of the atmosphere. Kaka, the sky is like a mirror fragmented. A series of large and crisscrossing cracks centered on the fists of the two people, spreading up and down in all directions, densely packed. What followed was an incomparable shock wave, causing thousands of waves to appear in the sea. Even the void produces ripples like waves. A light brighter than the sun shines from between the fists of Suyu and Garp. It was two extremely powerful forces gradually fused and weighed in the collision, turning into a pure force of destruction. Click. A black-red lightning escaped from the ball of fusion of power and fell into the sea. Rumble. The sea blasted a huge chasm. Click. Click. More and more black thunder overflow. Huge waves exploded one after another on the sea. Ultimate's terrifying fist rushed into the sky causing atmospheric convection and rolling the undulating sea. A raging and terrifying water spout storm was generated out of thin air, surrounding the two of them. This scene of terrible scenes is like the end of the world. The people who witnessed this scene were all shocked to the extreme. Their mouths opened wide, but they couldn't even say a word. I don't know how long it has been. Finally, the collision between the hero and the dragon king came to an end. The ball of destruction between Xion fist trembled violently, and then exploded. The power of ultimate terror spreads and heals everything. The extremely dazzling light blooms, making everything invisible. Ah, what happened? Is this really to the extent that humans can do it? Where's Mr. Gup? How's Mr. Gup? Vice Admiral Garp won, right? Vice Admiral Garp will definitely not lose, he is our Marine's hero. The sailors were all yelling in embarrassment. President, how's the battle going? No matter what opponent you face, the President will never lose. The President will definitely be able to stand to the end. The girls of Fairy Tale all spoke firmly, under the intense gaze of both sides. The dazzling light of power converges. In the rustling rain, Suyu and Garp went backwards respectively. The footsteps left triples in the void. Finally, Garp took 50 paces back. Suyu stood still at the 47th step. Good boy, you are serious. Garp forced himself to suppress the tumbling blood in his body. Isn't that exactly what you want? Suyu asked back. PFFT ha ha ha, that's right, come on, my old bones are still far away from being scrapped. Garp laughed, in the blink of an eye. The two meteor-like figures collided again. There are circles of water ripples visible to the naked eye in the void. Their battlefield has shifted from above the sea to above the sky. Hit deep into the clouds, and then fell to the sea. Ordinary people can't see their fighting figures at all. Even a knowledgeable master like Giant. You can only vaguely see the traces of them crossing the air. The sky is constantly broken and healed. This is Mr. Garp's true strength. But even such a powerful Mr. Garp still can't overwhelm that man. Army third generation the peacock looked up at the sky and murmured unconsciously, because of that man, the leader of fairy tale. He is also in existence of that level, standing on the same level as Vice Admiral Garp, he is the real emperor of the sea. Hina sighed again and again. I don't want Vice Admiral Garp to get hurt, but the president of fairy tale is also a good guy. Can't everyone stop fighting? The soft girl Lark said weakly. This battle is beyond our ability to intervene. Momousagi giant faint road. When this battle will stop, only the two of them have the final say. Erza spoke. Oh, oh, oh. Accompanied by the shock and uproar of the people. Deep in the clouds, 
the two entangled figures fell like meteors. Pfft ha ha ha, fall into the abyss for me. Garp laughed. A thick and powerful arm was stuck on Siu's neck. The bottom of the sea, falling, boom. A huge blue hole suddenly formed from the sea, as if connected to the deep seabed. Under the full blow of marine here Garp, Siu's figure fell uncontrollably. It was about to fall into the blue hole under the sea. At this time, Kai Kai, Suyu's figure suddenly dissipated into countless lightning bolts. It should be you who is really going to fall. I don't know when, Suyu came over Garp, between raising hands. The endless black thunder condensed into a huge pitch black square sky painting halberd, Thunder Dragon King's Fang Tanji. Suyu held Thunder Fang Tan's painted halberd, and slashed at Garp. On the nick of time, Garp is worth raising his hand to block. Iron body is stacked with Xeon's armed colors, enough to make him block any onslaught in the world. Even Roger. The One Piece, can resist the Sword of Avoidance. But, that was a thing of the past after all. It has been more than 20 years since Roger passed away. Even the former Marine hero is now an old man in his 80s. Click, vaguely. Garp's arm crackled. Next second, rumble. Countless black red thunders overwhelmed Garp, falling into the endless abyss with his body. Under the sea, Big Bang. Mr. Garp, Vice Admiral Garp. The sailors let out a hoarse cry. Pairs of eyes without blinking fixedly staring at the gradually calm sea surface, desperate to see the pillars of marine break out of the sea again. However, one minute, two minutes, time passed bit by bit. There was no movement in the calm sea. How come? How could such a thing happen? Mr. Garp, isn't he Vice Admiral Garp? How is this possible? That's Mr. Garp, legendary heroes of our marine. How could a hero die? The sailors were all ashen. Desperation hangs over everyone's heart. Woo woo woo. The soft girl lark squatted on the deck, wiping tears with both hands. Master Garp, I don't believe it. Peacock clenched his fists, his little hands were cold. For her, who is the granddaughter of the great staff officer Crane. Both Garp and Sengoku are like her real grandpas. Just when the sailors couldn't help breaking down and crying, they wanted to jump into the sea. Clatter Tilda. A wet figure suddenly jumped up and fell to sit on the rabbit warship. Little Skylark, little Peacock, are you just looking forward to the old man's departure and eating a feast? Cough cough. Garp opened his mouth, coughing at several mouthfuls of Black Sark. Wow, ghost. No. It's Vice Admiral Garp. Vice Admiral Garp is still alive. Seeing the black ghost suddenly appearing in front of him, Skylark was startled. Next second, after recognizing that the charred person in front of him was Garp, the soft girl Skylark immediately cheered excitedly. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. great, it's Mr. Garp. Vice Admiral Garp is alive. The sea soldiers who were crying bitterly burst into laughter collectively, ask for flowers oh. However, the next second, the smiles on the faces of the sailors disappeared because Suyu also landed on the warship, step by step towards Garp, compared to the scorched and embarrassed Garp, although Suyu's clothes are tong, his condition looks much better, certainly, this is a layman's view, actually, although Garp was turned into a black ghost by Suyu, but the light in those eyes still hasn't weakened in the slightest, represent him, it is far from exhausted, this is also a matter of course, the battle between the top powerhouses in the sea cannot be won or lost in a short period of time, don't hold back, kid. Just throw up when you feel like it. Garp stood up. This should be my line. Suyu so smiled slightly. Garp snorted. The invisible air machine confrontation revived. Seeing that a new round of fighting is about to start again. Stop fighting. Vice Admiral Garp, President Suyu, I beg you all to stop fighting. The soft girl lark stepped forward and stood between Garp and Sue. The eye sockets were red, and the tears kept falling, making anyone feel distressed when they saw it. Okay, okay, don't cry. I just don't hit him. So you stroked little Skylark's head. For the sake of little Skylark pleading for you, let's forget about today. Let's do the rest next time. Question mark. Hey, this is really getting worse the more I hear it. It was as if he had really lost. The more Garp thinks about it, the worse he gets. Also, you wait here first. I have something for you. Dot 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 zero. Say it. So you turned around and disappeared in a flash. Mr. Garp, what should we do? Giant looked at Garp. Next second, Garp opened his mouth suddenly spewing out a mouthful of old blood that had been stagnant for a long time. Mr. Garp, the hearts of the sailors on the ship who had just let go suddenly lifted again. I'm fine. Garp waved his hand. The other side. Fairy tale. President. Congratulations, President Gaixuan. As expected of the president, even that marine hero dot 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 ah. The cheers of the girls turned into exclamations, because, there was a stream of blood dripping from the corner of Suyu's mouth. Small injury. Suyu wiped the bloodline from the corner of his mouth indifferently. Myra. Have you finished counting all the bounty offenders this time? Suyu looked at Mirajan. Alas, it's almost done, and it's all on board the ship. Mirajan pointed to the pirate ship next to the fairy tale. That was left by Suyu on purpose. Now, the bounty prisoners on the deck were dead and alive, piled up into a hill. At the same time, people are still flying out of the cabin. In a flash, Suyu came to the pirate ship and entered the cabin. Devil fruits of different colors and shapes immediately caught his eyes. The total number was as many as 66. There's one last one. As Irene spoke, she sent the last capable user, 
Hundred Beasts Group Flying Six Cells Runty to the stage. Not long, Zone Dragon Fruit. The separation of the form and ability of the ancient species of Brigiosaurus has been completed. Thanks for your hard work. So you nodded. By the way, Irene. Your complexion seems a little pale. Is it because you have consumed too much? So you asked curiously. No, no, it's you. Don't you feel anything? Aaron said. While the Dragon Slayer acquires powerful power, it will also have some side effects, such as the body becoming a dragon. Another example is dizzy transportation. As strong as the Black Dragon King Akalonokia, it is also not immune to the dizziness of vehicles. Irene, who is the mother of dragons, is no exception. On the fairy tale, because of the blessing of the guild's special power, it's fine. But... After coming to this ship, the feeling of dizziness and vomiting has been accompanied by it. Just out of face, Irene didn't say anything, while using sky magic to alleviate it, while supporting it. But, seeing Suyu moving freely on the other boats as if nothing had happened, Irene couldn't help being surprised. Feel? What does it feel like? Suyu asked back. Nothing. Erin didn't ask much. Suyu didn't study it carefully either. Going straight forward. She stretched out her hand towards Runting's face. There have been countless speculations on the internet about the situation under the mask of this grumpy head iron girl. Suyu was also very curious if Runting's mouth was really the same as Kerr's. Now that I have the opportunity to confirm it, I naturally want to see it. Talking. Suyu took off Runting's mask. Fine. Not pointy fangs. It's a normal cute girl. Just when Suyu was about to cover it back. Cemetery. Runting's eyelashes trembled, and she opened her eyes. The pupils filled with panic and uneasiness. Who are you? Who am I? Where is this? Run Shi Sanlian asked helplessly. Su? Dot 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 nine. Chapter 91. Two kings and two generals, surpassing the configuration of any royal group. Question mark subscribe. Sharp hey head warship. Mr. Garp, the leader of fairy tale is coming in a pirate ship. Adjutant Bogart said. I'd like to see what kind of plane that kid wants to make. Garp grunted and stood up. Not long. So you drove the pirate ship between the two warships. Looking at the pirates on the warship piled up into hills of human flesh. The faces of the sailors couldn't help showing extreme shock. Big Mom Pirates Charlotte Defu, Beasts Pirates Jack the Drow, Captain of Minion Pirates. The S-Shaking Girl Peacock is so rare that she tells the names of the famous pirate captains one by one. Are all bounty criminals on this ship? Hina looked shocked. That's right. There are a total of 897 bounty criminals. We roughly calculated that the total value is about 10 billion, just a little more. So you said. Sizzle sizzle tilde. On the warship, the sea soldiers gasped in shock one after another, one after another. A bounty group worth 10 billion berry! Exclamation mark. Even the hero Garp who has spent most of his life on the sea and captured countless pirates has never seen this scene. President Suyu, you are. Giant looked at Suyu blankly. I deliberately fished out the bounty criminals from the sea. Of course, I asked you Marine to exchange the bounty. Do you think I am doing charity, or is your bounty exchange fake? Suyu squinted at Giant. Of course it's not fake, it's just that why don't we make 10 billion now? Giant stalls. It's okay, if you can run away monks can't run away from the temple. I will give you half a month to prepare for April 57 inches. If I don't receive the payment after half a month, don't blame me for going to your naval headquarters. So you said lightly, say it. So you left behind a bounty criminal from the pirate ship and left. Everyone in marine looked at each other in blank dismay. What to do? A reward exchange system set by oneself, with tears in my eyes. I have to claim the prize. It's just this huge sum of 10 billion berry. Even Garp looked a little jealous. How many senbai can you buy? Set sail with fairy tale. The hundred regiments alliance incident has come to an end. The sea has finally returned to calm. But, the turbulence of the sea has only just begun. The Rice Rosa underground trading port. On this important day, naturally, the video conferences of the leaders of the underground dark world forces have been held all the time. Do Flamingo, the intermediary of the dark world, is also fully online. After all, he also took a small stake in this incident. In the past two hours, the leaders of the major forces discussed the method of dividing the spoils fiercely, and they refused to give in to each other. Until now, there has been no discussion about why. Stop arguing, how to divide the specifics. Let's talk about it after all the things are in hand, count the time. The first stage of action should almost be won. The usury king Lee Field said. Kai Kai. The blacked out display lights up. Birdman's head appeared on the screen. Morgans. Bastard Morgans. How did you find the signal room? You have been expelled from the dark world by us, and you dare not come in. Do you really want to court death? All the predators of the dark world are bossy. Wahaha, you should be the ones who are really looking for death. Morgans laughed. He he. At this point, the backer you rely on, the so-called fairy tale of the five emperors, is probably on the verge of collapse. How can you still laugh? The shipping king Amit sneered again and again. Wahaha. Why can't I laugh? Or do you still not know anything? No, 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 no one doesn't know the news that the Hundred Pirates Alliance was wiped out by fairy tale. Morgans teased and ridiculed again and again. Nanny, what did you say? The Hundred Regiments Alliance is completely wiped out. How is this possible? Don't be silly, 
Morgans, it should be Fairy Tail who destroyed the Holy Spirit. All the predators of the Dark World screamed in disbelief. At this time, hey, Dover Dover, something bad happened, something terrible happened in the first half. To a bowl, Don Quixote's top carder, brings the latest World Economic Report to Do Flamingo. Almost at the same time, the leaders of the major dark forces also received news from their subordinates. Nanny, this kind of thing is impossible. Impossible, absolutely impossible. How could a plan that has been planned so hard for such a long time fail? Morgans, this must be a fake news made up by you. Don't think we'll believe it. Now contact me with the 100 Regiments Alliance. Nanny, can't get in touch? Give me another number and keep calling. The heads of all major forces shouted emotionally. I can't believe it, and I don't want to accept this terrible fact. I told you a long time ago. You don't even know who you're against? Morgan sneered. By the way, President Sue, you asked me to tell you a word. Wait for Fairy Tail to come to New World and clean it all up. Bastard Morgans, you've sold us all. Did you tell him that? Arsel, Lufield, Amit, and the others all had red eyes in shock and anger. Ha 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 ha. If you want people not to know, you have to do nothing. Besides, if you really want to blame, you have to blame yourself for being too arrogant. And you, Joker, you who have always been tactful, this time you also kicked the iron plate. Wow ha ha, boom. Morgan's connection display was pierced by a thick line and exploded. Dover, what shall we do next? This fairy tale, maybe. Maybe it's already eyeing us? Terrible spoke nervously. There is no previous arrogance and domineering between words. After this incident, anyone can see the horror of fairy tale. It will no longer be regarded as a pseudo royal group. Don't be afraid, even if fairy tale is not weak. Standing behind me is the real four emperors, the strongest creatures in the sea. Land and air kaido of the beasts. Do Flamingo opened his mouth faintly. Wanokini, the surrounding area. Hundred beasts, base camp. Nanny, how could such a thing happen? Fairy Tail. Fairy Tail defeated an alliance of more than a hundred pirates. He. How could they do such a thing? Where are Master Jack and Master Runty? How is Master Jack? Master Jack must be fine, after all, he is a million dollar tanhai. But, why can't I get in touch? Why can't I get in touch with Master Jack and the others? The whole group of beasts couldn't help being in chaos. How could this be? sister. Could it be that sister? Kaido's armor. Peggy One looked helplessly at the four emperors Kaido of the beasts. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. The four emperors Kaido is still drunk today. Jack will lose, all because he is too weak, but no matter how weak he is, he is still my subordinate. I will remember this grudge. IWC, Toto Land, Cake Island, RRR, Snag Big Brother, Die Fuck Big Brother, Brothers and Sisters. How could such a thing happen? Maybe Snuggle Big Brother alone is no match for Fairy Tail. But, this time Fairy Tail is facing the Hundred Regiments Alliance. He. How could they win? The Carders and the Ministers of the Bigman Pirates were all shocked, angry, and mad with hatred. Category Big Brother. Brother Payros. Brother Owen. This matter must not be left alone. Please allow us to form the Avenging Legion. We must destroy Fairy Tail and avenge our brothers. Shut up all. A majestic voice exploded. The huge Cake Island Hall was suddenly silent. Because the person who spoke was the second in command of the Charlotte family. Charlotte Tecatory the leader of the respected generals, Mondor, tell me about what you have investigated, Category said quietly, yes, the 19th son of the Charlotte family, Mundel, walked out trembling, he took a deep breath, and revealed the relevant truth that he found through the family's intelligence network, the inside story of the Anais lobby incident, that man was not evenly matched with Admiral Okiji as Morgens reported, he dot 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 that man just took a few minutes to blow up Admiral of Headquarters. Silence. Unprecedented silence. When the truth of the Anais lobby incident is revealed, even they who are the carders of the Four Emperors Regiment, it was also shocking and frightening to the point of being unbearable, and he couldn't even say a word, a single word. My brothers have been defeated, and my sister Bree's life or death is uncertain. Of course I am also very anxious, but fairy tale is beyond our ability to solve. Category said quietly, President Suyu, Fairy Queen Erda and the demon Mirajan who exposed her strength. This time, with the configuration of superior powerhouses, they are already above any imperial group. Holy Land, Mary E. Joys, Pang U City, Five Elders Hall, standing on horses, this has turned them round. Sure enough, the ominous premonition in my heart has come true. Five Elders J. Gorusia Satan can't help but explode. It's not that they were overthrown, but that they had already prepared for it and plotted against the Hundred Regiments Alliance. White hair and white beard Five Elders said quietly, The Devil, Mirajan, instantly killed the senior carders of the four emperors regiment with a single blow. A person with such strength has never been able to show his strength. If it weren't for this incident, we would have faced fairy tail head on in the future. When the time comes, maybe you will really be slapped. The blonde five elders looked serious. It's nothing more than the president Suyu and the fairy queen Erda, but now there is another admiral level combat power, and the little fairy tail is so crouching. Why did we never know that there is such a terrifying monster? An organization, the swordsman five elders, who was wearing the white training suit, shook his head in disbelief. They seem to appear in this world out of thin air, and 
What I want to know most is, what kind of power do they use? Why do they have multiple powers? Said five elders, bald and scarred. Heterogeneous. They are simply heretics in this world. Maybe it's time to ask Claudin for instructions. Holy word of J. Gorusia Satan. Naval headquarters, Marinford. Devil Mirajan, sure enough, no one can underestimate Fairy Tail. Marshal Sengoku shook his head. In this way, Fairy Tail has two admiral level combat powers that can be confirmed besides the President Suyu, one Emperor and two generals. This is a configuration that even the Red Hair Pirates don't have. No, not just two generals. Chief of Staff Vice Admiral Crane Road. The Demon Mirajan is the general who guards the guild headquarters, and the Fairy Queen Ayaza is a general who leads the team to complete the commission. Don't forget, besides the Fairy Queen 1.8, Fairy Tail has another captain. Xiao He, you mean this child? Sengoku pointed at Wendy's photo on the desk with a puzzled look on his face. You just said before, Sengoku, don't underestimate anyone in Fairy Tail. I think since the President Suyu appointed this child as the captain, there must be a reason. Maybe she is the most important person in Fairy Tail. The tricky one. Chief of Staff Vice Admiral Crane Road. He he he. Marshal Sengoku's mouth twitched. He already understood the meaning of Vice Admiral Crane. Fairy Tail is not one king and two generals. It's double emperors, double generals. Marshal Sengoku, the green-haired Commodore Brandon trotted anxiously. It's the news from Giant Vice Admiral. Just now, Vice Admiral Garp had a conflict with Fairy Tail President. Nanny, what are you talking about? Marshal Sengoku stood up in shock. What's the result? Vice Admiral Crane asked. According to the report of Giant Vice Admiral, Luckily nothing irreversible happened. Brandon hurriedly repeated Giant's report in its entirety. After listening to the report, Marshal Sengoku hangs a heart down. The eyes towards Brana gradually became unkind. After all, he was almost scared to have a heart attack earlier. Sengoku, Sengoku. R. what's the matter, Xio? Marshal Sengoku came to his senses. What are you going to do about the 10 billion bounty that Giant said? Vice Admiral Crane asked. Give it to them, Fairy Tail deserves it. Marshal Sengoku didn't hesitate. Chapter 92 Suyuf's Myra. Robin, Nami, Juvia. Subscription, under the full promotion of the News King Morgans. Fairy Tail wiped out the Hundred Pirates Alliance event spread throughout the sea in the shortest possible time. And not surprisingly, it once again ignited an upsurge of discussion in the world. It's amazing. Fairy Tail is amazing. They are literally our saviors. Obviously such a big man, but he can hear our demands. Sure enough, Fairy Tail is high. It's better to entrust Fairy Tail than Marine. The only problem is there's only one Fairy Tail. When will Fairy Tail come to North Blue? The low level civilians all over the world are excited. The existence of Fairy Tail brought them hope. Let them see the light in their dark and hopeless lives. Grand Line, Isle of White Clay, Baltico. This is where the headquarters of the Revolutionary Army is located. A huge base stands in the middle of the desert. Revolutionary Army Base Meeting Room. The top leaders of the Revolutionary Army headed by the leader long gather together. Dot dot dot. That's all we found about Fairy Tail. Terry, the base intelligence control officer, informed the senior management of everything so far. It's unbelievable. Fairy Tail, one emperor, two generals, and even three generals. This lineup is too exaggerated. Below Betty, the commander of the Eastern Army. Let out a long breath in shock. I thought that Morgan's was closely related to Fairy Tail, and the Anais lobby report was somewhat exaggerated, but Confederate Army Commander Lindbergh's hairy face was full of disbelief. The report on the Anais lobby incident is not exaggerated, but conservative. Admiral Okaji, the highest fighter in the naval headquarters, was blown up in just a few minutes. No one would believe this kind of thing. I'm afraid that Morgan's didn't find out the real inside story of the Anais lobby incident at that time but just followed his own imagination, and he couldn't wait to release the news. Carla C., commander of the 26th Army of the Northern Army, analyzed. After that, the world government's 1.5 billion reward order also meant to deceive the ears and steal the bell. It wanted to make a conclusion and prevent others from delving into it. After all, what was reported in the news was much worse than the truth. However, after this battle, it has thoroughly proved their strength and background, which is enough to aspire to the top of the world. Below Betty paused every word and spoke solemnly. Fortunately, Fairy Tail is not a pirate organization doing evil, they are the people's partners just like us. The revolutionary girl Goala's eyes were full of surprises. That's great, Fairy Tail is simply the real savior. The blonde young man sitting at the head of the leader, Longxia, was sitting upright. Hey, Mr. Long, let me go. I'll try to get in touch with Fairy Tail. If I can get them to join the revolutionary camp, ten walks will be an unprecedented boost. Sabo, chief of staff of the revolutionary army said seriously. Yeah and the lights of the revolution, Miss Robin is also in fairy tale now, it would be great to be with fairy tale, Koala opened his mouth full of longing, however, the leader dragon just shook his head calmly, why, Sabo doesn't understand, their career, their goals are different from ours, the revolutionary dragon finally spoke, Sabo, Koala and the others all showed frustration, I haven't finished yet, although the career goals are different, 
The general direction to make the world a better place is the same, as long as this remains the same, we will meet them at some point in the future. The revolutionary long firmly believed in this. Say Buddy Islands, 13th Red Tree. What's wrong, Shaki? You're so sad. Fairy tale didn't win, it's a good thing. Pluton Rayleigh asked, raising an eyebrow. I am not at all surprised by the outcome of this incident. Shaki shook his head. What is that for? Rayleigh was getting more and more puzzled. It's about nine snakes. Just a few days ago, Suyu, the president of Fairy Tale, went to daughter country and met Hancock. Shaki said, Nanny, what about this? What happened? Rayleigh sat upright, his face serious. Although he and Shaki are not married, they are also an old couple. Shaki is the former emperor of the Nine Snake Daughter Kingdom, and Rayleigh also knows about it. In addition, there is the incident more than ten years ago. Murloc Tiger made a big disturbance in the Holy Land of Mary E. Joys, releasing many slaves of celestial dragons. Among them, the three sisters of Boa Hancock were safely escorted back to Nine Snakes by them. Of course, Rayleigh couldn't ignore the matter between Nine Snakes and Boa Hancock. It can only be said that it is almost. Shaki let out a long breath. In the end, nothing major happened. But if Hancock Chan really killed the members of Fairy Tale, maybe the Hundred Regiments Leagues today would be Nine Snakes yesterday. Nine Snakes. Daughter Country. Snake. Gloriosa, a short sour plum-faced old woman, broke into the castle tower anxiously. Grandma, wait a moment. Boya Sanderson Ear and Marigold hurried forward to block. Grandma, you are in such a hurry, what's the matter? Since what happened that day, Elder Sister has been in a bad mood. If you don't have something particularly important, don't go looking for Elder Sister. Sister Boya persuaded. Of course it's a big deal. Do you know what Fairy Tale did? Gloriosa said. Fairy Tale again. Sister Boya was taken aback. Stop blocking. Five minutes later, when I learned what happened today from Gloriosa, both Sanderson Ear and Marigold's eyes widened in horror, and their bodies were drenched in cold sweat. That day, what they feel is not an illusion. If, if my sister really did something irreparable to Fairy Tale, so now this nine snake daughter country may no longer exist. Did you hear that? Snake Princess, your willfulness can never be used on that man again, fairy tale will only be more terrifying than you imagined. Gloriosa spoke earnestly. So what if that's the case? Bower Hancock bit her red lip with white teeth. That man is nothing more than a man. Why do you say that he is not worthy of a career? Angry Empress Hancock kicked Gloriosa out of the window. Grand line, somewhere in the sky. The huge yellow golden lion ship flies in the air, full of style. The skull flag flying on the mast represents its identity. Air Pirates Captain Golden Lion Shiki In the last era, he was a super pirate who was as famous as One Piece King Roger and Four Emperors Whitebeard. However, his luck was not perfect and his fate was ill-fated. The Battle of Adva In the case of absolute dominance, because of a sudden storm, he finally lost to Roger the One Piece. Later, he was arrested and imprisoned for making a big fuss at naval headquarters, and finally escaped at the expense of his feet. Nearly two decades later, the flying pirate Golden Lion Shiki from Legendary disappeared without a trace. Constantly lurking for a comeback plan. Boss Shiki, ordinary people can no longer contain those guys. That's right, Boss Shiki. Now only you can take action to defeat the enemy. Only Captain Shiki, you can destroy Fairy Tail. Several pirate captains knelt on the deck, looking at the old man on the throne expectantly. Jihahaha, is it the Fairy Tail of the 5th Royal Regiment? The name is resounding but it's still too young. The old man with the wild hair of a lion's mane laughed. Boss Shiki, this is your promise. Pirate captains are all happy. There is fairy tale on the sea. They can no longer do whatever they want. No freedom. I was worried all day long, for fear that someone would request fairy tale and find them. I've been waiting for 20 years, and it's not too late. When that plan is actually implemented, both fairy tale and the world will tremble under the name of the flying pirate. Ha 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 ha. Golden Lion Shiki laughed confidently. New World. Pirate Island Hive. Rocky Harbor. The pirate ship stocked one after another. You ha 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 ha. What five emperors? What fairy tale? Don't get carried away just because you are lucky enough to win a game. Captain Yumina Cock laughed. Today's result comes down to the fact that the pirates in paradise are too weak, but they are just pirates playing house. The level of New World is not comparable to that of the trashy in paradise. Fairy tale, Lozy is in New World and so on. Looking at you. The incident continued to ferment. This moment, fairy tale. Fairy Tale Guild. Bang bang tilde. There were crisp crackling sounds. <laughs> Eight year old Lily Little Bonnie was crying. President, don't be too strict with your kids. Bonnie sauce is just slightly overcooked. Myra and others are all pleading for Little Bonnie. At the same time, I feel even more puzzled, with the temperament of his own president. How can it be possible to care about children? Not to mention her own daughter. The persuasion of Myra and others not only did not stop Suyu, but even made him more vigorous. Press the little Bonnie on the leg, and slap the skin drum. Another dozen slaps went down. Bonnie finally couldn't hold back anymore. Okay, okay, president, I was wrong. 
I confess. Bonnie threw up his hands in surrender. Then he grew up under the shocked eyes of Myra, Nami and others. I'm sorry, everyone, I'm not actually the daughter of the president and sister Tia. Bonnie confesses everything immediately. Who? In the crowd, Nami, Robin, Myra, and Juvia all breathed a sigh of relief. Everyone, I'm really sorry, I'm also responsible. Arusia apologized. It's okay, it's okay, just say it clearly. Nami waved his hand. I just said. The president has only been out for a month. How could he have such a big daughter? Juvia, who was still hit a second ago, suddenly recovered at this moment. However, Bonnie Sauce, how on earth did you do it? That, bigger or smaller? Vivi asked curiously. This is my devil fruit ability. Bonnie explained his abilities concisely. Amazing. The girls couldn't help being amazed. Not just being able to change your physical age. It can also manipulate the age of other people. So, it must also be able to turn a grown man back to a little boy age. Nami, Robin, Juvia and Mirajan looked at each other tacitly, as the four adults in the guild, during the month when Suyu was away, they also exchanged experiences with each other, finally, the four reached a consensus, when they played against Suyu, the reason why they kept losing was all because of lack of unity, in order to win Suyu once, they have reached a sister cooperation agreement, 840 and, before starting, if it can weaken Suyu, then, the odds are even greater, certainly, that's for a later date, okay, everyone, once again for today's victory, and the addition of Arusia and Bonnie, Tan Cup. Erza raised her glass. Oh, the lively banquet lasted until midnight. Erza, Wendy, Vivi, Perona and other girls went back to their rooms to rest. However, others quietly started to move. Khalifa's room. Khalifa, who was also exhausted all day, sat at the dressing table and took out the diary. Dang dang. There was a knock on the door. Come in. Khalifa quickly put away the diary. What's the matter? Nami. It's nothing. Just last time Khalifa you said. Nami glanced wide at Khalifa's wardrobe. Oh. That's okay, just take it if you want, Khalifa said generously. Then I won't be polite, and I will pay you back when I have a chance in the future. Nami happily picked out a few items from Khalifa's collection. The other side, President's room. President, this is none of my business. I came here after everyone said that I had agreed with you. You can't use this as an excuse to spank my ass, Bonnie said seriously. So you nodded calmly, because of the guild's reward and punishment mechanism. He owes a lot of wishes. This time, it was Robin who used a wish. Suyu naturally had to keep his promise. At the same time, Suyu was also very curious about what Robin and the Myra wanted to do. Then here I come. Bonnie's slender hands glowed, imprinted on Suyu's chest. Next second, a mysterious light enveloped Suyu's whole body. In an instant, Suyu has changed from a two-meter hunk into a little boy with a handsome face. Okay, my task is completed, and then I don't care about my business. Bonnie ran away in a hurry. Fearing that Suyu would suddenly repent and settle accounts with her. Hey hey, Juvia wiped the drool from the corner of her mouth. What a lovely president. Myra and Robin's eyes also brightened. Everyone, here I come. Nami is ready. The next day, at noon, Suyu stretched and walked out of the room. Ah, the corner of his mouth curled up in a contemptuous arc. Want to work together to bully him who has become smaller. How naive. The body has become smaller, but the mind is still flexible. No matter how the physical age changes, Suyu's strength remains unchanged. This battle. Although I have worked hard enough, I still failed in the end. Chapter 93, Forbidden Magic Purgatory Shattered. Khalifa's Fionk. Question mark subscribe. In a blink of an eye, a week. Marine General Hospital. The bandaged Hiragap met Admiral Okiji who was also covered in bandages unexpectedly, and smiled awkwardly at each other. The other side. Naval Headquarters. Marinford. The rabbit-headed warship belonging to Admiral's alternate Momausugi Jian leaves the port, with a huge sum of 10 billion berry. I drove to the agreed handover point, just shortly after departure from Giant Holy Land, Mary E. Joy's, Pangu City, Five Elders Hall, Nanny. What are you talking about? Marine plans to send 10 billion to that man. Girly haired Five Elders J. Gorusia Satan stared wide-eyed, and let out a terrified roar. Hurry up, hurry up. Bring Mo Mousagi Giant back, it must not be honored. Bald Scar Five Elders said repeatedly. We have already lost a lot in order to promote this monster slaying operation. And now we have to send 10 billion to fairy tale for nothing. I will not allow this kind of thing. Five elders, blonde and bearded, shook his head repeatedly. How did Sengoku become the marshal? This kind of thing is not reported to us. The swordsman five elders, who was wearing a white training suit, had an ugly expression on his face. Hasn't Marine contacted yet? White hair and white beard five elders said in a deep voice. Yes, we have already contacted. Marshal Sengoku said that everything is going according to the formalities, and the giant vice admiral said that they need Marshal Sengoku's order to return. A world government official wiped his sweat anxiously. It's reversed. Marine guys, don't they even know their own position? J. Gorusia Satan was very angry. Where in the world is there any reason for officials to give money to thieves? Even if this 10 billion is fed to the dog, 
it won't be given to that bastard. Notify CP0 to dispatch immediately, even if it is intercepted, it must be intercepted. The five elders are categorical. Ten billion berry is just a drop in the bucket for the huge world government. Just scrape the people's fat and people's ointment on the countries that are members of the world government and come back. But, what they really couldn't accept was giving the money to sue you for free. Isn't everyone red-headed? I can save face with them. This moment, fairy tale. Guild. After the carnival unwinds, the fairy tale girls are working again. Both Thurza's team and Wendy's team set off. Prepare to clear the last few commissions in the first half of the park. After that, it's New World. Ding Tilda. At this time, the familiar sound of guild upgrade sounded in Sue's mind. You don't need to guess, it must be that Thurza and Wendy's team have completed a new commission. Sue skillfully opened the system panel to check the guild upgrade rewards. Question mark fairy tale upgrade. Taboo magic purgatory fragments loading. Oh, Suyu raised his eyebrows. Finally, Fairy Tail has ushered in the second upgrade, but this upgrade has not changed much in terms of appearance and scale. After all, the previous upgrade had made the Fairy Tail larger than a large warship, and even a Titan could live there. The upgrade brought about the innovation of the attack system. The power of the magical cluster cannon Jupiter was fully demonstrated in this broadcast against the Hundred Regiments Alliance. In Khalifa's view, it can even be compared with a Pluton battleship. Certainly, Suyu knew it. The Jupiter Cannon in the Pluton Cannon cannot be compared, but, this time the upgraded Taboo Magic Purgatory Shattering may really be able to compete with Pluton. After all, the word Taboo of Taboo Magic is not a joke. The Magic Circle is fully unfolded. Destroying a city is no problem. Just when Suyu was thinking about where to go to try the power of Purgatory Shatter, President Khalifa came to Suyu. What's matter? Suyu asked, about the assessment. When will the President plan to start? Asked Khalifa. Oh. I almost forgot, you can start today Tilda, Suyu agreed. Is it finally about to start? Khalifa's membership assessment. Mirajan smiled. Come on, Perona shook her pink fist to cheer Khalifa on. I will work hard to pass. Khalifa is full of confidence. Until watching Sunning and Khalifa go away. Speaking of which, Sister Myra, does our guild have a membership assessment? Perona scratched her head puzzled. The president has his own plan, so we don't have to think about it. Myra said. Sister Myra, the cleaning of the kitchen has been completed. Is there anything else to do? A soft and weak girl's voice sounded. The original Hundred Beasts group Flupo came in wearing a white silk maid uniform. Events a week ago. Run, who was also on the mammoth ship, was indiscriminately defeated by the marine here Garp's fist clash, and fell unconscious into the sea on the spot. After that, Juvia salvaged him, and then sent to Aryan to strip Devil Fruit's ability. Originally, she was also going to be packaged and handed over to Marine. Only, at that time, Runty's amnesia triple question after waking up won her a new opportunity. After that, he rested on the ship for several days, and now, like Khalifa, he is a handyman on the ship. Thanks for your hard work, Runty Chan, your body hasn't fully recovered yet, so take a good rest first. Mirajan smiled. The endless blue sea. The magic power boat is running like lightning. Bring up a narrow white wave. President, now you can talk about the specific content of the assessment. Khalifa asked. Oh, it should be said. So you nodded. Khalifa, you should also understand that our fairy tale is a service-oriented organization and the main job is to receive commissions and complete them, so I want to test your ability to complete commissions, so you said seriously. Khalifa nodded, not surprised by this. It has long been guessed that it may be this kind of assessment. President, don't worry, I will definitely complete it satisfactorily. Khalifa is full of confidence. As a top agent of world government Kp9, she is best at getting things done. It's good that you have confidence. So you suppressed a smile. Then President, what commission do I want to complete this time? Asked Khalifa. This one, I've already prepared it. It's a request to find something. As Suyu said, he took out a reward order from his pocket. Khalifa looked solemn, without any carelessness. After all, this is an assessment commission specially selected for her by the president of Fairy Tale. The thing you are looking for must be very important, or the location is very dangerous. Thinking so, Khalifa opened the power of attorney in his hand. Next second, her beautiful eyes suddenly widened. Complicated colors appeared on the pretty face involuntarily, because... The truth is exactly the opposite of what she imagined. She thought that looking for things was looking for some rare things in the sea. Result, what she was really looking for turned out to be a lost pet. Question mark looking for the lost swordfish blue. This is the assessment task Suyu prepared for her. What, is it surprising? As I said, Fairy Tail is a service guild, even if it is such a small entrustment. As long as you accept it, you must complete it seriously, otherwise it will damage the guild's reputation. So you said seriously. I dot 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 I know. Khalifa agrees. However, I couldn't help but feel uneasy in my heart. Khalifa doesn't really care about what to look for. For her, the real question is where to commission the work. Swordfish Blue. This is a specialty of the Grand Line Water City. Water City is where she has been undercover for four years. Not long ago, he was transferred from the higher-ups because of the task of undercover fairy tale. Result. 
Going back so soon, Khalifa has been able to foresee the difficulty of this task. Not struggling to find pets. It's about how to hide your identity. After all, the four years in the water capital. She is the secretary of Mayor Ace Begu. No one in the entire city of water knows. No one knows. Acquaintances. The city is full. Unlike Khalifa's restlessness. This moment, the smile on Siu's face was almost unstoppable. It is precisely because I know that Khalifa is very familiar with Shuizi. That's why he purposely used it as an assessment location. Time flies. The next day, morning, a magnificent city that seemed to be built on water appeared in the sight of Suyu and Khalifa. The city of water has arrived. President, this is for you. Khalifa took a deep breath, and handed the mask to Su Chen. This was bought by Khalifa urgently last night when passing by the town of Queen of Spring for rest. What did you give me the mask for? Suyu asked with a smile. Because you are a famous person in the sea now, President, if you know that you have appeared in the water capital, it will definitely cause a huge sensation and then there will be no way to complete the commission properly. Khalifa said seriously. This is also what she has thought of for a long time. Well, that makes sense. So you took the mask and put it on. Cool. Khalifa breathed a sigh of relief, then took out the second mask and put it on himself. I wear it so as not to cause a stir. What are you wearing it for? So you made another attack. Because. Because it was bought as a package. It's a waste if you don't wear it. Khalifa said nervously. Well, forget it. It's up to you. As for Khalifa's innocence, he is the clearest. Rather. It seems more interesting this way. Let's go, President, Examiner. Khalifa packed up her mood and walked to the city first. In the quarter of an hour, Khalifa found the client's restaurant with ease. To be precise, it was the client's parents' restaurant, because the client was still a ten-year-old girl. When he knew that it was Fairy Tail who took over the commission of his own child, the restaurant owner and his wife were surprised at first, then flattered, and quickly invited Khalifa and Suyu into the restaurant for a casual meal. But, Khalifa was very professional and said that the commission was important. Immediately afterwards, he took out a pen and paper and recorded all the intelligence information in detail. After promising to the client that the little girl will definitely find it, Khalifa and Suyu left the restaurant together. Honey, do you feel that the girl from before seems a little familiar? The proprietress of the restaurant looked at Khalifa suspiciously. Do you feel the same way? I also think that girl's voice is similar to Miss Khalifa. But didn't everyone say that Miss Khalifa went back to her hometown to get married? How could? The restaurant owner also nodded. Well, I'll make sure when we meet again later. The boss couple nodded. Hey, Khalifa, the boss and his wife seem to be saying who do you look like? Suyu asked pretending to be surprised. I read it wrong. I must have read it wrong. Yes, President, how was my previous performance? Khalifa quickly changed the subject. It's not bad. It looks good. But is Kali very familiar here? I found the client's location so quickly. Suyu asked knowingly. Oh. Oh, this, I actually did my homework last night. After all, it is the first assessment task, so I must complete it perfectly. Khalifa said not without guilt. So that's the case, let's continue. So you said. Khalifa nodded slightly, pretending to buy a map. Then began to chatter everywhere. Two hours later, still nothing. Just as Khalifa was about to go to another area to inquire about it. Ah, isn't this Miss Khalifa? A shopkeeper with heavy makeup walked quickly to Khalifa. Miss Khalifa. You have returned to the capital of water so soon. It just so happens that a batch of new stockings have just arrived in my store. There are all kinds of stockings in various styles and colors. Miss Khalifa, you will definitely, promise Zhao, like. The female shopkeeper greeted warmly. New goods? Khalifa was moved immediately. Even if it is an agent of CP9, Khalifa can still have her own hobbies. And her favorite collection is stockings of various colors and styles. This secret was discovered by Nami by chance. At that time, in order to show his generosity. Khalifa told Nami to let her take whatever she needed, since she couldn't wear it anyway. It was just a polite sentence. Whoever thought Nami turned out to be really rude. In the past week, I have taken more than a dozen pairs of treasures one after another. Whenever Khalifa sees again, those treasures that she herself was reluctant to wear were already in tatters. At the same time, the sock feet are already full of Suyu's smell. But Khalifa, who likes to collect stockings, feels distressed. The current store is exactly what Khalifa used to visit. Hearing the familiar greeting from the female shopkeeper, Khalifa subconsciously wanted to respond. Wait until you reach the door of the store. Only then did Khalifa react. I am still on the mission and the fact that Sue is not far away. You've got the wrong person. I'm not Khalifa. Khalifa said. Well, the shopkeeper was taken aback. Just when Khalifa wanted to take the opportunity to get away. Suddenly thing. There was a loud chase not far away. So, when I have money, I will definitely pay you back. Kara number one Doc Master Barry is still avoiding creditors today. Oh. Khalifa's heart skipped a beat, giving birth to an ominous premonition. It was already too late to escape. Hey, isn't this Khalifa? You have returned to the capital of water. Mr. Race but you said that you went back to your hometown to get married. Could it be that the one over there is your fianc? Barry, the master boatman, said hello to see you not far away. Chapter 94 Eat Khalifa. Compulsory course for traveling pirates. 
abusing celestial dragons, question mark subscribe, isn't this Khalifa, Mr. Race but you said that you went back to your hometown to get married, when did you return to Water City, why didn't you notify everyone in advance, even though Khalifa was wearing a tight mask, Barry, the boatman, recognized her at a glance, after all, they had worked together in the same company for four years, did you come back this time to inform us to attend the wedding, don't worry, although I am poor, I will definitely have the money for you, even if I borrow usury, I will borrow it from you, Khalifa, since returning to the capital of water, what she was most worried about finally happened, met the guy I least wanted to meet, you've got the wrong person, I'm not the Khalifa you said, Khalifa lowered his voice, making a final struggle, hey, the captain of the boat showed suspicion in bar, after a while, he reacted, oh, 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 I understand, I understand, so your fiancé is here too, you didn't want your fiancé to misunderstand, that's why you said that, Barry, the master boatman, looked at Suyu who was wearing the same mask as Khalifa in the shade of a tree not far away, hey, bro, I'm Khalifa's ex-colleague, definitely not her ex-boyfriend, don't get me wrong, Barry yelled, Barry, shut up now, Khalifa was completely anxious, ha ha ha, let's stop here, they are chasing you, the master boatman Barry ran wildly again, it really is you, Miss Khalifa, the female shopkeeper of the stockings shop at the side nodded with certainty, I'll just say I'm not mistaken, this figure still smells like perfume, it's clearly Miss Khalifa, and the pair of hazelks on you are also bought from my store, Khalifa, by now, she had given up struggling, even if you rack your brains, you can't think of a reason for sophistry, hey, Khalifa, are you really familiar with Mizuno, Suyu she stepped forward, president, I, without waiting for Khalifa to say anything, you should be Miss Khalifa's fiancé, Mr. Barry said so earlier, come on, please come in, Miss Khalifa used to be a frequent customer of our shop, why don't you come pick out some new models for Ms. Khalifa? Businessmen never let go of any opportunity to make money. Men in love, especially in the stage of engagement, are the most willing to spend money for their fiancé. This is the business experience of the female shopkeeper for many years. So she skipped Khalifa and launched a sales attack on Suyu. Khalifa thought Suyu would refuse without hesitation. Never thought, marketing tools for female shopkeepers. After Suyu she elbowed for a moment. He nodded in response for the first time. 127 The female shopkeeper just wanted to introduce further, but Suyu waved his hand. Needless to say, I packed all the styles in your store. Suyu said aggressively, in the eyes of Suyu, things like high silk are one-time consumables, and not just Khalifa likes it. Nami, Robin, Myra, Juvia, Vivi, Wendy, etc. all like it. Suyu himself quite likes it. If you like it, there is no need to hesitate. Buy more for everyone. Anyway, not bad money. Miss Boss. Here is the deposit, so you casually threw two wads of money on the counter, pack the things for me first, we will pick them up later, and pay the balance by the way, yes 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 yes, the female shopkeeper rubbed her hands excitedly, Miss Khalifa is really lucky, she can find a fiancé who loves you so much, and she will be very happy in the future, listen to the compliments from the hostess, Khalifa couldn't hold back any longer, run away in a hurry, after a while, Khalifa finally calmed down, president, I'm sorry, I concealed something, Khalifa said weakly, so, are you ready to confess now? Suyu asked with a smile. Um, Khalifa nodded. Well, let's sit down at a bar and talk. Suyu took the lead. Not long. Suyu took Khalifa to a remote small bar. The place looks nice. Nothing fancy but just right for me. Suyu nodded in satisfaction, and pushed the door open first. At the same time, look at the sign on the bar. Khalifa was dumbfounded again. Baluna bar. What the hell? There are so many bars in the city of water. Why did they choose this place? Khalifa's heart is already on the verge of collapse. Even if you don't want to, you can only bite the bullet and go. Jingle tilde. Khalifa followed Suyu into the store. Welcome light. Halfway through the welcome words of the Dalox horn shopkeeper, he suddenly choked. Khalifa hastily winked, as the same CP9, Bluno, who grew up training with Khalifa, understood it immediately. Guess the identity of the person traveling with Khalifa. Pause time. His heart seemed to be overwhelmed. A huge shock occupied his whole body and mind. President, what do you want to drink? I'll help you order it. Khalifa's voice woke blue no CGCB from the shock. Then have a glass of rum. So you said casually. Yes, then I'll go to order first, and ask the shopkeeper if he has any clues about Bruce. Khalifa said and came to the bar, asking about the normal order. Fingers are constantly writing gestures on the bar. That was a special encrypted conversation that only their CP could understand. Although I haven't seen this Bruce, I will help you pay attention. As Blue No spoke, he responded with encrypted text, expressing his understanding for the small actions of Khalifa and Bluno. So you saw everything in his eyes, but he didn't poke Ying. Then thanked the owner. Khalifa thanked her and returned with two glasses of wine. Well, President, I actually worked as the secretary of Mr. Ace Bagu, the president of Kara Corporation, for four years in Water City. Khalifa confesses about her past. Oh. 
So why did you leave, and why do you want to join us on Fairy Tale? Sue Yu asked back with a smile. That's because Fairy Tale once saved my hometown. Khalifa immediately applied Vivi's template. Because his hometown was saved by Fairy Tale. So she wants to repay Fairy Tale and pass on the goodwill. Although it is a fabricated story, it is absolutely seamless. Because Fairy Tale did save what Khalifa called the Hometown Commission, and the world government has already arranged everything in advance, just in case this happens now. I'm afraid that the President and everyone will say that I don't need what I said directly, so I have to hide it. I'm sorry. Khalifa lowered her head nervously and cautiously, like a little girl who did something wrong. So it is, so it is. So you nodded in understanding, and immediately stretched out his big hand to comfort Khalifa's small head. As long as you are honest, you are a good boy. Is there anything else to say? No dot 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 not anymore. Khalifa shook her head. Forget it, it's almost time to rest. Let's continue. So you got up first. Khalifa followed closely behind. It was another three hours in a blink of an eye. Around noon. Yes, found it. Khalifa exclaimed in surprise. By comparing the helpless little blue on the river. Make sure this is the family the client's little girl is looking for. Blue, who had been lost for several days, of course would not be found by such a casual walk. The reason why it can be found is all because someone is silently paying behind the scenes. Phew, this is the end. I hope Khalifa's assessment task can go smoothly. Kaku, a CP9 agent and Kara master craftsman, wiped the sweat from his forehead. The waistline's tail is long 5 Emperor Suyu, that man is really scary. The Barona, Bluno, was terrified. Go back, go back. The pigeon on the shoulder of Oblasi, the strongest in 800 years of CP9, waved. Luchi and Kaku thought they would not see Suyu again in a short time, but never thought about it. Luchi, Kaku. Where have you two been? Come here quickly, Mr. Race Bugu is hosting a banquet for Khalifa and his fionk, so come along and support Khalifa. The shipmaster Barry greeted, Lusai, WWW, colon. Khalifa's fionk, who, five emperors see you? Something will happen, it's just up to now. The situation is no longer within their control. Right now, we can only take one step at a time. Kara Corporation, Banquet Hall, under the arrangement of Ace Bugu, the feast is ready. The personnel are also in place, including Suyu and Khalifa. This moment, Khalifa, who was sitting at the dining table, was in a daze. Don't know what the situation is now. Not long ago, the quest to find Swordfish Blue was completed. Khalifa just wants to leave this place of right and wrong as soon as possible. However, the effort of going to the store to get the goods. Coincidentally, I ran into Barry again. I heard the news that Ace Bugu hosted a banquet. Khalifa wanted to refuse. As a result, he didn't wait to speak. Suyu complied. The president has spoken and Khalifa naturally has no room to object. Ha ha ha, um, let me raise a glass. My friend, we are all Khalifa's former colleagues, you can say that we are all of us. You are Khalifa's fionk, don't pretend to be secret here, why don't you show your face sample? Barry raised his glass. You really want to see it? So you asked back. Of course, we really want to see how extraordinary the man that someone with high vision like Khalifa likes is. You know, there are so many excellent young people in our company, but Khalifa doesn't like any of them. What do you think, Lee Lee? Lusai, Kaku, the master shipbuilder Darust and Bood. Yes yes. Luchi and Kaku were forced to respond. Well, it's not convenient to eat with this thing. So you casually tore off the mask on his face. Next second. When you see Suyu's true face under the mask, Barry, the master shipbuilder, came to live suddenly. Plop. The muscular Darust stone slid under the table in shock. Lusai and Kaku are also pretending. Tsukuru's eyes widened in shock. Fairy tale president 5 Emperor Suyu, Khalifa's fionk turned out to be. As the president, Ace Bagu opened his mouth wide and couldn't help himself for a long time. This morning, I heard from Barry that Khalifa and her fionk came to the water capital. Ace Bagu didn't think much about it, thinking that as the former owner, he should host a banquet for him. But it never occurred to me. This banquet unexpectedly invited a very important figure. Khalifa, your fionk is the president of Fairy Tale. Didn't you say you would marry in your hometown? How could you be with Fairy Tail? Facing the questioning of former colleagues, Khalifa opened his mouth a little, without waiting for a sophistry. Ah, I see. Barry, the master shipbuilder, seemed to have thought of something. Khalifa, it's false to say that you went back to your hometown to get married. In fact, you resigned as a secretary and went to find the President Suyu because you fell in love with the President Suyu on the news at first sight. Right. Barry swears. Yes yes. Khalifa had no choice but to bite the bullet and respond. Khalifa has helped a lot these days when he joined the guild, and his work ability is very good. This is also thanks to his work experience in Karira. Suyu laughed. Okay, everyone, don't be dazed, let's eat the vegetables. It won't be good until it gets cold. Yes yes yes. Ace Bugu and others all agreed to drink. Chairman Suyu, if nothing else, it's all in the wine. I toast to President Suyu. I'll come too, I'll come too. 
sitting and drinking with President Suyu from Fairy Tale today. I can brag about it for the rest of my life. Driven by Suyu's unassuming atmosphere, the nervousness of the shipmasters was gone. All that's left is the excitement of sitting with the big shots. The host and guest enjoyed themselves. Three o'clock in the afternoon, Suyu bid farewell to Ace Bagu and others with Khalifa, and embarked on the return journey. President, thank you very much for today. Khalifa sat down next to Suyu awkwardly. Thank you and no need. Suyu smiled slightly. The big hand lifted Khalifa's smooth chin. President, don't. Khalifa subconsciously wanted to escape. However, in the next second, he was embraced by the aggressive Suyu. Didn't you tell people that I was your fiancé? Suyu smiled. Me. Khalifa closed her eyes nervously, no longer resisting, and allowed Suyu's big hands to walk on her body. In front of the fifth emperor of the sea, her small arms and legs had no power to resist at all. The right to be an undercover necessary sacrifice, just as Khalifa thought so. The body is also when a certain instinctive reaction is born. Sure enough, forget it. Suyu stopped. Why? Khalifa asked back. A little disappointment flashed in his eyes. Obviously she was ready. As a result, Suyu didn't come. It's not up or down. She was also uncomfortable. I drank a little too much earlier. Take a rest. Suyu said casually. Khalifa, if it's okay, it's okay. If it's not, it's okay. What does take a break mean? Certainly. She only thought about it in her heart. Uncomfortable is uncomfortable. But she couldn't say anything to make Suyu continue. I had to endure it. Two days later, Suyu and Khalifa returned to Fairy Tale. Mirajan and Perona also completed the handover of Ten Billion Berry, although there were some twists and turns on the way. But, all the thieves who wanted to get their hands on the tens of billions of bounties were drowned by Jian and Urza. Another week, Urza's team and Wendy's team have returned one after another. So far, the first half of the Grand Line Paradise has basically come to an end. It's time for Fairy Tale to head to the New World. Five days later, the islands of Sebadi are down. Looking at the colorful Madara Island in the distance, many thoughts also appeared in Suyu's mind. As a qualified traveler, there are two things to do when you come to Sebadi Islands. The first is to go to the ripoff bar at Red Tree Number 13 and meet Shaki, the former emperor of Nine Snakes, and Pluton Rayleigh, the great pirate in Legendary. Secondly, there are celestial dragons, the nobles of Shigui. Slaughtering fat-headed celestial dragons is almost a compulsory course for time travelers. As the saying goes, wearing pirates does not abuse celestial dragons, and it takes tens of thousands of people to poke them. Just when Suyu was thinking about these things, the distance between Fairy Tail and the islands of Seibadi gradually narrowed, and finally landed. And, abuse celestial dragons commission, Arrived as scheduled. Chapter 95 Khalifa kills Celestial Dragons Charos. Exclamation mark. Subscribe. Say Buddy Islands. The terminus of the park in the first half of the Grand Line, adjacent to the Red Line. This is a special tree island composed of the world's largest alpine mangroves. The routes of the Alchiman mangrove secrete special bubbles, which gave birth to the bubble culture on the island. Far away, still more than a thousand meters away, I can already see those colorful bubbles under the sunlight. Ah. I can see that there are the islands of Seibadi. As expected, there are bubbles everywhere. Facing the refreshing sea breeze, Nami looked at the bubble island in the distance, and said excitedly, Speaking of the islands of Seibadi, the most worthwhile place to visit is of course Seibadi Park. My father took me there once during the World Summit. It was really fun. Vivi said nostalgic. There are indeed many good places on the islands of Seibadi, but one thing to note is that the mangrove areas from number 1 to number 30 are unreachable tilde. Do your homework in advance, reminds Robin. This kind of thing is irrelevant. What about restaurants? Are there any recommended restaurants in Say Buddy? Bonnie's eyes lit up, his face full of anticipation. For foodies, food is everything. Yes, this is the list of restaurants in Say Buddy compiled by travelers, and there is also a list of recommended dishes. Robin was well prepared for his homework, pulled out a list of restaurants on the spot, and handed it to Bonnie. Hey, Robin. Is there a list of shopping streets on the island? Asked Nami. Some. Robin immediately pulled out the list of shopping streets. Nami took it. Immediately watched happily together with Vivi. The bounties for the Hundred Regiments War have already arrived. So you allocated 100 million activity funds for everyone in Fairy Tale. Although Nami is still carrying nearly 2 billion in debt, but the debt is too much to worry about. Nami does not intend to prepay the loan. Also, she has listened to Khalifa. When Suyu was in the City of Water, he bought a shop with a wave of his hand. This time, she also wanted to try the feeling of spending a lot of money. Robin, is there a weapons store? Urza asked. There are, but probably not in terms of quality. Robin said and handed the information of the weapon shop to Urza. It doesn't matter. Urza took it. She doesn't buy everything based on the strength of the armor. It's all about preference. Khalifa, what's wrong with you? You look so worried. Mirajan noticed the frowning Khalifa. No. Khalifa shook his head, quickly restraining his emotions. Everyone, I have learned about the islands of Sebadi. And there is an iron rule here. Khalifa spoke solemnly. Oh, the eyes of the girls were all attracted and gathered, waiting for Khalifa's next words. Because the islands of Sebadi are adjacent to the Red Line, celestial dragons, the world's nobles, 
come down to play from time to time. Remember, if you encounter them, you must not conflict with them. Khalifa warned seriously. World noble celestial dragons? What? Have no idea. Juvia, Wendy, and Xilulu shook their heads three times and looked at each other. Celestial dragons, that's the biggest scum in the world. Bonnie curled his lips. Celestial dragons are the descendants of the twenty kings who established the world government eight hundred years ago. They claim to be descendants of gods and have all the privileges in the world. Robin tells what he has learned about the celestial dragons. Because of the topic of celestial dragons, the joy on board is no longer there and the atmosphere is a little heavy. Even without actually seeing the celestial dragons, I already have a huge dislike for this group. Since it is such a scumbag group, why haven't we received any commission to crusade against celestial dragons so far? Urza was puzzled, because no one dares. Just letting people know that they have this idea is a great crime. Khalifa took over. Once the government knows that someone has commissioned the crusade against celestial dragons, what awaits the client will be a real disaster. President, the girl's eyes immediately fell on. So you, it's okay. The most important thing is for everyone to have fun, and you don't need to think about anything else. So you smiled slightly. Yes, the president said it is very true. FK his celestial dragons, let's just have fun. The gloomy atmosphere of the guild disappeared immediately. The effort between speaking, the islands of Sabadi are within easy reach. At the same time, Port Shaw. Wow, so dazzling. What is that? Why is it so dazzling? That, that, that's gold. A big clock tower made of gold. Nanny, the golden clock tower, don't be kidding. Oh oh, really, it's really a golden clock tower. Hey, hey, no way, in this sea, there are only ones who can have a golden bell tower. Fairy tale. It's fairy tale. Five Emperor Suyu is coming. The huge port of Sebadi suddenly fell into chaos. Damn it, fairy tale isn't coming for me. Could it be that someone entrusted fairy tale to FK me? Is the coating on the boat still not good? It doesn't matter if the coating is not good. It's important to escape. This island can't stay anymore. The pirates on the island couldn't help but have this idea and they were scared to death. The name of a person, the shadow of a tree, in the first half of the sea. Fairy tale is the greatest deterrent. After the previous hundred regiment battle, no more pirates dare to covet and provoke fairy tale. Just like now, from a distance, I saw fairy tale coming towards Sebadi. The pirates fear overwhelmed their greed for the golden bell. The first thought that popped into my mind was to run away. Those who couldn't run for a while, all hurriedly found a place to nest up. I begged my grandpa to tell my grandma, hoping that I could not be found by fairy tale. Run away so quickly, I still plan to practice my hands. Seeing the scattered pirates, Urza shook her head and let go of her sword hilt. Even if there is no entrustment, Urza, who has a sense of justice, encounters pirates on the road, and she will still go out to the people. I'm the first. Nami jumped and was the first to land on Sebadi. Vivi, Wendy and others followed closely behind. Xiolulu, the ground is soft so comfortable to step on. Wendy was pleasantly surprised to share her discovery. Quack quack. The super fast duck Karoo spreads its wings and soars, popping bubbles one after another with its mouth. President, let me have a look at the guild. Mirajan said. No, Myra, you can go play with everyone too. Suyu waved his hand. Fairy Tales second upgrade. In addition to arranging taboo magic purgatory shattering, several new features have also been added. For example, Lock the ship function. Once locked, except for fairy tale members who have their crests, there is absolutely no possibility of other people boarding the ship and causing damage. Okay, let's live freely. So you didn't finish his sentence. Fairy tale, are you fairy tale? A decadent young man with an unshaven beard stumbled to you. What's the matter with you? Myra asked gently. I dot 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 I have something to entrust. My fiancée was dot 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 taken away. Please, please bring her back to me. I will pay for it. The decadent youth took out a pile of change from his pocket. Sorry. We won't accept commissions about emotional types. Robin stepped forward to negotiate. If you really want to save it, you can't rely on others. You have to work hard to improve yourself and make yourself better. Nami encouraged. Girls want to come. This is a poor man who was betrayed by a woman who changed his mind. It is difficult for an upright official to decide on housework. Fairy tale will never accept this kind of commission. Wrong. The decadent man yelled. No matter how good I become in the future, she will never come back. Once she falls into that hell, she will never be able to recover. The man burst into tears. The fairy tale girls looked at each other. Tell me who stole your fiancé? Suyu asked. Yes yes. The decadent man's expression suddenly panicked. Good moment. He took a deep breath. Respond with the faint sound of mosquitoes and flies. My god. Celestial dragons. Khalifa. Before landing in Sebadi. The ominous premonition accumulated in her heart really came true. Just on the island, troubles related to celestial dragons came. Khalifa knew that something would happen to the island today. Fairy tale will definitely not sit idly by. It's just that Khalifa never expected that. It turned out to be celestial dragons. Then this robbery, is it a literal robbery? Nami et al reacted. Before that, 
They just thought it was a man who was pried into a corner of the wall. But I never thought that this snatch was literally snatched away. They had already heard from Robin about the celestial dragon's act of robbing the woman they liked in the street. If this is the case, we can't sit idly by, Urza said. Mila, so you greeted. Mirajan hurriedly sent the prepared pen and paper to the man. The decadent man took it, and after some struggles, he finally wrote down the commission tremblingly. Your commission, we will officially accept it. So you spoke calmly. President, let me go. Urza begged. Need not. So you waved his hand. Then he stuffed the power of attorney into the hands of the dumbfounded Khalifa. Leave this entrustment to Khalifa. It's her final assessment task before joining the club. No problem, Khalifa. No. No problem. Khalifa subconsciously responded. As soon as the words came out of her mouth, she realized that she was wrong. No problem, there is a big problem at all. This commission involves world nobles celestial dragons. As a CP agent she went to offend the celestial dragons. If this one is not done well, big things will happen. Let's go to free activities, this entrustment, Khalifa will solve it perfectly. So you said. Since the president has said so, let's go through it like this. Come on, Miss Khalifa, then let's go play first. Goodbye president. Fairy tale girls play in pairs of threes and twos. Seeking flowers zero. The decadent man who is the client is also quietly slip away. Obviously just now he acted as if life would be worse than death. At this moment, he looked like he didn't want to get involved too deeply. It was as if the task was completed and he retired. So you noticed this. But he didn't care. Come to the Sabadi Islands to abuse the world's nobles. Celestial Dragons is a compulsory course for every traveler. Besides, Khalifa's assessment also needs such a suitable task. Get started, Khalifa. After completing this commission, you can officially join Fairy Tale. So you earnestly draws big cakes for Khalifa. President, I am. Khalifa responded weakly. I prayed in my heart that celestial dragons had better leave and never encounter them. However, reality often fails to meet people's wishes. Say Buddy Islands, a famous brand women's clothing store in the shopping street. This, this, and these, all packed. Nami pointed at the country full of arrogance, which was enough for the addiction of local tyrants. At this time, suddenly there was commotion in the street. Oh. Why are everyone kneeling down in the street? Corona asked puzzled. Celestial dragons, here comes the celestial dragons. The female shopkeeper suddenly turned pale with fright, and quickly fell to her knees. Celestial dragons? Myra and Juvia were taken aback, looking out the door. End of street. Celestial dragons in bubble masks sit atop battered slaves, strutting their toes. Guests, please hide quickly. Don't be seen by St. Charles Ross, a beautiful girl like the guests. Several people have been snatched away during this time. The female shopkeeper anxiously reminded Myra and others not to show up. However, listen to her. The fairy tale girls couldn't sit still. Looks like that's the celestial dragons the client is looking for. Robin nodded. Although the president has handed over the entrustment to Khalifa, since we have met, we can't just sit idly by. Nami said. That's right. Hurry up and complete the commission, and let the president go shopping with us. Juvia's eyes lit up and she immediately became excited when she thought of this. The girls hit it off. So what if it's Celestial Dragons? I'm not afraid at all. Hey, Celestial Dragons over there, free the girls you snatched. Nami took a stride, took the lead, and stopped in front of Celestial Dragons. Julia, Robin, Perona, Vivi, and Myra followed closely behind. Look at the girls who suddenly jumped face Celestial Dragons. The people kneeling on both sides of the street suddenly paled in horror. Celestial Dragons Charos was also completely stunned. However, when you see the faces of Nami et al, Celestial Dragons Charles Ross's face suddenly showed excitement and joy. These women are so beautiful, much prettier than the ones from the previous two days. I want them all, guards, quickly captured them all and bring them back to Mary E. Joyce to be my wife. Celestial Dragons Charles Ross danced happily. Hearing this, even the good-tempered Myra suddenly turned cold. What are you waiting for? Hurry up. Seeing that his subordinates did not act for a long time, Celestial Dragons Charles Ross urged Quee, who was dissatisfied. However, Charles dot 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 Charles Ross Saint, this dot 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 these people dot 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 she dot 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 they are fairy tale. The butler of celestial dragons in a suit and leather shoes stumbled, relying on their status as masters of the celestial dragons, they act without scruples. But this does not mean that they are idiots and dare to provoke anyone. Fairy tale of the fifth emperor of the sea. This is the organization strictly provoked by the above. Once provoked, they themselves will die. If something goes wrong with the celestial dragons you protect, it will be the real death and even your family will be implicated. Fairy tale? What's that? It doesn't matter at all. Anyway, bring those women back quickly, quickly. Celestial dragons Charos bosses around. As he spoke, he took out the golden gun from his pocket. Shoot the disobedient butler on the spot. This guy is even more irritating than imagined. Nami grinds her silver teeth. Dang even wanted to make a move. At this time, wait. Didn't Nami say that? This is Khalifa's request. Suyu's faint voice sounded. President. The president is here. Juvia quickly stuck to Suyu's body immediately. Go, Khalifa, now is your time to show. Suyu said. Yes. Khalifa's face was pale, and his spirit was even more muddled. 
unable to think at all, here comes another good woman, and this, 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 and this must be brought back together. The celestial dragon's Charos, who didn't know that the catastrophe was imminent, still danced and danced, and wanted to pull Khalifa while talking. What are you waiting for? Can you join me? This is it. Sunning continues to CPU Khalifa, with a loud sip, she woke up from the daze. Don't touch me with your dirty hands, you piggy bastard. Khalifa jumped up, raised her long legs high, and kicked Celestial Dragon's Charos heavily on the head. Wow, dot 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 tell. Chapter 96 Big Event Celestial Dragons Die Kizari pulled. Question mark subscribe. World Noble Celestial Dragons. Descendants of the 20 kings who established the world government 800 years ago. Represents the supremacy and enjoys all privileges in the world. The Incredibles as CP9. Khalifa started with training as a child. He has been receiving brainwashing education from the world government. Government orders are absolute. The meaning of their CP existence is to serve the government and celestial dragons. Becoming a CP9 agent is not the end. The real apex of CP is CP0, the strongest shield of celestial dragons. Khalifa has also been working hard for this goal. As a CP agent, she should have the mission of protecting celestial dragons. However, the reality is that there is a fundamental conflict with her philosophy. As a CP agent, she actually accepted the commission to fight against the Celestial Dragons. This way, Khalifa has been praying in her heart not to really encounter Celestial Dragons. It's just that the sky fails to fulfill people's wishes. The more you fear something, the more it will happen. Finally, the decisive moment came. Listening to Siu's voice urging her to do it. Tasks and missions conflict violently together. Khalifa felt his head was blank and unable to think at all. At the same time, Celestial Dragon's Charos's salty hand reached out to her. It became the last straw that overwhelmed her reason. She can't control anything anymore. Instinctive movements of the body. The long legs are raised high, like battle axes. It fell heavily towards the head of Celestial Dragon's Charos. Snapped. Celestial Dragon's Charos's bubble hood immediately shattered and a piece was sunken in the middle of his head. Boom. His knees fell heavily to the ground, and his knees were shattered on the spot. A pair of dead fish eyes almost jumped out of the eye sockets, and blood flowed from the mouth. His tongue has been bitten off by his own teeth impressively, and blood is pouring out. Ah. Zero one zero. Ah ah ah. There was a scream like a pig being slaughtered, crackling, because his tongue was bitten off by himself. Celestial Dragon's Charos was already speechless, but the guards of the Celestial Dragons understood him too. Arsel, how dare you do anything to Charles Ross? Do you know who the person in front of you is? Saint Charles Ross is the noble Celestial Dragons of the world. It's over. You are dead. Jesus can't save you. The guards shouted fiercely and restrainedly. Khalifa was shocked. The buzzing head recovered briefly. When you realize what you have done. After realizing that he actually hit Celestial Dragons with his hands, her pretty face was suddenly pale, without a trace of blood. Unprecedented despair and fear enveloped her whole body like a tide. This moment, she is like a boat in a storm, beaten mercilessly by the fearful big waves. He was heading towards the end, seeing that it was about to be ruthlessly swallowed by the waves. At this time, a large hand fell on her shoulder, giving support to her trembling to the point of not being able to stand still. This warm embrace is like a harbor, provided the most solid shelter for her in the storm. Are the celestial dragons gods? Gods of scum or pigs? Who made them gods? Suning asked calmly. Such calm words. It was like a bolt from the blue to the ears of everyone present. Every day, celestial dragons was built 800 years ago. The leader of the celestial dragons guard didn't finish his sentence. Swish. Suyu so kicked it out. Pooh. Blood rushed up. Gulilu. A head rolled to the feet of the guards. That's the head of celestial dragons Charos. The nobles of the world. To me. Celestial dragons are nothing, so you said lightly. In the calm words, Haki is full. This moment, the huge street fell into a deathly silence. Next second, ah, 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 celestial dragons, world noble celestial dragons have been killed. Fairy tail kills the celestial dragons. Five emperors, so you actually did it. It's not good, admiral. Marine admiral is coming. There were screams one after another. The civilians kneeling on both sides of the street screamed in uncontrollable fear and fled in panic. Just the celestial dragons being beaten is already a big deal. Not to mention a celestial dragons being killed in the street. Charles dot 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 Charles Ross Saint. Charles Ross Saint Charles Ross Street Guild. This time, it's really over. Not only them, we are all going to die too. We who didn't protect Sir Charles Ross couldn't survive. Now I just hope that my family will not be implicated. The guards of the Celestial Dragons are heartbroken at this moment. If you don't want your family to be implicated, then be prepared to die. The captain of the Celestial Dragons guard shouted and attacked Suyu for them, compared with going back alive and being held accountable. It would be much easier to be killed right now. However, Suyu didn't pay attention to what they said at all. Hey 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 hey, the white ghost passed through Suyu, the dog-legged guard of the Celestial Dragons. In an instant, all the guards fell to the ground passively. Well, I forgot a little bit, I should let Perona use the spirit dragon slaying magic first, it's too cheap to just kiss him like this, so you thought to himself, well, forget it, anyway, 
there will still be opportunities in the future. Under Perona's negative ghost offensive, the dog-legged guard of the Celestial Dragons was quick to confess. They led Fairy Tail to find the woman from a good family who was robbed by Celestial Dragons Charles Ross in the past two days. Don't be afraid, it's gone. Myra comforted with a gentle smile. You. Are you Fairy Tail? A girl asked weakly. Yes, the Fionk of one of you should have entrusted us. Nami said. Fionk. The three kidnapped girls looked at each other. I don't have a Fionk. I do not have either. The two girls said in unison. Feel the sight of everyone. The last girl also shook her head, expressing that she didn't have any fiancé either. Well, Vivi froze. It seems that we should be placed together. Robin looked solemn. What's the meaning? Juvia thumped inwardly. The previous client had a problem. Maybe he was instigated by someone to provoke our conflict with the Celestial Dragons. The ultimate goal should be to completely intensify our relationship with Marine and the government. Robin gave his guess. That is to borrow a knife to kill. Myra understood what Robin meant, and her pretty face turned cold immediately. Admiral. Marine Admiral is coming. CP dot 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 CP zero will come too, if you don't run away quickly. Khalifa murmured absently. Don't be afraid, Khalifa. Nami patted Khalifa on the shoulder carelessly. So what about Marine Admiral? It's just the leader's subordinate. Juvia had nothing to fear. Compared to Marine, I want to know now, who is plotting us secretly? Mirajan was murderous. Well, take your time. With other things, Khalifa seems a little scared. Send her back to the guild to rest first. So you said. At the same time, when word spreads that the Celestial Dragons have been killed, the entire Sabadi Islands are in extreme chaos. Crazy. What a crazy. Fairy tale is a guild of madmen. After all, no normal person would go to trouble with celestial dragons, let alone kill them. Not good. A celestial dragons died in Sabadi. Something terrible is about to happen. Marine Admiral will definitely come. This place will become a battlefield. Little ones, run quickly, the sooner the better. The pirates gathered in Sabadi are all fleeing desperately at this moment, and they fled by boat at the first time. Captain. Shall we not run? Run? Why run? We didn't kill the Celestial Dragons. Cavendish, who looks as handsome as a woman, said indifferently. But, Celestial Dragons are dead. Marine Admiral will come. It is destined to turn upside down, said the crew nervously. Turned upside down? Cavendish frowned. That is to say, killing the Celestial Dragons will occupy the headlines of the news and become the focus of the world's attention. Cavendish's A's lit up, looking eager to try. No, everyone in Junction collapsed and shouted. The chaos continues. This moment, Island Corner. Blue 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 tilde. The phone bug connects. Master do Flamingo, Fairy Tail has killed the Celestial Dragons, and I have completed the mission I was given. The decadent man reported nervously. Foo fur fur. Did you kill it directly? Fairy Tail is even crazier than I imagined. Shikai Bukai do Flamingo laughed heavily. Master do Flamingo, my mission is complete, then my family. Boom. A bullet went through a dark alley. It hit the man's temple precisely. Beat his head to pieces. Only the dead can keep secrets. A sniper hundreds of meters away smiled contemptuously. Next second. Boom. A bullet followed suit and shattered his head. You know too much. Boom. Naval headquarters. Marinford. Beep beep. The ear-piercing siren sounded loudly. Nanny, what are you talking about? Marshal Sengoku's hoarse screams echoed through the headquarters building. Fairy tail killed a celestial dragons in Sabodi Islands. Marshal Sengoku slumped into his chair like a deflated ball. Not long ago, get the news that fairy tail has landed in Sabodi. Marshal Sengoku felt faintly uneasy, with an ominous premonition. He guessed that something might be going on, but I didn't guess it. It happened so fast, and its seriousness far exceeded his expectations. World government celestial dragons have all the privileges in the world. This also includes marine protection. We can even say, the marine was born to protect the celestial dragons. For the various crimes committed by the celestial dragons, marine is not only unable to stop and sanction, but also to cover and protect, in case of a trolley problem like problem, like one celestial dragons and a million civilians, both sides must have one party to die, they would also not hesitate to choose the option of celestial dragons surviving, celestial dragons is like this for marine, at the moment, the worst has happened, one celestial dragons killed, the person who did it was the head of fairy tale, this time, Marshal Sengoku has been working on maintaining his relationship with fairy tale, the 10 billion bounty exchange not long ago was enough to ease the relationship between the two parties and enter a relative honeymoon period. However, all of this was ruined by today's events. Marine and Fairy Tail, who slew the Celestial Dragons, are doomed. Blue 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 tilde. The phone bug kept ringing. You don't need to pick Sengoku to know. It was the government and the Celestial Dragons family who put pressure on Tantu to surrender. Is there any other way? Is there any way to ease it? There is no way. Marshal Sengoku leaned back in his chair like a salted fish. Marshal Sengoku, the five elders have issued an order for Admiral to attack. Please make a decision as soon as possible. The green-haired Commodore Brandon reported anxiously. Who else is in the headquarters now? Sengoku asked. Yes. Kizan Admiral went on vacation with Vice Admiral Garp a few days ago. Mr. Seikazuki is still in New World, 
and now there is only Kizaru Admiral in the headquarters. Quickly, the only Admiral in the headquarters came to the Marshal's office. Mr. Sengoku. Don't worry, I have Kizan's life card, I will bring him back immediately. Admiral Kizaru assured with righteous words. I let you go. Marshal Sengoku said, Admiral Kizaru, I just want to work 9 to 5 and check in silently. Going to fight fairy tale? Isn't it fatal? It's not like he didn't know what happened to Kizan last time. Borusalino. I can only rely on you this time. Marshal Sengoku entrusted him with a heavy responsibility. That. Please give me a little time, Mr. Sengoku. My stomach hurts from eating at noon, and I'm going to have diarrhea. Admiral Kizaru clutched his stomach and said. 4.4 Field Marshal Sengoku has twitching veins on his forehead. What a lazy donkey. It takes so much effort to ask you to do something. That's it, Marshal Sengoku. I'm going to pull it first. Admiral Kizaru elemental escape. Half an hour later, Baru Salino. You've fallen into the latrine. Marshal Sengoku snarled and roared. Immediately, immediately, Admiral Kizaru said. Another half hour. Mr. Kizaru, Saint Ross World of Celestial Dragon said that if you don't come out, he will come in. A Marine Colonel reported. Wow Tilda. The sound of flushing water sounded. Yeah, yeah, here we come. Chaotic Sabadi Islands. Fairy tale is in flight mode. President. Everyone. Urza and Wendy flew into the sky one after the other and landed on the deck. What the hell happened? I heard people on the street say that the president killed the celestial dragons. Urza asked, is there such a thing, or is it about the client this morning? Mirajan immediately told the whole story. I see. Urza nodded knowingly. There was no panic on his face. So are we leaving? Bonnie and Arushia should be in the food street. Not this direction. Urza said. No. Juvia shook her head. The president said that he took us to find someone, and she might help us find out who is behind this incident. Nami said. Who? Wendy asked. Arrive. Suyu looked ahead and smiled slightly. Say Buddy Islands. 13th Red Tree. Shaki's ripoff bar. Here it comes. Chapter 97 Rayleigh really is shocked again and again. Suyu's prison meal? Question mark subscribe. Say Buddy Islands. 13th Red Tree. A lonely small bar stands on a lonely hill. This is a must visit holy place for time travelers. Shaki's ripped off bar. The wind is very noisy today. Shaki, is there something wrong on the island? At the bar booth, Pluton Rayleigh, the hidden boss dressed in floral shorts and slippers, frowned. Even in a remote bar, he could still feel the restlessness of the island. Oh, it's a matter of course, after all. Fairy tale is here. Shaki smiled slightly. Huh? Fairy tale is here. It seems that it's time for old Dakota. Rayleigh smiled slightly. Guess based on Shaki's analysis. When fairy tale came to say buddy. That's when they decided to set off for the new world. There are two ways to go to new world. One is to take the road controlled by the government and abandon ships. The second is to coat the boat and go to the deep sea of 10,000 meters to the Fishman Island. Let's put the coating aside for now. Shaki shook his head. What's wrong? Rayleigh froze for a moment. It can only be said that it is fairy tale. Their style of acting is too free. Shaki was amazed. Is fairy tale messing up again? Rayleigh took a sip of his drink. Hey, just now, they killed a celestial dragons in the street. Shaki said. Rayleigh spewed out all the liquor he had just swallowed. Rao is Rayleigh as the great pirate in Legendary. At this moment, he couldn't help being stunned by this news. For a long time, Rayleigh took a sip of his drink and suppressed his shock. Just when he was about to say something, man's face changed slightly. The mighty observation Haki alerts him that something terrifying is approaching. They're coming. Shaki's ripoff bar? What a weird name. On the fairy tale, looking at the small bar on the hill not far away, Vivi tilted her head in confusion. Ha ha ha. It's a fool to go to drink. After all the tricks are hung on the signboard, Nami laughed. Next second, she just saw Suyu piloting the fairy tale. Landing straight towards the ripoff bar. 28. Nami, the idiot was myself. This store is not simple, it has the breath of a strong man. Urza looked serious. Squeak Tilda. The bar door opens. The charming bar proprietress and the old man with white hair and slippers appeared in the sight of the fairy tale girls. For those of you who don't know about fairy tale, please forgive me for being disappointed. Shaki smiled slightly. Miss Shaki, you are welcome. Thanks to you for providing accurate information last time. Suyu responded with a smile. President, are you acquainted with this proprietress? Wendy said in surprise. We got the detailed information about the Hundred Regiments Alliance from Morgans, but he is just an intermediary, and the one who really provided the information should be Miss Truth. Robin explained, as Fairy Tales Minister of Intelligence. Robin naturally knew more than the others. I just happened to have some information on hand, and it's all easy. Shaki said, Shaki. Let's sit in the bar and talk slowly, Rayleigh reminded. Yes, 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 I was careless, President Suyu and everyone from Fairy Tale, please come in, I have prepared some beer for everyone. Shaki made a gesture of please. Suyu was not polite, and when he entered the store, Alusa and the others followed closely behind. Alcoholic beverages and all kinds of exquisite snacks are piled up on the table. Suyu snapped his fingers lightly. Robin got up and handed a box to Shaki. Open it and there are 100 million baileys stacked inside. This is a small reward for the previous information, 
not a respect. So you said, reciprocity. Shaki provides vital intel. Of course, he has to pay back. Only in this way can we continue to cooperate. This is really too generous a reward. To be honest, I really dare not accept it. Shaki pushed the cash box back slightly. This is your due. So you persisted. And this time I'm here, and I have something else I want Miss Shaki to check for me. Oh? What's the matter? Shaki looked a little more serious. For fairy tale to grow, you have to be 100% focused. Actually this morning, we, Robin will describe exactly what happened since landing on the islands of Sebadi. How dare you plot against fairy tale and the world government at the same time. This is truly audacious. Most people don't have the guts, Shaki said with emotion. I see, leave the investigation of this matter to me, and I will definitely give an answer as soon as possible. Then trouble Miss Shaki. Suyu nodded. Speaking of which, President Suyu, you're going to Sebadi. You probably want to go to New World, Shaki said. Hey, I have this plan, Suyu said. Then, leave the coating of the boat to Lal here. He is the best coating craftsman in the islands of Sebadi. Shaki introduced. That's unnecessary. Suyu declined. Um, really raised an eyebrow. Why, you can't trust the old man. No no no. Suyu smiled and shook his head. Of course I can trust the craftsmanship of the former vice captain of One Piece, but it's simply not necessary. Nami, Vivi, Perona, Marion, sure enough. I said it looks a bit familiar. Robin nodded. One Piece's deputy captain? Who is that? Wendy was puzzled. A pair of white silk feet were dangling. One Piece? So this old man is a partner with Crocus from Cape Twins? Juvia reacted. Do you know Crocus? Rayleigh reacted. The identity was revealed by Suyu, although he was a little shocked. But it won't be too shocking. Hey, Mr. Crocus and Laboon commissioned us to help find the Rumba Pirates. Mirajan said. Rumba Pirates? Haven't Crocus and Laboon given up yet? Rayleigh shook his head. A look of reminiscence on his face. Then, Crocus boarded the ship as the ship's doctor. One of the purposes is to follow them to sea to find the Rumba Pirates. The result is nothing. Even the Roger Pirates who conquered the Grand Line failed to find any trace of the Rumba Pirates. The Rumba Pirates that Laboon has been waiting for must have died in the Grand Line long ago. Rayleigh sighed. No, we have helped Laboon find the survivors of the Rumba Pirates, said Juvia. Alas, alas. Rao was as calm as Rayleigh and he couldn't help being stunned at this moment. Even more shocking than hearing that fairy tale killed celestial dragons in the street. Lun 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 dot 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 the Rumba Pirates, did you really find it? Rayleigh couldn't even speak well. That's right. Fifty years ago, the Rumba Pirates were wiped out in the Devil's Triangle, but there was another member. He was a person with the ability of the fruit of the underworld. He had a second life. He has survived until now. He was killed not long ago. We met and are now at Twin Point. Robin spoke concisely. That's it. This is really great. Ha 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 ha. Rayleigh couldn't help laughing happily, and drank the wine in the glass in one gulp. First, the hundreds of years of grievances between the Golden Town of Sandia and Sky Island, and then the fifty-year agreement between Laboon and the Rumba Pirates. Fairy tale, you are simply a miracle creation. Ah, Rayleigh said. That's why I keep saying, I like this guild very much. Shaki smiled. No no no. How can we be so powerful? Praise me so much. You will be ashamed. Vivi, Wendy and other little girls said shyly. It's you, uncle. Are you really the right hand of One Piece, the big pirate Pluton really in Legendary? Nami asked in surprise. Still can't believe it. To be able to meet the characters in Legendary in such a small bar. Why, doesn't it look like it? Rayleigh really asked back. If he is the vice captain of One Piece, he must be very strong. I wonder if I can give you some pointers. Urza was full of enthusiasm and fighting spirit. Let's forget it, the so-called Legendary is in the past tense. It's just an old bone now. Rayleigh really waved his hand. Elusa-chan, if you want to talk to old Ray Kyrie, next time. You should go. Shaki looked at the clock on the wall. The death of the world nobleman, celestial dragons, is no small matter. The world government will never let it go. I'm afraid Admiral will arrive soon. Now, there is still time to leave. Leave? There's no rush. We still have things to do. So you said. What's the matter? If you want to wait for the truth about the client's investigation, I will notify Chairman Suyu as soon as I have news. Shaki said. No no. Suyu waved his hand. Actually, we're planning a trip to say Buddy Land Park. Rayleigh. Shaki. What time is this? Kill the celestial dragons and bring in the marine admiral. Are you still in the mood to go to Sebadi Park at this moment? This heart is really big. But, they are fairy tale. Even admiral may be helpless. Think here. Rayleigh and Shaki felt a little more relieved. Then, I'll leave the investigation to Miss Shaki, and we're going to Sebadi Park. So you got up, boarded the boat with the girls, and set sail, aiming at Sebadi Park. It seems that something big is going to happen today. Shaki sighed. Just in case. I'll follow and have a look. Rayleigh leaves. About ten minutes later, the fairy tale came to the number 30 red tree area. President, everyone. At the gate of Sebadi's park, Arushi awaited early with the eight-year-old Liliboni. Fairy tale landed slowly. Everyone, everyone, I am so lucky today. I don't know why, but there is no one in the amusement park. We can play to our heart's content without queuing up. Liliboni excited. Road. Ah, 
This is probably because the president killed the celestial dragons. Nami et al reacted. This is also a matter of course. The death of a celestial dragons is a serious matter. Now the pirates on this island are fleeing frantically. All major stores are closed. The residents also went back to their homes. Say Buddy Park is the busiest place on weekdays. Naturally, the park is empty, and it can even be said to be closed. So that's the case. No matter what happened, it's just luck. Laurie Bonnie doesn't care. Bonnie, why are you like this again? Sue you asked with a smile. Feel Sue's gaze. Bonnie quickly covered his little ass. This, it's because of that dot 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 look over there. Children under 1.2 meters are half priced. Don't I want to save some money for you? The president Bonnie said righteously. There is such a good thing. Nami's eyes lit up. As the saying goes, save what you save, spend what you spend. When Nami was ready to let Bonnie do it for himself, he turned on the half price mode. He even planned to get everyone together. So you stroked his chin. Some images came to mind. Little Elsa, little Myra, little Nami, little Robin, little Vivi, little Wen. Wendy was originally small. This is definitely the rhythm determined by the prisoner. Although I also think it's very fun. But we don't seem to have prepared children's clothes. Mirajan asks a crucial question. Nami thought about it, and it really is. So it was decided to postpone the plan. Let's have a good time in normal mode today. After obtaining the consent of the principal, Suyu and his party started the private mode. Roller coasters, bumper cars, pirate ships. Various projects come in turn. Round down. No, 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 I can't. Me too. Wendy and Perona put their hands on the ground together, only to feel their head spinning and the river was overwhelmed. What's wrong with this? Although it's the first time, how could I get a roller coaster? Perona was puzzled. Is it because of the means of transportation? But when I was in the guild, I was always fine. Wendy was also suspicious. Listen to what Wendy said. So you finally remembered one thing. The biggest weakness of the dragon slayers in fairy tale world. When the dragon slaying magic is strong to a certain extent, it will faint the vehicle. Only, so you has already driven to the dragon king mode. Dragon slayer magic can be called the pinnacle. But so far, he has never fainted once, not just in the guild, but on other ships as well. All so you can think of is the power of the system. The dragon slaying magic given by the system erase this side effect. Wendy and Perona will rest for a while. Let's start the second round. Uh, as I said, oh, everyone should drink in unison. The thrilling second round of the roller coaster begins. However, just as the roller coaster reaches its drop speed, without warning, Kaka, the track that has been stable for more than 10 years makes an overwhelmed clicking sound. Immediately afterwards, the screws flew out one by one. The entire kneeling body suddenly deformed, and then collapsed. President, everyone, Wendy and Perona screamed in unison. We're fine. In the flying smoke and dust, the roller coaster train floats under the force of gravity. Finally coming, Urza's armor was attached to her body, and the corner of her mouth raised a curve. Come out, Kizaru. So you spoke calmly. Oh, oh, this is really scary. With a flash of golden light, Admiral Kizaru pouted and said lewdly. Chapter 98 Thunder Flame Dragon Mode. So Yuff's 3 Admiral. Question mark subscribe. Rumble. The entire giant roller coaster track collapsed. Under the action of inertia, the roller coaster flies out like an arrow. Then it slowly decelerates under the action of gravity, and finally floats in midair. A dazzling golden light flashed, and a wretched old man in a yellow and white striped suit appeared in the sight of Suyu and his party. Admiral Kizaru, here we come. Admiral Kizaru, are you the only one here? I'm really underestimated. Suyu stood at the head of the roller coaster, and spoke calmly. If it's not impossible. The old man doesn't want to come. Admiral Kizaru muttered something under his breath. Um, no, nothing. Admiral Kizaru waved his hand. Although Kizan and Seikazuki didn't come, you won't be too disappointed this time. After all, killing celestial dragons in the street is unprecedented. Five elders also paid great attention to it. Oh, this is really exciting. So you smiled slightly. From the words of Admiral Kizaru, he got a few pieces of information. Among Marine's three admirals, only Kizaru came. But the world government five elders sent extra forces for this event. Looking at Admiral Kizaru like this, I am afraid that his strength will not be much weaker than Admiral. This is the hidden undertones of world government. This is also a matter of course. As a behemoth that has ruled the world for 800 years. Naturally, the world government will not only train Marine as a thug. In addition to the Marine on the surface, there must be other secret forces hidden. For example, the mysterious CP, or other unknown existences. Fairy tale wants to move freely in the sea. World government is a wall they must cross. Take this opportunity. So you also wanted to get a feel for the bottom of the world government. The effort between speaking. The sound of chaotic footsteps resounded. Fairy tale. A sharp roar full of resentment and anger sounded. Celestial dragons Ross Wild wearing a bubble hood looks like a ghost. It's you dot 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 is it you? The guy who killed my beloved son Char Ross. There is no forgiveness. You will never be spared. I will kill you dot 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 no. Not let you all died too happily. I will make you all slaves. Life is worse than death. Celestial dragons Ross Wild pulled his throat and let out a hoarse roar. For his dog barks. Everyone in fairy tale remained unmoved. Oh, you dare to come here in person. 
It seems that you are really confident, so you grinned. The fingers of the right hand tapped down gently, click. There was a thunderbolt in the clear sky. Brilliant gold thunder fell from the sky and fell back to Celestial Dragon's Roswald. Admiral Kizaru remained motionless as if he had never heard of it. Next second, roar. The aura of a ferocious beast from ancient times suddenly exploded. The clothes of a masked man in a white robe standing behind Celestial Dragon's Roswald were torn suddenly. The whole person suddenly swelled against the wind, and a huge head soared into the sky. It was the head of a boa constrictor, but it was much bigger than the common boa constrictor. It was like a titanic python from ancient times, opening its mouth wide here, devouring the thunder and lightning that fell from the sky. Kai Kai, terrifying electric arcs jumped on the titano boa. In the end, all of them were submerged into that huge body. Back to you. Zone Snake Snake Fruit The ancient Titan Python form ability uses snake eyes flashed. He opened his snake mouth wide, and a thick laser beam shot towards the roller coaster suddenly, facing the Titan Oboa's counterattack. Suyu remained unmoved, with a flick of a finger, a strand of black lightning arc shot out. Boom. Rumble. Bright fireworks exploded in the sky. Both the black lightning arc and the laser beam annihilated. Aside, Admiral Kizaru thumped inwardly. An extremely solemn look appeared on the old face. During Admiral Okiji's hospitalization, Kizaru, who is also Admiral, also visited. From Okiji, Kizaru learned that Suyu possessed a terrifying black mine. Even the elementalization of Logia ability users cannot completely escape from the black calendar. At the time Admiral Kizaru only thought that Okiji was exaggerating, with his ability of shining fruit. Not to mention other things, it is not a matter of every minute to dodge it. However, after actually seeing it, Admiral Kizaru knew that Okiji was not exaggerating. This tyrannical black red thunder is extremely dangerous. Suyu, the president of Fairy Tail, you have repeatedly provoked the world government. Today, under the order of the five elders, I will kill all of you without leaving any of you. The ancient titanic python with a body length of more than 100 meters stopped drinking coldly. It's a big breath, and I'm not afraid that the wind will flash my tongue. Nami sneered. Change armor of purgatory. Ayaza doesn't talk nonsense. Just put on the powerful armor of purgatory. Wanting to break the mouth of the titanic python. Wait, Ayaza, you've worked hard enough this time, leave it to me this time. So you smiled, between waving hands. The roller coaster moves slowly. Bring Ayaza and others to join Wendy and Perona on the ground. You actually want to fight two against one, are you underestimating me? The ancient titanic python shouted angrily. He has seen through Suyu's intentions. He wanted to fight against him and Admiral Kizaru alone. Is there anything worthy of my admiration for you? Suyu asked calmly. A snake is a snake, no matter how big it becomes, it will still be a snake after all, and will not become a dragon. Ah! The ancient titanic python opened its eyes angrily. As a monster selected and raised by the world government, no one had ever dared to underestimate him like this. Go to hell! The titanic python opened its mouth wide and pressed down on Suyu. Although it is easier to penetrate the enemy from the inside, but being swallowed by a snake is somewhat shocking. In addition, a mere snake has no need for any weak points at all. So you stretched out his left hand, and the lightning dragon claws swelled against the wind. Like grabbing a chick, the seven inches of the titanic python are stuck, making it impossible to advance an inch. Don't think it's over. The titan oboa's tail slammed on the ground. The huge figure soared into the air. Then his snake body changed unexpectedly. The thick snake tail rushed out of a chain and bound Suyu round and round. Now, Kizaru, he's trapped in my sea stone chains. Beat him to a sieve. The titanic python yelled triumphantly, heard the words, Admiral Kizaru no longer paddles, eight-foot Kai and Guru, with both hands interlaced, countless laser spots mercilessly shot towards Suyu, facing Admiral Kizaru's result, Suyu remained unhurried, just Commons raised right hand, one after another, tiny lightning balls floated out from his palm, collided with Admiral Kizaru's laser, and finally both were annihilated, Nanny, how is this possible? The ancient titanic python let out an unbelievable scream, never believe what you see before your eyes. He obviously had trapped Suyu with sea stone chains. Why can this man continue to use the lightning ability? This is impossible. It should be that no one with any ability can resist the curse of sea stone. He also relied on transforming the special body of a person, coupled with Vegapunk technology, to connect the chain mixed with sea stone with the body. Even so, he still didn't let sea stone directly touch his flesh and blood. Who told you that sea stone would work for me? Suyu sneered. Kaka, boom. It was just a broken chain with a little sea stone mixed in. Suyu clenched his left hand suddenly. The lightning dragon claw pierced through the steel-like snake scale defense of the titanic python. Ah, ah, ah. Accompanied by the scream of the titanic python, Suyu raised his left hand and let it fall towards the ground. Boom. Rumble. The gigantic snake head of the titan Aboa fell to the ground like an onion. Too weak. Those five old men from the world government shouldn't think that this kind of rubbish can beat me. Suyu's gaze fell on another figure behind Celestial Dragon's Roswald. Wow. Go. You all go to me. No matter what method you use, take down that bastard for me and there will be a lot of rewards. If you can't take it down, you all go to die. Celestial Dragon's Roswald yelled again and again in horror. Finally, behind Roswald, 
Another masked man in a white robe was no longer silent, and slowly walked out to the front of the stage. Scoff, the white robe on his body was torn apart. Click. The mask on his face shattered. Crash. A pair of wings spread out from behind it. It doesn't take a moment. A half-human, half-snake creature with wings on its back appeared in people's sight. What monster creature is that? Vivi frowned anxiously. It should be some kind of ability. Mirajan said. I have seen similar biological records in an ancient document. Robin spoke solemnly. The ancient ancestors regarded it as a sacrifice to the gods, Kukulkan, which means the Feathered Serpent God. Feathered Serpent God? Is it the ability user of the Zone Phantom Beast? The Zone Snake Fruit is in the form of the Phantom Beast Feathered Serpent. Bonnie's eyes widened. No matter what the gods are, anyway, the President will never lose, Juvia said confidently. That's right. No matter what god it is, it's nothing more than demon fruit power, and it's not enough to look at in front of the President. Nami also has no doubts. Brother, you don't need to take action. This guy is me alone. The ancient titan boa constrictor turned into a titan snakeman, put his hands on the ground, and pulled his head out of the ground. Shut up, it's too ugly. The feathered snake shouted angrily, and immediately locked his eyes on Su Minutes who was in midair. Fairy tale 5 Emperor Suyu, you are entitled to see this gesture of mine. He he. The corner of Suyu's mouth curled up. There is a golden thunder jumping in his left hand. The right hand was ignited with a raging flame. Zone Phantom Beast Feathered Serpent? Although I don't know the specific ability of the person coming. But Suyu just treat him as a feathered serpent. Like the sun god Nika of the Straw Hat Boys, they both have a god character. Then Suyu should be a little more serious. Kai Kai. The golden thunder starts from Suyu's left hand and extends to the whole body. At the same time, raging, fiery flames run along Suyu's right hand, all the way up. Finally, thunder and flame touched each other, collided and then blended. It was like turning into thunder and fire armor, covering Suyu's body. Lian Long mode, burst. At the same time, say Buddy Park near the pirate ship. These women can't be let go, I'll catch them all. Ross Wilde, the lifeless celestial dragons, followed the fairy tale girls with a group of guards. Without waiting for Urza to make a move. Wait, Urza, leave these miscellaneous fish to us. Nami, Perona, Wendy and others heard it. Leave it to us over there. Robin, Arushia, Marianne, and Bonnie looked the other way. Say Buddy's marine base and sailors from naval headquarters are gathering. See, Urza shook her head helplessly. Teammates are too strong is also a kind of trouble. Just like now, there is no chance for her to make a move. Be careful, Urza, the enemy may still be hiding. Myra said seriously. Okay, I know. Urza nodded slightly. Always pay attention to the battle situation on both sides. Not surprisingly, whether it's against celestial dragons guards, or against marine troops, the fairy tale girls all have an absolute advantage and the situation is almost one-sided. Even a strong person at the Vice Admiral level is no match for powerful magic. Just when Urshaw felt a little relieved and thought that the overall situation was settled, sudden, of money, sudden changes occurred on the battlefield. Rumble, accompanied by a violent roar, the bright sword light swept across the battlefield, leaving a long and narrow cutting mark on the ground. Almost coincidentally, all eyes were on the mountain not far away. Mr. Rayleigh, the fairy tale girls widened their eyes in surprise. Rayleigh, Pluton Rayleigh, make no mistake. That's the great pirate from Legendary. Once the right hand of One Piece, Pluton Rayleigh. Why? Why does this kind of Legendary level pirate appear here? Everyone in Marine, who recognized Rayleigh's identity, couldn't help shouting. Mr. Rayleigh, what are you doing? You almost hit when now earlier. Nami shook his fist angrily. Sorry sorry. Rayleigh apologized. Immediately, the edge of the sword in his hand pointed to an empty place. But if I didn't stop it earlier, the mouse hiding in the dark would probably attack little Wendy. What? Myra and the others couldn't help being taken aback. Turning his head suddenly, he followed Rayleigh's line of sight. However, nothing? Vivi doesn't understand. No. No, someone's there. Urza stopped drinking. Whoosh. The magic flying sword rushes out of the way, slash to the place where there is nothing. However, there was no warning, and it fell to the side. Kai Kai, like the snowflake screen of an old TV set. A vague figure appeared from the empty place. Pluton Rayleigh? A name I've never heard of before. Is it a new era kid? There are some means to discover the existence of the old man. An old voice with a decadent aura resounded faintly. The fourth admiral class, appearing. Chapter 99, Urza is in hook mode. So you cut three admirals in a row. Question mark subscribe. Boom. Rumble. Say buddy islands. Number 30 red tree. Say buddy land park. The sky is full of flashes. The giant python raised its head and roared. There is also the feathered serpent Hong Kong in the ancient legendary. An unprecedentedly fierce battle broke out. The aftermath of the impact made the entire Sebadi land tremble. In the melee of admiral level powerhouses, the entire mangrove tree number 30 was devastated. The huge Sebadi park has been raised to the ground. Even the huge Alkmine tree collapsed. The scope of the hazards of the battle is still expanding. Titan clash. The titanic python snarled. The figure is hovering like a spring and the head is held high. His tail slammed on the ground, causing the world to split open at the same time. The huge snake body shot out like a javelin, 
heading towards Su Yu who was in midair. Lian Long's iron strike, Su Yu punched, neither dodging nor evading. The fist entwined with thunder and flame hit the head of the titan Oboa, Kaka, under the fist of Su Yu in Lian Long mode. Rough skin, thick flesh, and scales comparable to steel. The titanic python broke through its defenses. The scales on his head exploded without being able to last even a moment under the force of thunder and fire. The skull also made an overwhelmed cracking sound and it was already shattered. Get out, Su Yu said lightly. Next second, boom. The aggressive titan Oboa was shot down. The huge head fell into the mangrove land again. Rumble. The terrifying force of the impact tore apart the number 28 mangrove area. This is really scary. With a flash, Admiral Kizaru came up to Su Yu. When he raised his hand, a bright lightsaber was generated out of thin air. Amazon cloud sword. Admiral Kizaru slashed down with his sword. Su Yu raised his right hand. Thunder and flames gushed out, turned into a thunder and fire square sky halberd. The lights are in thunder fire fang tan halberd. The two sharp blades made of elements kept colliding, and the sound of metal and iron clashing continued. Whoosh, symmetry. There was a sharp sound of breaking wind. That's the phantom beast feathered serpent in action, spreading its wings. It brought up a terrifying tornadoes, raging in all directions. What is more terrifying than the tornado natural disaster is his wings themselves. His pitch black wings are like two invincible heavenly knives. Wherever it passed. The atmosphere made a tearing sound, being cut like paper. Even the space seems to be cut open by his wings, which shows its sharpness. Suya was not careless. The moment when Thunder Fire Fang Tanji knocked back Admiral Kizaru, backhand swung Fang Tan Halberd, slashed towards Huan Beast UB2. Snort, Feathered Snake Man sneered. The wings strike like a heavenly knife. Click. Suya's Thunder Fire Fang Shin Halberd snapped. Even the Thunder Fire armor on his body was torn apart by the sharp breath. My wings are the strongest weapons in the world. Not even the strongest black knife of Mihook. The phantom beast feathered serpent grinned confidently. Hey, then I really want to know who is stronger between your wings and Hawkeye's black sword knight. Keep your wings, and when I see Hawkeye in the future, I will help you compare. So you grinned. Caught death. The phantom beast feathered serpent's expression turned cold. Wings made with advanced weapons spread out. At the same time, the fists are also wrapped with powerful arm colors. Engaged in fierce hand-to-hand -hand combat with Suyu, the sky continued to explode under the confrontation of their power. The Archiman mangroves fell one by one, being valued by the five elders and sent to deal with Suyu. The phantom beast feathered serpent really has something. Not only him, as Celestial Dragon's Ross Wild's last hole card, the fourth admiral level powerhouse who always follows him, also has something. Skywheel, dazzling sword, in the form of the armor of the Skywheel, Ayaza waved her hand. Dozens of hundreds of magic flying swords shot towards the blurred figure. However, without exception, all of them went astray. Passing by the invisible figure, change, Kuroba's armor, swish, Urza's figure flickered. In an instant, he bullied himself and came to that person. The sword entwined with Haki and magic power slashed down. The result still fails. The powerful sword energy left a long and narrow trace on the ground. Armor of Purgatory. Urza changed form again. The sort of sword smashed down with the power to cut everything. Boom, rumble. The red Treland was torn apart by Urza's blow. However, it was still unable to cause the slightest damage to that blurred figure. How is it possible? What is going on with this guy? Nami's eyes widened, with extreme shock and disbelief written all over his face. Why is Miss Urza's attack completely ineffective against him? Vivi is also full of disbelief. As the second in command of the guild, Urza's strength is obvious to all. Even the Marine Admiral candidate is no match for her at all. However, a loser's attack cannot be ineffective. Unless he is not human. Myra looked serious. A ghost without a body? Nami reacted. It wasn't just Urza's attack that was ineffective. So far, they have not been able to see each other's appearance clearly. What always catches the eye is a vague figure. If it's a ghost, leave it to me. Perona, who has double buffs of ghost fruit and spirit dragon slayer magic, is ready to make a move. No, leave this guy to me. I probably have figured out his ability. Urza spoke calmly but firmly. What ability? Nami and others hurriedly asked. Distortion. Urza answered firmly. So far. All the attacks I have launched, whether it is a flying sword or a direct slash, have been distorted by his ability, and even we can't see his figure clearly. It's also the result of him distorting the light. Have you been found? The old voice reappeared. The blurry figure like a mosaic gradually solidifies. A crooked, old figure with almost half a foot in the coffin appeared in everyone's sight. That's right. Lozi is a twisted person who ate the twisted fruit and can twist everything in the world. The twisted old man raised his withered arm, facing the void. Turn lightly. Next second, the atmosphere twisted under his hands, and spread rapidly. Charge towards Urza and the others. Change clothes armor of Vajra. Urza switched to the strongest defensive armor. The big shields of both hands were suddenly closed. Boom. There was a dull crash. The power of the twisted old man clashed violently with Urza's Vajra armor. It was able to block the strength of the old man. So how about this move? 
The twisted old man sneered, turn your hands in opposite directions, spiral of pain, it is so powerful that even the space is distorted by a burst of spiral power, under this terrible force, even Urza's diamond armor couldn't completely resist it, kaka, boom, Urza's Vajra armor exploded under the extreme spiral force, even the main body was severely traumatized, Eluza, Miss Urza, Myra and Nami couldn't help shouting nervously, let's leave it to the old man, Pluton Rayleigh jumped up and came to the twisted old man, Pluton Rayleigh, what resounding name, maybe you are a leader in the new era, but no matter who you are, you are the same in front of the old man, everything in the world will be distorted by the power of the old man, your attacks are completely different, can't even touch it, distort the old man's confident way, I really want to try this, Rayleigh smiled slightly, Kai Kai, Black Red's conqueror's lightning coiled around his sword, observed for so long, as for the ability to distort the old man, Rayleigh has also basically controlled it, really, Beneath that exaggerated twist, neither physical attacks nor elemental attacks work, and cannot touch his body. But, if it is advanced armed or even conquerors winding, it will definitely work. Invincibility does not exist in this world. In this sea, Haki is everything. For Urza who has not yet mastered advanced weapons, this is an almost invincible opponent. That's why Rayleigh finally stepped in. Only, more than Rayleigh expected. Wait, old man, please give this guy to me to kill no matter what. Urza spoke firmly. She took a deep breath. The broken armor on his body was removed. What emerged was not any gorgeous armor. It is a simpler outfit than the usual common armor. Crimson, Sidf, long hair tied up. The lower body is a pair of red trousers. The upper body is just a piece of white wrapping cloth. This is the strongest open mode of Urza, the clothes of pure heart. No matter what powerful enemy it is, it cannot match the current Taisha. The titles of Aaxian and Aayida also come from this. Why doesn't Urza put on the armor? It will be bad if you get hit like this. Nami was secretly anxious. No problem. That's fine. Mirajan nodded calmly. Having full confidence in Urza. Ilashor, are you sure? This guy's strength is undoubtedly admirable. Maybe the body is not strong, but the degree of development of Devil Fruit's ability is extremely high. Common's attack can't penetrate his twisted barrier at all. Rayleigh said gravely. It doesn't matter. The next knife. I will cut it off with that twist. Urza spoke firmly. Oh well. Rayleigh stepped aside and said no more. What a bragging yellow-haired girl. She can't even hold a sword with both hands. The twisted old man sneered. Urza didn't speak. Sora's trembling is not because her hands are hurt. It's because she poured all the magic power into the demon knife. Then come on. The old man will let you recognize the cruel reality. After that, even if you know that you are futile, it is useless. The next spiral of pain will tear your body apart. The twisted old man grinned cruelly. Swish. The next moment, Urza's figure suddenly disappeared from the spot. Reappearance is already in front of the twisted old man. Sora who poured all her mana into it, slashed at the twisting barrier. This time, it was not distorted to other places like before. Demon Sword Red Sura clashed violently with the twisted barrier. How can it be? Under the horrified eyes of the twisted old man, the twisting force field he arranged around his body was invaded and split by Urza's Demon Sword Red Sura. No dot 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 it's not. The twisted old man looked horrified. Quickly want to further strengthen. However, it is useless. Drink. Urza shouted loudly. The belief that poured all the magic power cut through the power to distort everything. Urza and the twisted old man passed each other. Laugh. Blood rushed up. The victory and defeat have been divided. A world government admiral level powerhouse was beheaded. A loser, queen of fairies, lives up to her reputation. Rayleigh sighed and nodded. TCH. What a useless old man. The phantom beast feathered serpent looked ugly. What a secret weapon from a hundred years ago. I still have to rely on me to save the situation. Is it over with Urza? Then I'm about to get serious. So you stretched himself. Nanny, stop bluffing. The phantom beast feathered serpent opened its round eyes angrily, and scolded sharply. So you didn't speak. Open your mouth and take a breath. All the lightning and flames sank into his mouth. Lian Long's roar, boom, rumble. Ultimate's berserk thunder and fire roared out attacking the Udman feathered serpent with devastating power. At this time, the giant python that had been lying dead on the ground for a long time suddenly stood upright. Ha ha ha, now is what you've been waiting for. The titanic snake's fierce voice opened. Expose, expose the core-like things underneath. Crazy absorption and transformation of the power of thunder and fire. The titanoboa is an existence similar to Plague Quinn, the third in command of the beasts. It is not only a person with ancient abilities, but also a person who transforms and compared to Quinn's self for a form. He is much more perfect from the hand of genius scientist Vegapunk in his transformed body. He even refers to the technology 800 years ago, such as the large robot that climbed the Red Ten continent with bare hands hundreds of years ago. At this moment, the core displayed by the Titanic Python can be transformed into its own power by absorbing the elemental energy from the outside world. It is precisely because of the power of absorption and transformation, five elders will include him in the lineup against Suyu. I feel it, a steady stream of power, this is the momentum, I... 
The titanic serpent's proud expression came to an abrupt end. It was replaced by extreme shock and horror. No, that's not the case. Why can't I transform dot 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 power dot 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 power overflow dot 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 uh. The power of Liang Long's roar pierced through the energy core of the titan oboa. Then it further penetrated his body and penetrated the entire sky. Boom. The titanic python exploded with a bang. How can it be? The phantom beast feathered serpent who witnessed this scene with his own eyes couldn't help but fell into extreme shock and lost his mind. What are you looking around for? In the blink of an eye, so you came to the phantom beast feathered serpent. The raging thunder and raging flames swirled and blended turning into a terrifying storm of thunder and fire. Lightning Dragon Mo Dragon Slayer Mystery Red Lotus Exploding Thunder Blade Crash The strongest mystery of Liang Long Mode exploded, thunder and flame. The two most violent forces in the world raged wildly. Admiral Kizaru's eyelids twitched wildly. He raised the Tan Kung Yun sword several times in his hand, and put it down again. In the end, I chose to paddle quietly. Ah, ah, ah. In the face of this power that can even hunt dragons, even the zone phantom beasts couldn't resist, and fell blackened while screaming. You should be the only one left, far away. Su so suddenly turned his head, and his sharp eyes fixed on Admiral Kizaru. Previously, because of fear of the world government, there was still a backup. So Su as always had reservations and didn't go all out. Now, the fourth Admiral level combat power was beheaded by Urza. We also have Pluton really on our side. Naturally, Su so didn't need to keep it anymore. Kai Kai. The blazing flames and golden thunder receded. In its place came Black Red's thunder, thunder dragon king mode. Open. Quick fight. Kizaru, so you said lightly. Have you ever been kicked by the speed of light? Admiral Kizaru was uncharacteristically. Instead of being cowardly, he raised his right leg provocatively and launched a proud light speed kick at Suyu. Ah, Suyu chuckled, Thunder Dragon King's bending fist exploded mercilessly. Click, Admiral Kizaru's leg bones broke with a loud sound of being overwhelmed. Next second, there was only a loud whoosh and bang. Admiral Kizaru's figure flew backwards like a shooting star. In a blink of an eye, it will disappear into the sky disappearing without a trace. Su, Chapter 100 Summoning the Black Dragon King Kill the Celestial Dragons again. Shake the world. Question mark subscribe. Light speed kick. Thunder Dragon King's collapsing fist. The bright golden light is more dazzling than the sun. The black and red thunder pierced through the entire sky. Say buddy islands all over the place. Countless people looked up at the sky. Look at the black thunder that split the sky. Hearts are involuntarily filled with extreme horror and fear. Fortunately, Heil came and went quickly, maybe just for a brief moment. The hedging of Suyu and Kizaru's ultimate moves ended and the curtain came to an end. Under Thunder Dragon King's bending fist, Admiral Kizaru's proud light speed kick broke through at the speed of light and lost. His thighs crackled and his leg bones broke. The whole person even flew backwards involuntarily. In the blink of an eye, it disappeared into the sky without a trace. Even if it was defeated, the speed of this inverted flight was too fast and unusual. It was as if Admiral Kizaru was using the power of Suyu's blow to flee away. Regardless of the reason, this battle has come to an end. In the battle against Admiral Kizaru and two world government admiral level powerhouses, Suyu won a big victory at the cost of minor injuries. With one against three, they can still achieve such a brilliant record. In addition to Suyu being strong enough, there are other reasons. Admiral Kizaru's strength is definitely not weak and the world government's phantom beast feathered serpent ability user is also a strong admiral at the same level as him. The last ancient species of titanic python ability users are slightly inferior, belonging to the weak admiral category, but, his special modified human body that can absorb and transform energy also has a slight advantage against Suyu. If the three of them can cooperate perfectly, even if they are as strong as Suyu, they will definitely fall into a hard fight. The battle will not end in less than an hour, all because of the broken cooperation between them. Titan Oboa is a reckless idiot and was hammered by Suyu. The phantom beast feather snake was too arrogant relying on its own ability. As for Admiral Kizaru, a jerk from beginning to end. During the battle, Cheng felt it. This guy didn't mean to go all out at all. It can be said that he paddled to the extreme. Because of all these, the three of them couldn't even force Suyu's Thunder Dragon King mode. Just using the second level Lian Long mode is enough to blow up Admiral, the two major snakes in the world government. In the end, in order not to waste time, I used Thunder Dragon King mode on Kizaru. As a result, it is over before it begins. But, win this battle, leaving three Admiral level powerhouses from the world government. Suyu's heart was not so relaxed, but a little urgency arose instead. Casually being able to send three Admiral level powerhouses, the background of the world government can be seen from Madara. Over the past 800 years, there are countless devil fruits in the hands of the world government. This can also be seen from celestial dragons being able to feed slaves devil fruit for fun. In addition to ordinary devil fruits, the world government must have many devil fruits that are enough to make one step up to the sky. For example, the ancient species and the phantom beast species this time, as well as the powerful paramecia such as distortion. As long as one's own foundation is not too weak, coupled with these powerful abilities or human transformation technology, one can easily create an admiral level powerhouse. 
Although these admirals can't be compared with the real emperors, they are superior in quantity. Also, Suyu was also very concerned about the old man exuding a decadent aura who was beheaded by Urza when fighting with Kizaru and others. He also keeps an eye on other battlefields. So I heard the words of the old man calling a legendary like Pluton really an unknown brat. This happens, it may be the arrogance of the old stuff itself, deliberately so. It's also possible that he was far older than Rayleigh, and lived in an era that preceded Rayleigh. The strong man who should have died of old age in the past era has been saved by the world government with a certain technology until now, and it is pulled out to use when needed. Fairy tale you need to continue to grow. So you exhaled. The current lineup of fairy tale is already the top in the world, but compared to the world government with 800 years of background, it is still not as good as it is, and it must continue to grow. For example, summon Natsu, Grey, Gageel, Gilders and other fairy tale main players. Or the 12 shield level powerhouses such as Brandish and Magic King are also worth looking forward to. If you can directly summon the little black, black dragon king Akalong Nokia, it will be a law. Also, Suyu himself still needs to continue to become stronger. The only way he can think of to increase his own strength is to activate the Yanlong King mode. A single Dragon King mode is enough to put Suyu on top. If the Thunder Dragon King and the Yan Dragon King merge, they will become the Thunder Dragon King. The so-called Admiral is just a punch. Think of these kinds of things. For the next New World trip, Suyu couldn't help but look forward to it even more. Certainly, right now, we still have to deal with the things in front of us. Suyu crossed the dilapidated battlefield, and finally returned to number 30 Red Tree where he joined Urza and the others. The battle here is also over. The Celestial Dragon's guards were wiped out. Marine's forces also retreated after the defeat of Admiral Kizaru. After all, even Admiral lost. What else could they do? Five Emperors Suyu, Pluton Rayleigh, and Dei Lashua and others. This lineup is really scary. President. How's the injury? Wendy, hurry up and heal the President. Nami, Vivian and others said anxiously. I'm fine, but Urza, are you okay? Suyu looked at Urza whose arm was bandaged. Well. Wendy has already treated me. Urza nodded. That's good. Suyu's gaze then fell on the Celestial Dragons not far away. This moment, Celestial Dragons Ross Wilde collapsed to the ground like a dead dog. His eyes were blurred and his mind was broken. Don apostrophe T dot 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 come here dot 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 kill me dot 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 kill me quickly. Ross Wilde whispered feebly. No obvious trauma can be seen on his body. All injuries come from the spiritual level. Because Suyu said to Perona not long ago. So after tackling the Celestial Dragon's guard, Perona used the Spirit Dragon slaying magic on Celestial Dragon's Roswald. Rot activated the Wraith and Ghost attached to him. As a domineering old Celestial Dragons, thousands of poor people died tragically under Roswald's hands. Now, all these people turned into ghosts, devouring Roswald's spirit and soul bit by bit. Due to the mental pain, he even had to be put to death with a thousand cuts. Finally, when the last bit of soul is devoured, Celestial Dragon's Roswild's A's were completely lost, his soul was scattered, and he couldn't die anymore. Leave the Celestial Dragons alone. So you looked at the dilapidated Sabadi Park. The person in charge of the park is kneeling powerlessly on the ruins at this moment, wanting to cry without tears. After all, this is their decades of hard work, and now it has come to nothing. But he dared not have the slightest complaint. Su dot 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 master Suyu, it's okay dot 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 it's okay. The park will be destroyed if it is destroyed, so, there will be newcomers to rebuild it in the future. Seeing Suyu approaching, the people in charge of Sebadi Park suddenly spoke up tremblingly. No, I promised you in advance that I won't let this place be damaged. Suyu spoke calmly. The people in charge of the park gave a wry smile and did not answer. I thought it was already ruined like this, isn't it considered damaged? Suyu didn't explain too much, but looked at Ayarushia. I see. Ayarushia understands. With jade feet. He came to the ruins of Sebadi Park. Lost magic the arc of time. Activate time. Turn back. Under the shocking eyes of Rayleigh and the people in charge of the amusement park. Sebadi Park, which was destroyed in the battle, is now recovering at a speed visible to the naked eye. It was only a short time before and after. Sebadi Land Park. Rebuild. All the cracks in the ground have healed. The collapsed mangrove tree number 30 also stood up again. Immediately afterwards, Ayarushia followed suit. The nearby mangrove battlefields were also restored to their original state. Certainly somewhere farther away. For example, there are number one Hongshu and other places in the population auction field. Sunning does not intend to restore it, and it was originally called there. Miracle. It's a miracle. No dot 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 it's not just a miracle, it's a miracle. Fairy tale is a god. Say Buddy Park is back. The children's joy is back too. The people in charge of the amusement park are all dancing and cheering excitedly at this moment. This dot 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 this kind of thing dot 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 in the end. At this moment, Pluton Rayleigh, who is the great pirate in Legendary, fell into a daze, already shocked to the point where it cannot be added. Rao followed the One Piece King Roger to conquer the Grand Line, and he has never seen such a sight. Why are you still in a daze, Rayleigh, go back. Suyu smiled slightly. Oh 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 oh. Rayleigh nodded blankly, 
and left with Suyu. With the departure of Fairy Tail and his party, the big incident in Seibadi has come to an end. But, the huge shock caused by this incident is bound to sweep the entire world and shake the sea. If you like this audiobook, subscribe the channel for more videos like this. And join my Patreon if you want to support me, link in the description. Leave some comment and let me know if you guys like this story, or you have a web novel you like and want to hear its audiobook, I will be happy to create them for you. Please like, share, and leave a comment on the video.